PKA 623. A slush puppy may be joining us. He's not here yet. We'll see how that works out. Taylor? This episode of PKA brought to you by Fume and Lock and Load. Nice, nice special Lock and Load Black Friday deal. We'll talk more about later. Nice big Mm. discounts for your big loads. Kyle, you're preparing a wonderful meal for for your family, for your loved ones, and you're excited talking about it. Are you deep frying a turkey are you making multiple turkeys are you going to have like steak as an option how many meat types so i only do the fried turkey if you don't Mm. like that then go fuck yourself um i don't someone (laughs) asked me if i was cooking ham and uh, my friend what if uh, a jewish person wants to spend this this wonderful holiday with me you answer might get the fuck out of here Mm -hmm. or or one of my sand people brothers maybe 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 that none of them Mm -hmm. even work so no, I'll be frying a turkey. It's amazing. <laughs> if you never had fried turkey, it's it's juicy. It's crispy on it's the It's great. Outside. It really redeems what turkey is. Kyle, yeah, I, I, I appreciate how inclusive you are to think about the sand people when yeah. you're making your meals. I love Star Wars. What can I say? So And I, ham I, is the worst kind of pork. Far and away the, the worst form of pork is that ham with like pineapples on it. Every other kind of pork beats that out. No. What are the other right. kinds of pork? Pork chops. Pork steaks, pork tenderloin, pork belly, you know, bacon, um, pulled pork. Sa- All right, now bacon sausage. is overrated. It's sausage good. is better than bacon, in my opinion. Like a good country sausage, it's still is pork. Sa- We're in like the mix. Sage. Like no, I'm tank- just saying bacon, but but like yeah. sausage. Anyway, we're getting away from the point. I, I do dr- I do uh, dressing instead of stuffing, and I do like three sides and dessert, and that's my Thanksgiving. There's not some like table full of green bean casserole nobody wants to eat. There's really nothing green. Like, don't show up if that's not what you're what you're looking for. There's macaroni and cheese. There's mashed potatoes. There's a fried turkey. There's dressing. There's gravy, and that's it. That's it. I'll make some pie, and and and, and then you Do can you go make home. Rolls like homemade bread. No, or no. What do you want to fill up on the rolls? Get the fuck out of here. Bring your own rolls if you want. All right. I told you what I'm cooking. Bring your own rolls. Yeah, it's bring your own beer too. Don't that's fucked you. up. <laughs> He's been spoiled rolls. by grandma. He's got high standards. We've got dr- his- that's what the dressing that I spend two days making is for. I'm making the cornbread tonight, letting it get stale overnight, making the dressing. It's wonderful. It's these little cubes. It's not like that like pile of shit y'all eat up north. Um, yeah. And I'm just speaking, you know, to anyone listening um, or around the world. If you eat stuffing, it's fucking stupid. We eat dressing here, and it's these like cubes that you can cut out, cut a square out, and like grab that square, throw it on your plate, and like put some gravy on. And if you've never had it, you don't know. It's fucking delicious. It's really yeah, good stuff. I don't think I've had this. I, I think mm. I've just had stuffing. <laughs> ah, you don't even know. It's good stuff. I don't, but I I so like I'm stuffing, a... and I'm not ready to, to, to let it be disparaged like this. Trust me, <laughs> it's 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 shit. You've been eating shit your whole life. Every holiday, every loved like one shit. who's ever served. <laughs> you thought those people it loved you? Does it does come out of a up... chicken's ass. <laughs> You're making a lot of sense. A turkey's anyone, ass. Anyone turkey's who's ass. ever given you stuffing. She doesn't love you that much. Let's just say. Let's just say that. My mom say watches that. this show. I know. I was. Po- it was. I'm. I'm pointing her out specifically. Woody's mom. All right. A, a, a life without dressing is not a life that I want to fucking live, lady. <laughs> You'd be fine with style. with my oh, yeah. grandma's style of dressing then, probably. Because so, she does it so. southern style. Yeah. I, I don't age. like wasting stomach space on too much dressing because. Oh. It is it is frankly the least appealing looking food. Okay. And also like I usually eat things like in ranking. Like number 1 I go for like all the meats I like. So my grandma almost always makes like some fillets. So I'll eat a couple steaks. That's weird. And then me. I go to fried turkey and Did I'll your eat grandfather always have money? No. That's, no. See, <laughs> they did, they both did grew your up grandmother- like without- do no, they both grew up like without running water. They, you. they didn't like. So my did, question is the reason I'm here. Ma- did he have money like in your interactions with him? In like enough to like buy me toys was like my understanding. Like they didn't like start I got doing a feeling well for grandpa themselves might, until might. like they got older because they were both like they grew up without running water. They had nothing, and so like they didn't have a ton of food just in the house. And so now like they every. Every single holiday, it doesn't matter if it's fucking Arbor Day. There's steaks. And it, <laughs> it, it, it's so, awesome. I love it. I, I, I like, like, like my family was definitely. <laughs> I hope weird. that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> <It's> not. <laughs> like cooking filet mignons for like everybody. That stuff's um, 
like seventeen to twenty five dollars a pound. It's expensive. You know, you're, you're we don't have more. a lot of members of our family on my mom's side, and so yeah, but she cooks like, enough. She nope, cooks. Like I want to be around yeah. Taylor's grandmother. I'm like, I saw on the calendar. It's Yasha Shana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yasha Shana. Where's the Yasha Shana? Come here, honey. I didn't know you was one of the desert people. <laughs> she, I mean, she loves when I come ones. down to the house. So she'll be like, now you, I know you know it's Chinese New Year. Like, <laughs> now you know we like to celebrate the Lunar New Year here. <laughs> Everybody bring your Lunar New Year hats. Yeah, my, my grandparents are both gems. They're both just incredible people. I'm very fortunate. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm excited. I've got the uh, the turkey is brining right now in, uh, in its solution of salt and sugar and lemons and all, Oddly, all sorts of nonsense. This year I have you both beat. I've started my Thanksgiving dinner already. What, what are you doing? What was your part? <laughs> okay, to be clear, I'm not doing jack shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> what I've started doing was eating Thanksgiving dinner. That's my role in this thing. Yeah. And... Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I mentioned pecan pie a couple times this year. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I think pecan pies are extra hard to make, like compared to a pumpkin pie or something like that. And no. Oh. Well, anyway, Jackie tackled it for the first time and uh, she pulls the pecan pie out of the oven. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's only oven fresh for a short period of time. Yeah. We, can't, yeah. we can't wait till tomorrow and, and then judge <laughs> how this pie is. So I had a piece a la mode. And then I had another piece because yeah. <laughs> it's really good. You want to have a piece plain and all the mode. Get a comparison. <laughs> they were I, both all uh, the mode. <laughs> like, like I've never. I actually don't know what the inside of a pecan pie is made out of. Before you say pecans, the pecans are on top. Three People kinds listening. of sugar. But the stuff on the inside, I'm pretty sure, is just sugar. Mm-hmm. There's pecans inside. I didn't know that. She she stressed quite a bit about like how much to crunch them. And I was uh, like, I didn't even know there were pecans inside. She goes, ah. So blend them a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's what she did. No. I mean I like the, the pecans are just cover for the sugar. Like it's like we, not, hey, it's, we're we're making hey, a sugar pie. Don't Welcome just give me sugar, put some fat an, on that. <laughs> was this an unhealthy pie? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <It's a great laughs> pie. <All> <laughs> Looking it's down a, on someone for their all mode pie Thanksgiving. <laughs> one, thing, one thing that it's hard to like like the South does cooking well because it's all these indulgent like things and you know it's and the in the background behind it is, is that it was you know the poorest um cheapest most calorically dense foods that that people could come up with a lot of it's slave food um I, uh, that you know the white southerners and, and white black people have like the same stuff we like more or less and it's often like the cheapest part of a pig the cheapest part of a cow and with like cooked forever and then with a bunch of salt and sugar on it and it's delicious the best it is eats. like I love fried gravy. chicken fried fi- i'm surprised being a southerner that you're not all in on like fried catfish i like it um there was a there is a like in uh in gum log georgia there's a fish house that we used to go to all the time it's really good down there you know um some lemon on that on that whole catfish pick the bones out of it but uh Ooh. it's just not my favorite some I'd green rather, onions Ooh. i'd okay. just rather have chicken or beef or something like that oh about turkey i wanted to say this because inflation has been crazy right and i expected this holiday to be a little more expensive than others when i bought the mm. peanut oil i think it was probably uh it definitely more expensive i was like oh peanut oil is expensive and then i'm sure um something else was that i didn't notice but turkey how much do you think turkey is per pound a frozen turkey now no Someone on the on the mm. internet said turkey went from twenty five to twenty eight dollars, but your vibe is that it's more extreme it's than that. Fifty so. cents a pound. It's fifty cents a pound for frozen turkey. I almost, when I saw that, bought a deep freeze and went to Publix. It was that like, is... wait, you're telling me fifty cents a pound for this? I got a fifteen pound turkey and it was seven dollars and twenty something cents. That's I the cheapest two. meat I've se- I would have seen in years. Like, I have chickens, two. not that cheap at the store. I. I got it on a sale. I mean, it's I, I even like took the sticker and like put it on a magnet on my fridge, mostly because I got to re-remember what the thing weighs over and over for the recipe. But yeah, seven dollars a turkey for like big ass frozen turkeys. Um, it seems like I should buy 30, right? Like, what the fuck? Why am I not yeah. living on turkey for the rest of the year? <laughs> <laughs> it must be a loss leader where you're shopping. I, I don't know. I got it delivered. Um, she just when I saw that they were that that price, I ordered two, like I said, so. I'll have Slush Puppy just wrote weeks. me. I want to give everybody an update. He's not coming. He has no power. 
and the power pole nearby f- fell down. That's what it says. Power pole fell. All so right. he, he doesn't expect to oh, get power man. back in time to that's, join us. That's heaps bad news. Yes. So we'll do another time. It's all right. But anyway, that's why he didn't make it. In no honor of him, I'm going to spend the rest of the episode talking like this. Don't feel obligated to do <laughs> <Don't> that. <feel obligated. laughs> no, I made a decision. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> <laughs> so Jackie and I scheduled our next vacation. Oh, where are you going? Um, we're going to Somewhere the mountains dangerous. of North Carolina, and we're going to go motocross riding. She has a, a little 125cc dirt bike, and I have mine, 300 and um, we went out and bought her motocross boots yesterday at the store. They're pretty <laughs> dope. They're like black with pink highlights. And uh, she tried them on today. We were riding around the yard going through the, the brush. And, and she had such a good time. She's still in a high. Like, like, I don't know, 12 hours later, she's still excited about our ride together today throughout the yard, bouncing around. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, so we, the thing is... <sighs> So we picked out where we were going to go and then we went to the Airbnb and then I went dirt biking last weekend. So I did it with like, I don't think I ever looked at it through Jackie's eyes before. I'm like, all right, all right, let's scope this place out. I know there's like main trails and, and they're rated dude. Even the easy trails are tough, like three foot rock drop offs and stuff like that. I'm like, what is she going to do? The plan is for her to stop before any obstacle she really doesn't like and hand her bike to me. And we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that yeah. seems like it could be a long day. She's a 50 year old woman learning to ride a motorcycle in the dirt. We'll see how this, man, this is a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> is, have, a, have a big glass of milk before you guys head out there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good thinking. We'll see how this good poor thing's got to try and keep up with me. He can't get um, her into like a safer hobby or something. Right? Like kite surfing. But, um, uh, yeah, so we're pretty psyched about that. It's going to be a week or two coming up. Nice. So, all right. Well, that should be interesting. I, I, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Eventually, you. one of these trips will happen where no one gets hurt. The last one, though. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, though, I got. We came back tatted, but there were no real injuries. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What are you going to get for your second tattoo? Because, you know, they always say people get di- addicted to it and then they start just loading up like Sailor Jerry. Yeah, I, I'm back in the same mind space I was before I got the first one. Like every idea seems not good enough or not original mm-hmm. enough or, or something like that. Like often what happens is once they break the seal, they stop making the tattoos so heckin' meaningful and like, you know, whatever. But uh, I don't know, I just keep getting stuck. Like, I don't like this idea. I don't think if I like could, this idea four <clears> years <throat> from now. If you could find something that visually encompassed the sort of like earth, uh sea and uh sky hobbies that you have sort of like mastered in your life or taken on at, at the very least that would be mm. really cool like it like if like a surfboard all right so, so like I'm gonna, I would just dis- with the the with this description this- <laughs> i'm gonna get off to a bad start with this description but imagine a swastika okay mm-hmm. <laughs> all right stop but- right there i love it <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> and like and like each of the little uh little uh, things yes. that stick out on the swastika like one of them is like a swimmer's doing a breaststroke with that like arm going out mm-hmm, and like yeah. the other one is like the date that you'll be going to prison now <laughs> and, and the, but, but no if you could do that something that we that could do a peace you. sign you know to do the sort of air land and sea mm, yeah but then you have a peace sign but i want to see like a motorcycle <laughs> a paramotor and like a swimmer like somehow like all encompassing that's what i'm thinking like imagine a design. circle and they each occupy a third with the peace sign dividing them yeah, Meh, maybe it's a dumb idea. Perhaps, perhaps. I know, all right, all right. I'll find a four not a very... pointed user swastika. <laughs> I'm not sure about the peace sign though. You're not the most zen guy. You do. Uh, mm. You are. You get it. You, you know. You're passionate. Passionate. <laughs> <laughs> passionate. My brain is going. You've got gusto. Yeah. <laughs> <Been ash>. uh. <laughs> yeah. So that's... that's coming up. I also am trying to. I'm. I'm sort of. S- figuring out my next big adventure ride i uh, i'm trying to do something in the winter and it appears that i don't have any friends who want to go with me so i think it'd be nice if it was in america the idea mm-hmm. of doing mexico or or something like that just on a solo ride in the desert with like no support like no one knows where i am or what i'm supposed to be doing like mm-hmm. that might be outside my risk profile so i think i'm gonna go to southern california and ride through the desert perfect that's what i was gonna say yeah. Um, I was going to say that 
at that part of Forrest Gump where he's in the really long Route 66 road. Sure, or whatever. yeah, yeah. Um, maybe a different bike for something too. like that. Like, like if I'm imagining a fun ride, it would be like do some sort of triangle where you go out, like do that crazy long road, but then maybe cross some desert at some point, like like skipping back across. I'm sure there's somewhere you could do it out there, it's, but yeah, that'd be a different scenery. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I have in mind. I bought a heated grip, so I'm trying to buy a heated seat because it might be chilly for parts of this. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, just get a little sunshine in the winter. You I'll should like add in like non outdoor activities to your like biking trips. Like, oh, I'm gonna go from here to here, and then the 76ers are playing whoever oh. in Salt Lake City. I'm gonna go there and do that, and then from there I'll go. You know what I mean? Like adding more kind of variety to it could be fun. I, but like, then I guess you'd have to like drive through like <laughs> real roads and that's not the fun part. I'd take a motorcycle to some place with a really low ping and play Call of Duty. Yeah. That's, <laughs> <laughs> go, just go, just take your motorcycle to the closest Airbnb and get high. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's literally in Raleigh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I can't let Jackie um, find out. I'm going to go get, go to a trap house and get loaded. What's uh, a trap house? It's where people do drugs. Oh yeah. Well, that's any house. It's where it's where cool people do drugs. Oh. People who can't be bothered with jobs or taxes. Like that's they just, my house. Yeah, <laughs> you live in a pretty cool house. <laughs> you get fucked up in your. Uh -huh. I'm excited for weed to like be for real deal legal here. I think it's like February that it starts and kicks off. Like I, like I didn't really care at first because like all this other like legal stuff does the same thing. But it's like I'm excited just to like buy regular flour like grind it up and just smoke out of a bong again like that all the the vapes the the tinctures the edibles like the dabs all that stuff's fine but like my preferred delivery method has always just been plain old flour and a bong and like a like, water bong yeah like a water bong just like a nice comfortable that. like smoke out of that and it's i'm, I'm excited to, to go back what's to comfortable it's gonna be fun. what why do you like a water bong how does <clears throat> uh well it's it's more comfortable to smoke it than like a dry pipe because it's going through the water so it like you know a little more humidity so it's i guess it's easier to, to cleans to and hit. cools yeah it cleans it and it cools the smoke down and then like also like even in college like when like that was the first time i tried dabs and like i had friends who got super into dabs and i never did i always just like stuck with flour and i would go over to their place and take one hit from their dab rig and be on the moon for five hours and like they would come over to my place and most a lot of them would be like, yeah, I'm not even going to smoke your stuff because my tolerance is too high. Like they couldn't even get high on like my regular weed. Yeah. And I was like, why the hell are you guys doing this to yourselves? Like, like this, this still fucks you up. Like just to <laughs> just do this one. And then like every once in a while to dab, but everyone's different, I guess. But yeah, a bong, that's the way to fucking but do it. What about a vape? That's cool and clean. Yeah, yeah, the vapes are nice, they're clean, but like something about like the actual just smoking the flower. I really, really like that. I do I do too. Okay. I do too. I like um this I, I always liked like a little pipe just when I was playing games. I always had that little um mm -hmm. that little glass or quartz pipe sitting there. Um and I would just I could clean that fucking cleaning that thing and refilling it. Fucking let's hit, let's hit three fucking bowls for this one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh I always liked that, but I always had a water bong too. Um, that was one of my charges. I don't know. I think they fined me for that. Maybe the, the mm. paraphernalia charge. Was, Just, that was not a big deal in the scheme of things. I think it was a $50 fine or something like that. The motherfucker cost so much more than that. It was a nice one. It was a big heavy thing I bought on our uh, Col Colorado trip, was it? We were in a legal state. And it was it was the one I brought for the the party, um, the the the, the football party. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Remember, yeah. we were thinking about all pooling our money, right, to have something to smoke out of because it's frustrating to smoke out of a piece of plastic shit. And then I was like, oh, you know what, guys, I'll just buy the whole thing because I want this good one. <laughs> 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 you guys shouldn't have to pool your money on this. And then we were done with a week of smoking out of this expensive bong, and I just mailed it back home. Just mailed it back home, and I had it was it. a really nice bong. It was okay. But um, you know they took it. They took it. Stinks. <laughs> I hope your guys' states jump on the cool wagon like Missouri. <laughs> we're just we're now we're hanging out with Colorado, you know, in yeah. the cool section of the cafeteria, You're, and you are guys you, are in the lame section. Are you? You're we're really like we're at the cool section with even with, but we have guns. 
We have um, more guns than that. Let me just say this. If Colorado was in a section, it wouldn't have very many black people in it. If you no. were in a section, it would. Well, that's fine. Missouri, a, a d- diversity is our strength, right? Yeah. Yeah. Missouri's pretty, pretty great state. <laughs> <laughs> it might be your weakness. Jesus, it's rough over there, man. I don't know. Y'all burning down cities. I stuff. will not have any ripping of Missouri now that we're a cool state. No more. <laughs> Maybe no this more. will cool you guys down a little now that you've got some weed. Like you can calm yeah. down, stop hammering people to death, stop burning cities down. Wasn't Ferguson about weed? Like, the, am no. I mixing up my a little bit? Right? It, you no, know, the no, guy that like was, that no, Freddie Gray. Robbery, that was Freddie Gray, uh, right? Oh, he Michael strong arm robbery a quickie mart Michael to get Brown? That's to make racist. blunts or something. Am I wrong on this? I wait, yeah, Ferguson no, right. was Michael Brown. And it was like a convenience store robbery. And then yeah, yeah. he was stealing s- cigars Blunts. so that he could smoke pot out of them. Yeah. Oh. Or smoke. Well, I guess them. it did kind of. Yeah. yeah. You do both. You do I'm both. telling you, it's the devil's lettuce behind I don't all think these blaming problems. weed is salient, though. For <laughs> <laughs> Not at this late juncture. Really, probably. the problem is he didn't smoke it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> he had a chilled out. But yeah, most of that area, I don't think they're. East St. Louis, the, the drug of choice, the problem is not weed. Hmm. What do you think it is? Crack, meth, like the the, the drugs that like get you amped up. Yeah, opiates. Yeah, yeah. The, I wonder. How, I mean, you know, there's tons of people who like make their mortgage and go to work, but they're abusing opiates every day, right? They just looked upon a little more kindly than the guy I noticed behind the gas station on my way here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was like, like bent down, like like doing something. I'm like, oh, not my. Not my scene, not my problem. <laughs> Heading on home with my with my with my Dr. Pepper. We're gonna have a good holiday. Just <laughs> <laughs> call me Kyle, minding my business, Myers. Just yeah, <laughs> heading yeah, my you, way home. Yeah, you like 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 some. Of, I bet I, I can imagine someone. You learned that in prison? No, that's just common fucking sense. You see a guy with his head down in a pipe behind a gas station. You leave him alone. Oh, He's not yeah. having a good night. Like, have you seen those videos on social media of like some? It'll be like a a train or subway in a in a city and there's some dude like losing his mind like yelling at apparitions like randomly like jerking his body in like a yeah. methed out way and like he'll like bully a woman or something and all the comments will be like shame on men for not standing up in this circumstance and it's like <laughs> and it's like fuck you like there is no way I'd step up to anyone who's like on meth on public transit, I'll, like no, if I don't I care. See, if, he, if he's like bullying a child, like fuck you, you Pokemon lineup sucks. Let me see. Ah, oh, you're, you're vulnerable to grass types. How are you gonna win? Like, I don't care. I'm getting off at the next stop. I'm leaving. That's not my problem. There's no way I can fix that. There's no way me going over there solves it. He's gonna turn around, stab me in the neck, and then go back to insulting <laughs> her. Take a meth head. No, they're they're unpredictable and they bite. They bite. I don't see anything wrong with your teeth. You got you, they can't hang with you in the biting department, Taylor. Yeah, but you don't bite. Oh, it's like, a like, fighting it's like bite they, you want, eh? <laughs> they <laughs> open Pandora's box when they challenge Taylor to a biting fight. <laughs> well, I think, I think or we just do that thing where like game. giraffes, we like rear back with our mouth open and, <laughs> and like pose and, and then we come teeth to teeth clacking. Yeah. No, there's I see those videos and I see these like, you know, internet heroes. Oh, I would have put a stop to this. And it's like, no, you would have made a mess. Like you would have got blood on people's shoes. Yeah, like your yeah. blood. Try like, your best. Now, don't why do are meth heads so difficult to fight? It may help educate me. They're, they're un- they are unpredictable. They are on a powerful amphetamine that gives them like strength and energy. And they're, they're, they're fried. They they they're not like equating they're things aggressive. logically. They're aggressive. Like, have you seen like the the Breaking Bad scene was a good one where Jesse goes in and uh, he's he's in that that drug house and he's trying to calm down that guy with the shotgun who's going Tucker 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 like yelling and Jesse's like I don't want any everything's okay every trying to calm him down he's like I don't want any trouble and the guy's like trouble what about trouble what are you talking about trouble <laughs> you bring your trouble. Where's trouble? And, and, and it's like out that's there, the man. Kind go of get them out there. Go get them. There's no trouble in here. But like they they will latch onto help? things. Like it's a <laughs> meth is a scary drug. Like it, it makes yeah. people scary, and you don't want to mess with an unpredictable, you know, gacked out person like that. I mean, look, look, acid can send you in a place where you're a weird person to interact with, and but but you know, lots of things can. 
but methane, like th those drugs that seemingly will mix with someone's mental ill or illness or maybe another drug and send them into like rager mode, like berserker mode. That's mm -hmm. so scary. And I agree with you 100 percent, Taylor. If I, I there's no way if I'm on like a if I'm on a bus, kill me now. But if I'm on a bus, <laughs> <laughs> and, all right, hopefully we're heading to the euthanasia clinic. <laughs> and, and some dude's getting rowdy and up in some girl's face. My first thought is, I bet before I got on this bus, she was talking some shit or something. Like, like she, yeah. she probably, like, 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 like what is she going to do if I, if I help? Nothing. Like, 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 like she's not going to appreciate it. She doesn't need yep. my help. She'll be fine. And I, there's no way I'm helping. There's no fucking way. What am I, hero? What am I going to get the, the key to the city after this one? More likely I end up with either hepatitis C <laughs> or, a, or a fucking back injury or yeah. something, right? Like, <laughs> like, like me and this guy are going to roll down the steps of this bus and I'm going to blow a disc in my back or something. Like, like no, yeah. we're not fighting. Or he stabs <laughs> me to death. Like, let's not pretend like I'm just going to beat. Uh, like, like, my option is beat somebody up. Or walk away. The option is like risk your life over a random fucking stranger and some shit you don't know nothing about. Oh yeah, like the the move is look away, and like if some like pretend to be deaf, like what? look away, pretend to be deaf, do some next sign stop, language. Next stop, which tweet? <laughs> no, d deaf, not retarded. <laughs> like you oh, just I do both. I do both. I'm retardedly deaf. <laughs> <laughs> but what you're if just, the methanic's not that big? Like you, probably, you guys are big, strong dudes. Well, I don't know how to fight. Knife. What if he has a keychain? That's all it takes to hurt me so I much. I have a knife. If he has a Do pen? you? I always have a knife. Well, that's crime. No, it's no, not. Right. It's for me! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Kyle well, doesn't need to... You know what I need to do? I need to bring Woody with me to the to the bus incident, and then we'll have no problem at all. He's got a knife in one hand and a gun in the I'm other. I'm a little concerned. Yeah, if you're armed, sure. Like, like get in there and mix it up. Armed is but yeah. Oh, you're going to screw him down tight then. <laughs> That's the plan. Maybe the whole reason he's upset is he <laughs> needed a fucking corkscrew for that I bottle. am going <laughs> to file those fingernails. <laughs> he's, he's, he's about to bash the woman with that bottle of wine, but you come over. Boom, now he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stick these at me with the pliers, you dick. <laughs> yeah, so you, I, don't, I don't know about all that one. Yeah, I... I'm glad you agree. You wouldn't get involved. And it's Woody, not like I'm a, it, it's just the drugged up crazies on public transportation. Don't, don't no. I've seen so many videos. Yeah. I saw a person get, it was actually a trans person who kept messing with this guy who didn't want to be messed with. And then the guy finally just beat, I'll say her, maybe to death. Yeah. It was just he, like a huge overreaction, but they kept warning her, leave him alone. And with a weapon? Like, no, no. Oh. She was just like in his face fucking with him. And he stood up on the bus. And he kicked her face in, like, 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 like went just off on her. Beat down. She'd been unconscious since the first hit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and don't did, don't start shit on public transit. Doesn't seem like anybody wins. Nobody's got, and nobody was helping her while he stomped her face in. No, nobody I'd be scared of the guy either. doing the stomping. I, I like, I, I, I see that situation, and I am under no illusions that I'm the stomper. I, I'm the stompy. Like, I don't want to be the stompy. Yeah. That'd be horrible. Having your head caved in on a bus. I don't understand why you make yourself so like, not make yourself, but like, like you put yourself in. Oh, I'm feeble. I could because, never stand up. Because it's, it's about but surprise. If there was a crackhead on the bus, I know damn well he's gonna stomp my shit in. No, no, no it's Taylor. not that. It, it's about the odds, right? Like, like let's say that I go over there and I do beat his ass, but he scratches me a little, and now it gets infected, and I gotta go to the hospital. Or he bites me, and now I literally have fucking hepatitis C, and I need a liver transplant in a few years. Or drugs to prevent that, somebody will say. Oh, you're right. It's not so bad after all, is it? Just preventative hep C drugs for the rest of my life. Like, there's a lot of mm -hmm. bad things that could happen. Plus, like, what if you kill this fragile motherfucker who was all drugged up on you're the You're going bus? to jail. Yeah, right? Like, what if you cripple him, and he got hit, and his, his dad, even though he's a crackhead, has a lawyer. Now you're paying God knows what. For, oh, yeah. my poor son was on a... He was actually reacting poorly to some drugs prescribed by his mm. doctor. So forget all of his crimes. Let's talk about Mr. Myers, the felon who beat him senseless. Yeah. Where's that woman he was defending? Oh, she disappeared into the mist. What woman? Mm. <laughs> yeah, what, what woman? <laughs> There's no one on camera. Yeah, get I, the fuck out of here. I'm not I don't taking any chances defending you. I think the crackheads, the meth heads, like they're scary. Not like because they're not going to square up to you in a fight. And like, you know, engage in fisticuffs like they're scary because they're unpredictable and you take your eyes off them. They, they might stab you. What if what if he thinks it's you like looked at them the wrong way and you it's don't like realize that you gave him a look that he perceived as aggressive and it makes him mad. And he comes over and like 
stabs you with a box cutter or something. It's the unpredictability that makes it scary. Have you get, there was this who's um Joe Rogan has a friend. He's a comedian. He's a white guy. Brian Callan. 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 Thank you. So Brian Callan is talking. And I think he's like, if that guy bullies me, I you can't bully me. I would kick his ass. I'm unstoppable. I will come back again and again and again. Can't be bullied. And Joe Rogan is like, you are full of shit. And you have a bigger problem than that. You don't have enough people in your friend group to call you out when you're <laughs> full of shit. Yeah. People are letting you get away with spewing this bullshit. It's possible to bully you. And by the way, Joe Rogan and um, Brendan... Trump, thank you, are both on the mic. And both of them are like, I could bully the fuck out of you. And, and yeah. there's nothing you could do about it. You're lucky we're not gay. <laughs> but not not according to Brian Callen. He's like, I'm impossible to bully. I will come back. You can't do this. I'm trying not to be that guy. Where it's like, yeah. oh, if I was there, I would be the defender of all the innocents on this bus I just, from this meth head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maybe. no, I get what you're saying. I hope like, yeah, that's who I A am. majority of the time, if you step over there, he'll be scared. And he'll stop a majority of the time. If he does step up, I'll beat the shit out of him. Yeah, you would. But I don't care because there's a 10% of the time where I die. And there's a 20% of the time where I get hurt in a way I don't like. And there's a 30% of it. You know what I mean? Like, I like, see. like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I'm not, it's the same reason that like when you ride your motorcycle, you're like, maybe I don't hit that ramp. <laughs> or maybe I hit it at 50 instead of 60, right? Like, 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 yeah, it's, it's just like, I'm the, not, the I'm not best looking case to become scenario. a hero on the streets. Like the best case scenario are you escape with minor injuries. The best thing. Like you're not going to make money. You're not going to be a hero. Well, that's not the, the best. I mean, the no, best I'm going to be a hero somebody... I'm going to retell it right here, Taylor. <laughs> Weekly. No, I mean, See, I mean, that's the thing is we can we can just lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the bus today. <laughs> uh -huh. I was on the bus today. And hmm. like I was keeping to myself, you know, that I sounds like, like you. Yeah, I ride public transportation a lot. I, I'm looking yeah. out for the environment. I, I want to leave a better world to my to my children, my son, who I'm having mm -hmm. soon with my <laughs> loving wife that I now have. And um, and man, there was just this character. He was a white guy, of course, and he was just getting up to no good over there. He was he was being real rambunctious, playing this loud music. He had one of those boom boxes from the early 90s that are oversized and take 16 D yeah. batteries. He was playing and, and Toby Keith really loud. <laughs> so fucking loud. And, and I am a big Toby Keith fan. Let's all pray for him. He has cancer right now. But mm. but it wasn't the right time, you know. And and uh, and I just stepped up to him. I said, "Sir, you have to turn that Toby Keith music down." Um, I love that song, and I'll sing it word for word with you after, after we get off the bus. But that's enough. And he said, "Not today, Jimmy." And he slapped the woman next to him. And I was like, "Why would you slap?" See, we're, see, oh, we're not shit. doing this. We're not. We're not. We're not doing this. You're going down, and I just beat him senseless right there in front of everyone, and they so all stood I up and murdered clapped. Murdered him. I murdered him right there. <laughs> so murdered I pulled right his there. pants right down <laughs> and issued a corrective. Right. <laughs> now, I'm, you know how in hockey you pull the jersey over and it kind of handcuffs their arms. Yeah. Why does that never happen in street fights? I don't know. Because I, we're not wearing no hockey one's wearing jerseys. jerseys, yeah. Like maybe it's harder to pull it past your armpits. And I think you're grabbing the jersey because, because you're like trying to fuck with their balance a bit on the ice. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. you on on shoes, like people are so comfortable on their feet every day. They're on their feet all like, the time. Well, not every day. Get, get not every yourself. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I don't work every day. Some days it's oh, <laughs> this isn't a walking day. This is <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. I wonder, uh, and it's, here's the other thing that never happens to, to these good vigilantes, I'll call them, the guys who mm. actually step up and, like, save lives. They never get to go on the Today Show anymore. They don't do that anymore. They never, like, get, give those guys the, uh, like, like the media tour. Like, this is Brendan Michaels. He mm. fucking pulled out his 9 millimeter and saved 30 people. No, they don't do that at all. You, you never know. You never hear about the, like, hero who saved the people on the bus and get, get his story anymore. We're you, hearing you, about the Colorado hero. Show, show us his oh who's oh, i didn't the, mean the hero i was gonna can we show the picture of the suspect real quick zach like yeah sure that that, that link earlier because because he is the he is the ugliest motherfucker i've ever seen he is terrible did they be, did they do this to him or is this what he looks like and that's not a joke <laughs> I, he must be beaten up i mean is that not a birthmark or something that's got a <laughs> it looks like he like fell while going fast Why is downhill his skull on a bike shaped that way 
He has the big the the mm. whole back of his head is the crown of his head. That is a weird skull shape. <laughs> Someone posted. Like, <laughs> That's all right. You found my all phrenological analysis. <laughs> all right, my theory is his mom's got a tight pussy, <laughs> and when now he she, passed through, she not she anymore. Just, squeeze that skull into a new i mean there's he definitely like look he has a black eye he definitely got like hit or fell or something right how do you get a bruise there on your ear and not have your ear all cut up i don't understand this he it looks like he's (laughs) look at that one with the angry bird that's 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 the best one (laughs) welcome to fuck around Yeah, I guess they're pointing out this man was beaten severely um, after they... Was he beaten by the gays? Because that's so uh, much funnier. He was stopped by... You know, I don't know what the guy's situation was. Was he trans or cross-dresser or gay or... Like, I'm I'm actually not sure. This, this guy? I, 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 I'm, I'm, no, I'm no. Informed. But the patron that stopped him from murdering more people. Oh, There's okay. somebody at the club. And uh, I, I guess they're saying, like, this... I think they called him a drag queen, but he's not. And I actually don't know the difference between drag and cross dresser. And I guess I do know the difference trans, but, but Mm -hmm. you can't tell this by looking at someone you have to ask. Anyway, this person who was at a gay club just stands head and shoulders better than a Uvalde policeman is like the comparison I keep seeing. Well, it's not like they were outside and they ran in, you know? Well, he could have ran away. He ran towards the Not in those heels. And, yeah, too, too sure. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it was fight or die every step of the way. Six I yeah. knew it. <laughs> what, what, he was so stopped they, by a after the guy. U.S. Army veteran who was attending a performance at the club with his wife and daughter. Okay, that's different than I'd heard before. I'd heard that he was involved in the lifestyle, and this makes it sound like he's a cis dude. I, I don't know. But, um, do you, do you hear your thumb? I'm gonna make up a salute <laughs> for that guy. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> that army vet who wasn't gay apparently, who who stormed in and and saved the day. Is that what happened? I don't what think they said stormed Zach in. Says, but I uh, that's some right wing propaganda. Those 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 uh those ladies of in there they they fucked oh, him up. So there were two people, a dad and a Kick show him. performer. So the show performer implies drag. I think I'm. Shit, I feel like I'm offending someone. I'm not trying to. <laughs> You're just reading the story, trying to figure it out. You're not offending anyone. Yeah. Um, so this Richard Fiaro, his combat training kicked in and he pounced on the gunman. That's that's Combat ass. training. I doubt that kicked in at all. What the fuck is combat? What, where, yeah, what, what part of his combat training kicked in? What, what <laughs> nonsense from that writer? <laughs> <laughs> like he's a dog and he went and retrieved a bird. <laughs> <laughs> So, so like, I don't know the... the... Oh, he took the attacker's pistol and used it to beat him with it. Mm. He says, I just kept wailing on him. He's a bit... I'm a big dude, but this guy was bigger. Did the attacker get, like, <laughs> did, did kill people before he was stopped? Or one, Yeah, right? he got five kills, but he got oh, a lot God. of hit markers. And, and did, he's okay. dead now? No, the attacker, you just saw him on the Twitter. The police didn't hurt him. Oh. He was he's blind. alive. He was just, he's alive in that picture, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hard to tell. <laughs> I mean, he looked rotten. This is the guy who threw the ass woman. Uh, or is this just some Zach random like Zach man says, from the yes. crowd? Now, okay, my article so, said that two guys did the ass whooping. A show performer. All right, the, the blurry guy bat. in the background. He, I, I think he's the uh, tough guy number two. Then could be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. Those, those men are heroes. <sighs> Saved lives. Well, what I wanted to talk about, did. though, like, like heroics aside, gay gay people standing up when cowardly cops in Texas want us aside. This is the ugliest piece of shit I've seen in a long time. He that is, is that is Focus that is a ugly, story. ugly man. Okay, there is nothing attractive or redeeming about him. Like, like, yeah. like, good fucking god! Why didn't this tadpole kill himself? You know, Kyle. As at first, I'm like, why are we focusing on this? But I'm like, wait a minute. I bet if he was a handsome man, he would have never done this. Oh, He'd I know have lived he a whole better alternative life. If you put that fucking jackass in a handsome person's body, he lives a whole different life. All he needed to do was cut carbs. He might have been good looking enough to survive in Our society. Ugly, is being That's ugly true. the worst minority to be a part of? A hundred percent. Well, dwarves like, like truly ugly, like this guy. No, 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 no not dwarves. They have a, a, sh- a, a, a like like an easy door into the entertainment industry, right? Almost as good as and other dwarves. Look, 
<laughs> oh, but they prefer little people. You've got me going now. <laughs> no, yeah, but dwarf I prefer dwarfs. Wait, dwarf Mid- is... midget is is like oh, what they don't I like. Think you're right. I dwarf think you're right. is like a correct thing. You know but a dwarf despise? is a different kind. Of... God uh, being being picked up. <laughs> 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 they picked up and shaken. <laughs> they, they really hate it when you and I, your I've friend try to guess them. how much they weigh for money, <laughs> and they're not a willing participant. <laughs> I don't know, man. The government, seven. <laughs> the government will never tell you this, but all those midgets you see outside, they're free. Yeah. <laughs> you just take them home. I found that what the, what little people really really hate is when I assume they're six years old, regardless of their real age. Yes. <laughs> I get a little stuffed animals and everything, totally unappreciated. It's, it's I a, would love to have that's a, a, tough a midget group to friend. Be in. Do you think it would, if you had like a midget friend? Do you, do you, I, I think that's a cool friend to have because he could help you out with a lot of stuff. It'd be fun to try to get him laid for one thing. It, it'd be like. You know, I I feel like that's easier to get done than an ugly person as well. That's another reason yeah. why I'm saying easier to be He's a little a person. Dwarf. It's a bucket list <clears throat> item. Yeah, like the 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 um 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 the the gentleman who played Tyrion Lannister in uh in Game of Thrones, whose name I'm spacing on right now, Hink, uh, Peter Dinklage. Dinklage. Uh, he's changed that name, man. Dinklage. Like like, come on, you're already. Am I right? Anyway, it's Dinklage. Yeah, I mean, he's a he's a handsome-ish fellow. Yeah. Like like yeah. like uh, and the little uh, person from Seinfeld, even the the guy with the beard. Um, who was heightening to like keep up with the yeah. kid that he <laughs> yeah. he like body doubled for? Um, <laughs> handsome fella. Too. But then there's like like Vern Troyer, mini me, which is you like, know he had a tr- a sad life. I knew yeah, his um, I knew his um um, what do you call it? Management really well. Um, his owner. <laughs> no, his management really well. Um, it was also Dan Bilzerian's management. So like mm-hmm. like like um, we sort of um rubbed elbows a little bit and I, I was gonna do a thing with Vern Troyer on my channel but we couldn't find anything that this little I was like yeah we'll just get him a little gun and they were like you don't understand he's handicapped and he's and he's addicted to alcohol and he's 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 rarely like um with it enough to have a conversation and it's like oh okay well we can't find him just a little gun that's not the that's not the problem then because it's like I thought his little hands were the problem but the mm-hmm. problem was like he was a tremendous um alcoholic and it doesn't take a lot of vodka to get get you fucked up when you're that little, right? And, I wouldn't imagine uh, so. And also, mm. like, he had a Cheap lot of date. health problems. Yeah, he didn't. Die, he died not too long after that. And mm. Poor little guy. Yeah. I was such a big fan when I was in middle school. We were all doing that accent. The the um, actually that movie hadn't come out yet. I think I guess it was like early high school, like like the Austin Powers two. But no yeah, I'd much out. rather be a little person than. That someone guy. who's on the extreme level of ugly like that guy. Do, yeah, have sure. we have we shown his picture? Yeah, we did because we saw. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Stuff. yeah. Being ugly, I think you're right. I think the worst group to be in is the ugly. ugly. However, I think it's an almost by choice group because I, I keep saying that the the cure all to this shit: chicken and broccoli. Right? Mm-hmm. If you give these guys some chicken rice and broccoli, they will get way better looking than they currently are. That guy is wildly obese. Mm-hmm. His the the bottom half of his face is just visceral fat wrapped around more fat and mm-hmm. but thin him out and he's reasonable. I I, you know? I bet he I, I disagree. Yeah. I, I think that he's really he's a really ugly person. His skull is shaped funny. And and look, I, I don't know what it is, but there's something about when someone is like so far like shifted down the genetic rabbit hole that like <laughs> you see multiple things are like holding him back here, right? Because it's not just that his head is shaped weird. It's yeah. that it's that he has he's losing his hair at a very young age uh, out of nowhere. And his nose is too small and his mouth is shaped funny. And he has a weird mustache yeah. and weird and facial. You, you hair. guarantee that and, he's like, dumb. He has no chin and he has these weird like like cheekbones and his head's misshapen. And I'm only looking at the top half of this murderer, right? Yeah. Like like uh, everything that we could take yeah, in and about he's him a is, murderer. is fucked up. Um so yeah. Uh I bet he'll do well in prison. <laughs> what a piece <laughs> of shit. Why did I mean, do, do no we know why be. he did what he did? Was it I haven't heard anything. I had no idea. No, we just make assumptions based on the fact that it was a he's gay ugly. nightclub. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, he probably didn't like gays if he's going shooting up gay. That's so clubs. weird to me because I just don't like it. I I never cared, but it, nowadays, just see, I, I don't understand why anyone hates gays. Like that yeah. doesn't make any sense. Like like I understand like feeling a certain way about like a policy that, but but I I don't understand hating people for sucking dick. Yeah. <laughs> He, if anything, it's more women for us. We saw his dad beforehand. And his dad's obviously I think fucked washed, up and possibly a meth head. Did you know about his grandfather? Mm-mm. I don't know anything. No. 
But that that guy, he was not possibly a meth head we watched. That guy was on meth like as Listen, he was talking. Listen, I have a thing you don't know. Okay. His grandfather is a MAGA conservative July 6th patriot currently serving in the United States House of Representatives for representing California. He is like, you know, AOC or Kevin McCarthy. Like he's in the the, the federal, you know, he got voted out. He only has a few months left. But uh, he's like a full MAGA Trump backing January 6th jackass patriot type dude. Who's this? And, his grandfather, the murderer. This grandfather. murderer's grandfather is a politician, a successful politician currently serving in the federal level. Yeah. The only reason that I find that House of Representative, it, it seems hard to believe because his son, by what you're telling me, is is a, is a, is an adult drug addict who lives in a very low end apartment complex. There, I noticed. It's common for politicians. Oh, I'm, son. I'm right though. Like, no, I a, believe yeah. you. I, I'm not going to try to dispute you. It's just like, okay, so the the successful politician at a federal level, his his son is and grandson are both head, like, and the grandson is a murderer. Huh? That's odd. Yeah. Okay. Um, not a very sure. successful family after the I just grandpa. You know, you wouldn't think. I don't know that that man I saw doesn't look like he swims in high end political cir circles. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like he has access to any political circles or uh, any water really that you could swim in safely. Or toothpaste, mm. deodorant, soap. Need some moisturizer. Yeah, that's that a that very Gordon good point about the up. ugly thing because people who are sincerely ugly, like when you're so ugly that not being fat anymore doesn't fix it. That's like that's the group that, I think we're talking about is like the the tragically ugly. Here's a picture of a guy. Now he happens to be holding money, but Zach, can you show him? If you make this guy 200 pounds overweight, he's super ugly. But in this picture, I mean, look, he's not gifted with good looks, but he it's fine. Purely because he's got his body fat under. <laughs> Where the hell did you get this photo? I, like what? I, I, what I, I, Google image. Tell me what you tell me what, what you searched. Did you search? Tell me what you searched. <laughs> Average ugly man. Dude. Thin ugly dude is what I searched for. Sir, we are so to... sorry that when you search thin ugly dude, your picture comes up because you're not an ugly man. You're thin. Yeah. You're well dressed. You, you at one point at least had six dollars. <laughs> and, and, and while your your your, your choice in mm. frames is suspect, you're not an ugly man. Yeah, the dollar oh, no, frames come on. are a He is much. ugly. He's just thin, so he's got it together. And he I, has I $6, think he's which makes I think he's ugly. an above I think he's an above average looking man. Really? I, if we're if we're if we're using the definition of average correctly, right? Like Yeah, I think this You take like, 10 I, men off the street, he's number 5. So number I, here's I, here's where the the lens I'm trying to view it through. Like the different versions of him at different body fat levels. This is peak him. Right, he has achieved the best version of him. He I'm not going to judge other versions of him in the multiverse. This man right here, he's a six out of ten, I'd say. I I think he yeah. is a yeah. fine looking so dude. Finally, like what's in his hand? He needs <laughs> money. I, is the, it the only top... six? I can't tell if there's more. It's six dollars and like some parking validation or something. <laughs> I don't know what that other thing is. I can't. yeah. That, I mean, I don't like that's the top his receipt button. from the six dollar withdrawal. Is six dollars in like a Canadian buck or something? I, I'm that's not, not sure. It's not currency in the back. It's a bit of a receipt. It's, it's see, it's folded back. I, I Dude, imagine, know. imagine getting paid care. like eighty five dollars <laughs> for a stock photo of you just to be the result for ugly man, <laughs> like thin, <laughs> thin ugly dude, yeah, thin that's, ugly that's man, like, <laughs> and then a bunch of retards online making fun of you for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So that guy has managed to be above average. Mm -hmm. I think purely because he's got his body fat under check. He doesn't have his muscles dialed in. He doesn't. He just not fat, and that alone put him above average. I don't think is structurally genetically like he's he can do a lot better than where he is but he's doing fine only because he's eating right but he does eat right yeah eh, maybe. there are a lot of skinny ugly men in here when you google it you <laughs> you picked a a good looking guy oh, I, I tried to uh, some of them were like irredeemable good gosh mm. Yeah, mass shooters almost always very ugly people inside and out as it as it turns out Mm. Um, are mass shooters? I can't name many. Like every time they put the photo of like some school shooter up, it's always some like ugly loser. Or a, maybe that's 
the perception I see when I see him. I, I'm pretty sure everybody <laughs> sees that. Right? I, I think have, you're it's weighing not, personality you're seeing, into your evaluation. Like you're not seeing like some Chad, like some like football quarterback. You're seeing some like usually like a squirrely ace antisocial person who has a lot of reality show. And hatred. <clears throat> a reality show with like ten of these mass shooters that we've imprisoned and they're competing for their freedom, right? It's called shoot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got who's the host? And it, um um Aziz uh, sorry. <laughs> is John Walsh is John Walsh still alive? The you know the guy from you know his son went missing Adam Walsh went missing in the in, in the early 90s they, they came up with the He had the TV show America's most wanted. Uh cuz the cuz the surprise going to be a twist at the end of the show about with John Benet Ramsey's parents. Oh, them. Good people. So at the end, <laughs> <laughs> no, at the end, when we like the guy wins and they're like, oh, you ready for your freedom? It's like, yeah, I can't wait. Well, fuck you and lied and we kill him. And that's the whole show. And we do that every year. And they don't know it any different because they're prisoners. They don't they don't get the show. It's, it's on HBO. The elimination round is there on the other side of the equation. And someone comes in with a gun mm -hmm. and oh. Sorry, you were eliminated by the. Oh, by you the hit the mass stimulation. shooting box. Now Dave's going to come in and mass shoot you. <laughs> uh oh, the Sandy Hook kid didn't finish his bowl of roaches. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to execute him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm that's getting a down good with show this. idea. We should make Alex Jones be the host and not pay him a dime. That's his punishment. That's his punishment is he has mm. to like Bob Barker it up with these yeah. horrid people. <laughs> then, we'll be yeah, <laughs> then, then we'll be square. square. <laughs> All the uh, footage of oh, him. Yeah. Speaking of crazy people, did you hear Kanye's running for president? And Again? Milo Yiannopoulos is his campaign manager. Man, I don't think uh, this is going to go anywhere. Mm, that's disagree. upsetting if any of that's true. The second I think didn't especially. Kanye say he was running for president before the he last one? He did run for president, right? Didn't he like take some votes away that, that people were concerned about? I have no idea. I, I thought he did. Maybe I'm misremembering. I thought he ran for some political office and people were writing in Kanye and they were worried it was going to mess up the the, the, the voter or whatever. <laughs> oh, maybe you're right. I, he's not actually going to run for president. Why not? I mean, he says he is. And, and, I mean, that could be fun. See what happens. <laughs> I don't know I what don't it takes to run for president. Right like, to, how do you get on a ballot? You need that many signatures. Do you I, pay someone? I bet you can get the first parts of it with just enough cash, right? And some and like a license. Kanye asked Trump to be his running mate. I hope Trump's VP. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be so fucking funny. <laughs> if Donald Trump joins the Kanye ticket as VP. Yeah, or right? it's like we're All doing right. something new. We're doing co-presidents. They both wear <laughs> red Yeezys at every event. Would they? What would happen if if Donald Trump and Kanye West ran for president? And they, they announced now. Uh, I mean, what do you mean? Like, what do you think would happen? I mean, yeah, the Republicans would probably try and put all their focus behind DeSantis and be like, no Trump, no Kanye. And then if Trump was so popular that he like forced the Republicans and the Fox people to do what they did in 16, then they would like reluctantly get back on board. But I mean, please, maybe, maybe the not. general, please, God, yeah. and then probably please lose in the God, general. if you're there. The please only God. thing I want this year is for Kanye West and Donald Trump to become president of the United States together. Yeah, co president. Let that co president. Co president. <laughs> I want We're that. We're getting rid of I debates. We're doing rants. And so we just. Uh, <laughs> I want that more than the little girl. Gonna, <laughs> that's a way better thing to do. Is like get rid of even the premise. Dick Masterson, of, yeah. the, the rant moderator. <laughs> because like the debates aren't really debates anyway. Like because like it, they're yeah, not true. really talking to each other. So just get rid of the premise of debate and have it just. It's like, Mr. President Trump, you have three minutes to rant. You know, like Biden, you have three Here's minutes the to rant. With the no fact checks. Here's the problem with debates as I see them. Okay. They're not held like every other debate that's held. We don't have judges and points here. We have moderators and like talking points. What I want is they put them in a booth and when their time's up, their mic goes off. There's no like yelling if it gets turned off. You're in a soundproof fucking booth, Trump. We muted you like it's pardon the interruption. Like that ESPN show you may have seen, <laughs> right? Where you just fucking mute them and it's mm -hmm. like, oh, you had your time. And the, he won. All three of you lost. He gets to talk shit with a mic. Y'all are all muted. Listen up. Like, <laughs> that's how these should go. And, and, and every time there's a round, first of all, we're not rushed for time. 
the fact that we get rushed for time is absurd. The advertisers are paying. Make the program another fucking hour long. What do you mean we're rushed for time? Bump the reruns. What are you talking about? We're rushed for time. We have five hours tonight to do this. And we're keeping score after every question, just like mm -hmm. every other game that's played. All right. Well, Donald Trump has won that one. Bing! Point to Trump. Next question. And they can yell all they want. We'll wait for their mouths to stop moving. Then oh, we'll yeah. turn them on. Okay. How this like, works. It, this is uh, good. Let me just expand upon this idea. First of all, it happens on Painkiller already. Zach <laughs> mutes them when, <laughs> when they talk too long. And the three of us decide who's winning. That's, I would like that a good. lot. Yeah, yeah. You know what I would like to see? I'd like to see Trump be like, that's Not a great really. question about immigration. I appreciate it. I'm going to I'm gonna phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's allowed. Like, yeah. that's a, because, Kanye, because, I just wanted to tell you I'm going to win the million can I, dollars. Can I, just <laughs> say, <laughs> can I just say that as long as if, 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 you did, if you did that, that would be fine by me. Because, and here's why. The president is not is, doesn't make his decisions on on an asteroid alone in space somewhere. He's in sure. a room full of advisors. He picks. He phones many friends. He phones every friend he can think of before he makes a big decision. So it matters to me who Donald Trump would call on a pinch yeah. to, for a for a, a hey. Sometimes you got to ask the I, actually actually I know an expert on this in this field, you know, and he's like blah, 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 blah. He's like. Dave, make some shit up about uh, <laughs> about the fucking economy. I don't know what they asked. Something about I'd like him to call each other. <laughs> Like, like, you know, <laughs> Trump, what you, you didn't build the wall last time. How are you going to do better? I want to phone a friend. And fucking Ron DeSantis is like, <laughs> 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 hello? <laughs> hey, uh, you're really pushing me on this wall thing. Could you, could you tone it down a little? <laughs> I'll make you my VP if you stop asking this question. <laughs> All right. Well, deal. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's politics. That's it's politics. Mm -hmm. Now make you're making deals. That's deal. how it should be. I, I I just like the debates otherwise, um, except mm -hmm. when Trump's in them because he's mean and nasty and he says things that he's not supposed to and, and we hadn't seen that before. So that's fun. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try to go to a Trump event if if I can. Um, mm -hmm. Like if, if there's one within say an hour and a half, I'm definitely gonna go. I just want to see the show. Um, it, it's a show for anybody who's never been to one. Stop thinking of it like politics and like oh if I get a Donald Trump's fucking show then 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 the, the penguins are going to die in, in 30 years. Like that's <laughs> No, you're going to get entertained the same way. Think of it like a movie or a festival or anything else. When I go to the Renaissance Festival, I'm not like supporting time travel or feudalism. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to see yeah. some weird shit, okay? Of course. People same thing. It. You don't pay, and, and don't be like, oh, you're supporting it. It's free. Didn't you know? Like you, it, You're taking up the seat of that. someone who was actually going to get indoctrinated it's with free? your normal mind. Yeah, you just walk <laughs> up. Yeah, it's free. Show up. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you got to get in line if you want the good seats. That's why you got to get up the crack of dawn, like I did. Get in there. <laughs> I thought I was going to be in the front row, and we we're five rows back, and I got there so early, like Damn. four a.m., five a.m. or something. Five but rows it's like back a festival, right? They got they probably have food trucks. There's concessions. Food trucks. There's there's lots of like um, memorabilia and merchandise, and like everyone there is smiling and happy and and like glad to be there. That was my experience. There was no like cursing. There was no yelling. The closest thing to hatred that I saw was a black pastor got on stage and said that we were, they were going to overthrow Roe versus Wade. And a uh, um, one guy in the front row was wearing a big sombrero that was multicolored. And I think he might have been appropriating uh, a culture in that because he looked very pale. What the, wearing a sombrero? For, uh, a bit, pale, pale people should have more access to sombrero. Well, we were also indoors in Hickory, North Carolina. I think it was a joke sombrero because of building the wall and such. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Either way, fine with it. I'm still good with Taylor's idea though. Like I, I, I need access to sombreros way more than Mexican people do. Mm. People, the palest among us need the largest hats. Who said that? Aristotle. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> uh, people in, in Finland should be wearing giant hats. Probably. <laughs> I, I just picked them as like what I imagined the palest people in the world. That's probably right. Gotta be the Irish, right? In, yeah. Really, any I've, you probably can't miss all of all Northern Europe is probably about the same whiteness. <clears throat> all those poor gingers in Ireland, where where there's like it's it, it's all overcast and grave their entire yeah. lives. Hmm. They get no sun. I saw some map that was like average amount of sunshine hours, like in the U.S. and versus Europe. Like I didn't know it was such a chasm of difference. Like I like 
Missouri, very average. Like, I guess we're sunnier than average, but like there's nowhere in all of Europe that's as sunny on average as Missouri, much less California, Florida, the South. Like, no wonder people get depressed living in like in the UK in some areas. It's just raining all the time. It's overcast for like most of the year. You know that like sad gray sky you get sometimes that kind of puts you in a funk? Mm -hmm. Imagine that for months. That would yeah. suck. And now they don't even like own the rest of the world anymore with their ships. <laughs> so they can't go to sunny places. They it's sad. Probably still go. Yeah. If That's something you notice throughout yeah. history is that the people that do the most conquering come from very sunless places. I've often thought that maybe there's something to it being hard to survive in an area that helps them technologically advance. You know, like, like you can't survive a whatever Finland winter, unless you've got your heating figured out, your housing figured out. You're like you've got, you've got to have a bit of a civilization. You need to store food. Mm -hmm. If you can hang a hammock and fucking coconuts falling next to you all day long, then maybe you're not incentivized to advance your society in the same That's way. That's true. Like it's like about winter. Like if you have to plan for winter, it'd be like you have to like save up food and resources and stuff. No, so it I seems like about winter does that. I don't think that's it though, because you've got okay. those fucking abos out there who didn't do shit for like a hundred thousand years, and it's harsh as fuck out there. Meanwhile, you've got in South America where it's nice and cool, like temperate climate where you just grab stuff out of the rainforest and eat it as long as you control the panthers that are trying to eat you i guess that's again. they're inventing they're inventing astronomy and calendars and predicting south america did what's... that of course yeah they invented astronomy yeah well they, they didn't in... invent astronomy. did they invent this how do you know i oh maybe, maybe they, they, they did they arrived <laughs> at it on their I... own you mean like they were not the first people to you know, discover like astronomy and all that. I, I Wasn't feel that, like, like the Middle East. I don't think we know who someone the first in Europe were. navigated by the stars. Yeah, or... like every every culture used the stars to navigate. But I, I mean, like I'm sure they about... figured it out at different times. Well, I was just talking about like the Mayan calendar and how far back that went, and and that's okay. They're, they're utilizing the stars and the and the and stuff to do that. Yeah. You know, and the the the, sure. the, the sun um, at its uh, like zenith or whatever on from either side, right? They but, built like, those uh, pyramids to to like show things at certain days of the year with the shadows. Those pyramids are pretty new. I, I I was just watching Ed March, C90 Adventures. He rides a tiny motorcycle. And he went from like Alaska, across Canada, across America, then to Argentina, right? Can you picture yeah, how Oh my long God, ride? yeah. <laughs> right? That so sucks. along the way, he visits like this Aztec or Mayan temple. It's like a pyramid. And uh, then he finds out the thing is like 150 years old and he's British. So he's like, oh, yeah, actually, my, my bedroom is older than this pyramid. All right. Yeah. So, it's like, really? Because so, Oxford's been a university since the year 900. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he may have, have found some pyramid they made for fucking tourists 150 years ago. But, but, but those pyramids go back thousands of years. Like, Which like, one? Like, Not um, according to a YouTuber I saw. Yeah. Maybe not the one YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> Colin's doubting my historians. <laughs> so, I mean, you watched the Mel Gibson movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Apocalypto. That was a good movie. Yeah. Oh, there I was go. like, pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> How does this make sense? <laughs> <laughs> Mad Max. <laughs> Mad Max. That classic film. No. Um, yeah. Like the Japanese. Isn't it like, like Japan's full of mountains and difficult weather and ter difficult terrain? What, weren't they they've been fucking with china for a very long time always trying to invade china always chinese always invented them the chinese invented paper gunpowder and maybe and the game writing you start with sailing i think maybe writing we probably don't yeah. know who invented writing like i feel well, like all the think, time i feel like some older thing. here's the thing though here's the thing though if they invented paper were they wiping their ass with it probably not first they're probably yeah. writing on it so I, I think chinese did all those things and then uh you know, they did. Our, our poor, ignorant ancestors were were over there being pale and cold, <laughs> very cold, <laughs> very, very chilly. Cold. Yeah, that would suck. Just mm. having months out of the year where it's like it's well, there's still nothing to do, but now it's cold. I've I hope completely we discarded, disregarded all your contrary evidence, and I'm sticking with my view anyway. <laughs> that <laughs> <the> harsh <laughs> environments make for advanced civilizations. I think that, I think meant for hard people. Um, I, I think that that um, what, what's that whole thing where like um, 
you know, the Even necessity, the you necessity is the mother of invention. I True. think that if someone, I think that if someone has a cold climate, that they will come up with a good way to deal with cold climates. I think if someone has a, 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 a like like a mega fauna in their area, like big giant animals that are hard to deal with, they'll learn hunting tactics to like deal with that. But I don't think it necessarily makes them the best and brightest at all things. I don't think that the people who live in the cold, hard to live in place are going to be the best scientists because they because it's hard there. I think that well, there's more some, there's more difficult places to live than just cold like, places. I think but, a moderate place where not only can we uh, do we are we challenged, so we have to get out of our hammocks and stop eating the coconuts, but we can also relax once we figure this shit out a little bit and start calculating and looking at the stars and making lenses and figuring yeah, out you things. do have to be able to get on top of it. It can't be straight up desert or Arctic. Yeah, the Mayans that you brought up as your example of an advanced technological civilization didn't they get shot by the Spaniards and just beaten? Smallpox. They did get beaten pretty badly. S smallpox. Smallpox. Come on. You know what? Always, yeah. I, what, you know, I you know, you always go to the smallpox. I, I think muskets were part of it. Guns and horses were a big part of it. And 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 smallpox. It it, it decimated them. It was, well, they didn't it, have vaccines. They didn't. You know what? Here's what here's what I always wondered though. Um, so we, we always talk about like how the white people brought the smallpox over um to to the west and would wipe out these indigenous peoples. Why didn't they have any diseases to like fuck up the white people? They probably did. I bet like because there's going to be diseases everywhere, right? Like there must have been shit that that like all the Europeans started getting. If they, did, I guess not happened. as intense. Maybe it was like a milder sh shit, but like no, it would have happened if they did, right? We would have gotten. Oh, we got the. It, it, I mean, yeah, it, right. Don't go to Mexico, go, Montezuma's revenge. It, we'd go somewhere and they'd be like, oh yeah, there's yellow fever down there, but it's not like the Brits went back home with yellow fever and wiped out London. Like, I'm just curious why. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, no, no clue. Maybe, maybe the pathogen died on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, Taylor solved it here. <laughs> <laughs> They're very seasick pathogens. <laughs> oh, they got, but uh, no Dramamine in that time for no, the pathogens. They don't care for it. Mm. They don't want that. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know. You're what? What is? Uh, I, it would be so tight if they found one of those like super ancient civilizations, way older than like Egypt or you know ancient China. Because well, like, they don't know like, how go, old Egypt is. Like, uh, what is it called? You've brought it up, Ge Gekli Tepe. Uh, go Blecky Tepe, that place yes. in uh, in Turkey, that that site they discovered that's well over twelve thousand five hundred. That's years really old. cool stuff. That like has that, fast that that has those carvings and the, those enormous monolithic blocks that would have required not only someone who knew how to make monolithic blocks, but you have to keep in mind there has to be a system around um, the kind of person who is a craftsman and makes blocks like that. Uglug doesn't go out there, beat something with his club, and eat it, and then go back to the mm -hmm. mine that day. Uglug is a mine. This this requires a miner who mines all day as a profession, and a craftsman who crafts all day as a profession, and a and, and like a religious society who's like, yes, we must have these things to please the gods, and mm -hmm. little peons who are like, certainly do, right? All those things required a civilization uh, of of some like level is required to make those things happen, and we don't know anything about those people. And Egypt too, like the the word that Egyptians use for the pyramid builders is not Egyptian. They call them by a different name as a different people. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, they, they don't some know people, how old do that some people is. think that that like pyramid predates the Egyptians? Like, yeah, really old by ones? many thousands of years. And then and then like the um the uh the Sphinx. Like they don't know how old that stuff is. Yeah, you talked about the Sphinx recently, which I didn't know the Sphinx was older than some of the pyramids. That's, they don't have, nobody knows how old it is. If you took someone from one of those ancient civilizations, right, and, and granted them immortality, right? So now this guy is 12,000 years old. I wonder what he'd be like, right? So biologically, let's assume he's the same, that humans haven't evolved in 12,000 years. He's working mm -hmm. with basically the same, you know, wetware that we are. Cool. Would he be a genius having learned things for the last 12,000 years? Would he be a dumbass like me, still stuck on some outdated food pyramid that he learned in yeah. fourth grade? <laughs> still eating his 12 servings of grain a day. <laughs> yeah, just, bread is part of the foundation of this whole fucking thing. <laughs> like, like, would he be stuck on these old belief systems? Would he be a genius? Like, I, I wonder what this guy would be like if he lived 12. I bet he'd be rich. Oh, I yeah. bet, uh, please tell me you figured out you can just dollar cost average into the S&P. Anyone, it's Easy, easy to get rich. It's hard to get rich while you still have enough life left. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to live 12,000 <clears> years, God, you can spend 100 years getting rich. It's no big yeah. deal. He could have been the first guy in the stock market. 
Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Like the first, there's like, <laughs> all right, market's open. We're trying this new thing. And he's like first guy in line. <laughs> but I imagine someone like that would be unbelievably depressed. Like you, 12,000 years of meeting people and everyone you know dying. Like that would, that'd be horrible. Yeah. Is there a person I just wonder that can help you with that? Like, would the right narcissist just not care about anyone but themselves and okay, have, so a, it, have a dandy of a time for 12,000 years? All right. So he's a 12,000 year old psychopath. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's no, nothing so, but resentment for the rest of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> you just looking forward to the day that we implode. So I, that, that's a, that, that, um, that movie I just linked is kind of the exact thing you're describing. Um, and, and these guys are sitting around discussing it with some really good actors that I, I like all those actors. The man from earth. Yeah. It's, um, that one of them is claiming to be many thousands of years old and he, and they're having a discussion about it. <clears throat> really? Is the whole movie, the discussion? I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen that preview. Then it intrigued uh, me. I added it to a watch list. And then when you, can you show it that, cause I think people are going to be curious about what we're talking about, but it, it's from 2007, which I like, I'm, I'm glad it's not from like 1992. Um, this looks cool. Huh. I, I I'm kind of curious. Familiar, I saw I saw a little bit of the dialogue the other day somewhere, and it and it uh, it was really intriguing, well written stuff, um, because they were talking. One of them was like, "Our brains had essentially been the same as they were for uh, over half a million years, and that sort of man, he would he would learn as he went, he would grow as he went, but he would also be damaged, would he not?" And then they're like having this this mm -hmm. really interesting discussion. Uh, it's the doctor from uh, uh, Star Trek Enterprise. They had him a bunch of shit on his face, but uh, he's a good actor. Oh, this is Wait, the, the, all the doctor from Star Trek Enterprise, Beverly Crusher. Um, that's Star Trek: The Next Generation. You're right. Yeah, I'm talking about the Scott Bakula Star Trek. Oh, I don't. Is the doctor a um? A, you want me to sing the intro music? Been yes. a long way getting from there to here, and I'm not gonna let him hold me back. No, I'm not gonna. That one. Cause I gone straight. Oh, this doctor flopped. <laughs> that. Yes. That enterprise. The With doctor the hot was... ass Jolene Blaylock Vulcan that I would cut one of my half my dick off to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to say cut one of your dicks off. <laughs> You'd be down to one and a half inches. It's terrible. Yeah, I mean, I'll make it work. Whatever. That's a gorgeous woman. She's so fucking hot. She does her like, name. She does like D-list movies now. My uh, Jolene Blaylock. <laughs> She's so fucking hot. Jolene Blaylock. Sir, what you want is Jolene Blaylock from Star Trek because they made her wear this like tight, tight ass onesie. And in a everybody else in the show is just a normal, like nerdy looking chick. And then you got her with like a huge tits and a huge ass and like these big, like pussy lips on her face. <laughs> yeah. And she's, that, she's pretty good right that. away, they're like, we need to all go take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's like the next episode. It's like, oh, we're so dirty. We need to shower together. <laughs> we all have to shower. I have to scrub you down. There are they do. They do. Oh. Literally, they, they're scrubbing space each other germs down. <laughs> all yeah. over your tits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was something like that. It was like, oh, there's a there's some sort of space germ on your tits. We need to be in decontamination for extra long, naked together, rubbing each other's backs. And there and she's like, oh, if we must, human. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's so, not even a human. She's a Vulcan. Um, so yeah. Looks like all the parts are about the same. So all the parts are the same. Yeah. All right. It's all pink oh. on the inside. That's what that's yep. what they say. Actually, not in her case. Green. Green. What's a, is that? Why? She, why would be, they be the same everywhere else? Uh, because uh, she's green blooded. I think it has something to do with like uh, some of her hemoglobin uh, being made out of um, what's the, uh, it wouldn't be. Um, I, our, 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 our blood is iron rich and then hers would be. Um, not chlorophyll. She's not a fucking plant. Copper. I'm not hey, trying to be an asshole when is. I say that. <laughs> I can't remember the. Um, <laughs> any, sure it, it's, it's copper. It's copper. Oh, okay. um, copper. Maybe. In any case, it's, it's all it's all made up nonsense, sci-fi stuff. But I bet her pussy would be green if you ate it. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, when Spot got popped with in pennies, the, you know, whenever Spot gets popped <laughs> in the mouth, he, he bleeds that he bleeds that green blood, and and uh, and the doctor would go, "You green-blooded Vulcan bastard." <laughs> <laughs> Because because Spock would always be like emotionless, like oh, we must leave them to die, Captain. And 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 Bones would be, God, those are people down there, man. And it's like, why do you have a southern accent? It's the twenty third century. <laughs> there be some no good fellers down that asteroid. Yeah. Anyway, um, her message up on Instagram. I'm not gonna message Jolene Blaylock. Um, 
Uh, beautiful. <laughs> Why not? Beautiful. She's a fan of the show. Oh, she is a fan of the show. That's right. That's right. Yeah, she loves our wanna... ugly talk second segment. <laughs> 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 it's a good she, segment. She, and she really liked that time we all chanted men, men, men after saying horrible things. Uh, yeah, she's a big <laughs> that fan. was so fun. <laughs> that, that, that was fun. I don't that know if funny. you were all. I don't know if Woody was here for that when we did the men chant. Uh, that, I don't that was know. good. I don't, I don't think he was here for the, the men chant. I think he was on a trip. Yeah, it was a good time. Um, I, I I made a purchase last night. I was uh, I was playing Dark Tide with my boys, and I'm just not getting as many frames as I would like. I've got 144 hertz monitor, 1440p, but I, I, that that game isn't um, optimized super well. It is in beta, you know, and and mm-hmm. we're not playing the full game yet. So, but I was still only getting like down to like 75 to 80 frames sometimes, like in crate when shit's really getting crazy. Um, but but sometimes 100 120 with the DLSS, but they're just inventing those magical frames that aren't even real mm-hmm. i guess if you can i guess frames are like boobs if you can see them they're real but 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 still i like to know that there's real frames happening so i, I bought a, uh, a a pre-built pc for my buy power um i think it's got 4080 and um whatever the the newest um i um intel uh cpu and i got the ddr ddr5 5600 ram i think that's all that matters nobody cares what power supply you fucking use but yeah, yeah. I, I'll have a new PC in a week or two. I'm looking so, at a new PC as well. Like I was going to do the 4090 just because I was thinking like get it so that I don't have to replace it longer. But then I saw all those stories about it like catching on fire. And I was like, you, you know what? Like 4080, like I, with with these monitors I have, like what would be the point of a 4090? There, there wouldn't be it. one. Uh, you well, know, you don't need the monitors. 4080. 1080p, I, 60 frames. Oh, really? Yeah. This one is 1440. I think oh. those two are both 1080. How many how many hertz? Uh, no fucking clue, man. Whatever. You gotta the get 1440 on all three, Taylor. See, 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 even if his monitor was a 144 hertz monitor, there's no way he has the settings correct and the cable correct. That's all the true. same time. All the same time accidentally. You know You're he's also <laughs> <laughs> the all the same fucking time play? accidentally. <laughs> And Taylor's always like, guys, guys, you know, I, I know you like fucking Dark Tide, but I'm a big Pong enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play this game that came out of the 1990s or Magic the Gathering. Or, that's, like, a, that's a popular game. Dude, I can't help that it's a card a game. game. It, it might be popular, but you don't need a 4080 to play Magic the remember Gathering. That tank? No, remember, that, <laughs> remember that tank game where everything was just green outlines? Yeah. Yeah. I loved that game as a kid. Hop on, pal. Fuck off. <laughs> what was that game? Um, <laughs> oh, like Tank? Tank Commander? I don't know. Tank Commander. Maybe Tank Commander, yeah. And you, you could pick whether you wanted, like, a really... Sp- I always picked the speediest tank I could to be zippy and avoid, like, damage. Um, people don't know this 2D nonsense. It's not 2D. It's a 3D game. That mm-hmm. weird-ass game. Um, yeah, we should get your monitors fixed because the difference between 60 hertz... And anything else is 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 it just gets buttery, slick, and smooth to your eyes. It feels good, and you can pl- you play better. You really do. Whenever I, I like mess with settings, get more frames, I'm like, oh, okay, I I actually can play a little bit better here, and it looks so much better. Okay, I'll have to do that for this main monitor because it's a pretty good one. Oh, I mean, yeah, it, it it was the fine. It had good reviews on Amazon. It's an Asus. It you can move the screen up and down. Nice. I can do that too. Yeah, look at us. Maybe yeah. it's the same one. I've got like Just I think I've different got a... setting preferences. <laughs> um, everybody, I, I'm not try hard enough to like run a 27 inch monitor, so I always get like a, I think a 29 or a 32 or something like that. Maybe a little somewhere somewhere in between, and 1440, 144 hertz. But I think I'm gonna upgrade to maybe 270 something hertz, whatever the number is, um, like, like something 200 plus hertz for this, because I'll be able to run it now. Dark Tide you know, is so much fucking it smoother. Fun. Yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot more frames. Like, 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 I don't know. Maybe you remember the difference in how Halo looked versus COD Four because the big difference mm-hmm. back then was Halo was thirty and COD Four was now sixty, and it was just going back and forth. It just you really felt the difference. Yeah, you're um, right. I need to do that. I've been, been playing, playing so much Dark Tide. Tide. So much Dark Tide. I've got yeah. um, two level twenty five characters now. Uh, I is I'm, that the top uh, level? It's not actually 30 is, but uh, but but um, as they like patch, it's a beta and they're con- continuously like moving things around. Mm-hmm. So um, some I, I I'm I'm uh, not 
really wanting to finish off my first character because they sort of is there still her. a concept of red like is it the same color like you wanted red weapons and amulets and stuff is that they've gone to like the apex legends and, and modern game color um scheme where it goes white um green Ooh. blue uh purple gold okay do you have gold stuff yet no, I only have one purple thing. The 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 because it is a beta, um you're you're not getting all the content. You're not even close to it. And you're also mm. um um like like the way the weapon store works is like some like mit like some small iteration of it where you can't buy or craft weapons. You're, you you have a small list of weapons that you can get and it updates every hour slightly. So you can be frustrating if like Certain classes have unique weapons, so like if you're the zealot, you get this big honking chain sword. It's um, called the Eviscerator. It's so fucking fun. It sound <laughs> it's it's one of the best sounding gun when you're running around. It's going na 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 na. And when you and you, when you swing it, it's going zing zing zing. And when you fire it up and like and like hit somebody with it. It like grrr, like chains through them like years of war. It's a chainsaw sword. Cool. It's a chain sword. Yeah, it but looks wait, like wait. A... you made it sound like it had an engine when you fire. it. Oh, it your... does. So it's a <laughs> chainsaw sword. A chain yes. sword to yeah. me is a sword like a flail almost. There. Yeah, but um, Zach, show us a Warhammer 40k chain sword. They look heavy. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, especially the two-handed variety. But uh, my lady wields it like it weighs, like it's an aluminum baseball bat. Just she's just ping, running on adrenaline. Ping, ping. Yeah, she's just fucking shit up. Man, I know the video you're fun. thinking of. Do you? Uh, uh, <laughs> obviously, after like betas, they reset your your characters. Nah, and no, no. The, Kyle said you keep oh, your progress in this one. It's, the, it's that's weird. The, the, the intent is to keep as all, all the progress. They have stipulated like, hey, like something breaks, you you could lose all your progress. Know that going in. Yeah, you got something like this. That's a chain. That looks sword. cool. Yeah, no way for that to actually work, but man, is it fun. Yeah, <laughs> no way for that to actually I, I would work. very quickly cut myself. Yeah, 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 you would. You would. Oh, yeah, um, 100%. Man, I don't think I, so I haven't fun. figured out the like the, the way it would try to move, right? Like, for example, you, we've all seen the thing where you hold the spinning bicycle tire and then mm -hmm. when you move it side to side, you kind of mm -hmm. have it like fight it to make it move the inertia. If you had a chainsaw going around a sword, you couldn't swing it like a stationary sword. It would have other. It'd I be like know. pulling down on you if it was going down, right? Because the chain. Is it that simple? It could be. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I mean, you swing sideways and it just pulls. It's just you and you pull and like counter the teeth and you as you swing, right? Look, well, it's you're a, talking it's about the way that weapon. after it digs, but I mean, even just playing with it through the air. It would be like a rotating bicycle tire where you're holding the hub, and it. it oh, you, like, think it you think it would like be trying to hands. move centrifugally? If it, you you don't think it yeah. would just sit in space? It would spin if you let it to itself, and you threw or, it zero g. You think it would spin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But or on, on maybe, maybe I'm not sure actually. But like, it would resist changing its momentum, right? It'd be like if it's spinning around, and then you tried to make it go this is it, terrible it's topic, a fantasy weapon <laughs> yeah and um and and, and i i started the conversation saying they don't work but it's real fun in the video game and i <laughs> highly recommend y'all boys got to get in there you gotta get in there right. I, I got the, i got the people trained well, i got my, i didn't know that the, got, the levels weren't gonna reset because like i was yeah. many times he did tell us, yeah, and that's a big thing. I've, I am like losing part. I had a really good day today. I had this big to do list. And I'm just checking shit off, you know, this leg day, clean motorcycles, ride motorcycles, buy this, get ready for my big trip. I got planning. Like I had a really productive day, and I and I signed up for the show, and I'm like, Jackass, you still didn't get any video gaming in. <laughs> You'll have to do that afterward. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's a lot of fun, and and like I'll the ogren character, the the big ogre motherfucker. I can like like as soon as he was level five, I was able to play the third highest difficulty with my friends and like not get left behind. He's that good. He's that tough. I think mm -hmm. at the higher difficulties, if you go to four and five, there's a lot of ranged stuff. They keep piling ranged on top of ranged, and it gets hard. They haven't balanced it quite perfectly yet. There is a mechanic in the game where if someone's shooting at you and you shoot back, they duck their heads, and now you can rush them right. And they mm -hmm. haven't quite gotten that perfect. Uh, and they also haven't gotten the mechanic where when you do rush them, they drop their gun, grab their blade, and like the time, the the the, the space that they need to do that in. Because what you don't want is to run up to five guys 
and they all just look at you and start shooting you like a firing squad. You yeah. want them to get scared like they normally would if you had a chain sword and you're on top and draw their own swords and then get fucked up because you've got a chain sword. Yeah. Um, a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Um, it's got some bugs, but it's a fucking beta. And again, like I said the other day, you can play for free. It's a pre-order beta. You pre-order, you play it, cancel it. The end progress shifts over. If you if, if you do want to keep the game, you can buy it and get on Game Pass for free. Great game. So and if you like score. Warhammer 40k, oh the score is so good. No, the the scores, I mean, I want the scores at the end. Oh yeah. They said they're gonna do a scoreboard. Uh it might be a pussy scoreboard where it doesn't That game kills. needs a scoreboard. Yeah. That was like mm. so much of it was like finishing a game and being like, yes, I was serviceable. Yeah. Like <laughs> I was useful here. And then other times you're like, oh man, like I caused a lot of problems <laughs> for, the, <laughs> for the rest of the team. Yeah, That's ever play good. zombies and be like, I was revived 34 times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I just need to like unplug my internet and text them. I'm going to bed. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, ah, my computer crashed. Damn. Oh. <laughs> zombies is rough because when you get behind the curve and things are hard, it can be hard to get on top of the world again. Yeah, and it just you, snowballs where it's like, there's no way for me to take this wall MP5 and parlay it into a fun time. But, like, yeah. like, it's and not they tried work. to fix that, but like, like, then like like you'll get killed and you'll come back the next round. And you're like, don't worry, I got all this money. You'll like buy your perks and stuff, and you're about to buy the last one, and then you immediately get killed. Yeah, <laughs> like like you spend all your now you've got no money and you're dead. And it's like, all right, I, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're done. We're done. I'm bad. <laughs> it can be very frustrating. I yeah. I guess it's two years until the next Nazi zombies, right? And li- yeah. Yeah, I, I think they're trying to make this a two-year COD. I didn't look into what that means. I also saw that, <clears throat> I guess it would be Blizzard Activision, whatever the big daddy company that, that owns it all is. Um, is Microsoft? Is, is Microsoft, yeah, is going to have um, Call of Duty for a decade. They're, they're working a deal to get exclusive Call of Duty for a decade. That is going to shit all over PlayStation, if you ask me, because I think that a big part yeah. of what keeps PlayStation floating oh. and, and the passionate part of their like market is... I don't know, dudes who play Call of Duty and like all the sports games, right? Like, like mm-hmm. if you could get the sports games too, like if you can get the the Madden like stuff and the, and the and the two K stuff, yo, yeah, oh yeah, is FIFA a big seller? FIFA is really really pop. Like I, I my friends, <sighs> that's like, so surprising. I have friends who play FIFA. I I don't get it either. I, I'm terrible at sports games, but FIFA is a huge sports game, even in America, apparently. I I I, I don't really get into sports games, but. It is very satisfying in Madden when you complete a slick pass. Like, like it just it, it really is. But the baseball, I remember playing baseball on my Sega Saturn many moons ago and thinking like, I own a bat and a ball. Fuck this. Yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> like, 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 I'm gonna go hit some balls outside into the net. Like, why would I sit here and like click this button when I could try to hit a ball? Uh, yeah. It didn't make any sense to me back then. I, I don't know. Like, go to the batting cages, dude. It'd be so much, so much more fun. The only like fun time I had on like a sports game was doing like the GM mode, like on NHL, like Mm. eight years, nine years ago. And like the gameplay itself is not very fun because it's like it's just a sports thing. And like if you were good and you know how to like do dangles and like like deeks and everything, yeah, it would be fun. But like I don't know how to do that. And so I would just like baking a roster and then simming the entire season and up to the playoffs and just seeing if I could actually win like a cup just with the roster, like simming everything. And like, of course I could not with like the salary cap because I'm not a GM. Like I don't know how to build a team like that. And so like after that first run, I turned off the salary cap for only me and left it on for every other GM in the, in the league. And then I just fleeced them. <laughs> just, just all these trades. I'm like, hey, I'll give you all my first round picks in the 2030s for Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, like Alex Ovechkin, and they're like, I'm not going to stare a gift horse in the mouth. Deal. And <laughs> it was the little text, and that was fun. But yeah, sports games are just not my jam. They're they're not not that. They're good for playing with friends. They're good for playing with friends. The 2030s. Oh, you can do that in sports games. What? Who's MSU? And that's Mizzou, no MS Michigan Maybe State Michigan University. State. Kyle, you're muted. Uh, that's it. Michigan, Michigan State, State. Yeah. is Mizzou doing good? Probably not. No, that's uh, what I was saying. Like, your article is great. Like, like, like that's I'm sorry, I was muted. That, I, I was reading through it so I couldn't see my thing. I'm so is, glad they 
So this goes back to that tunnel altercation between. I don't think I noticed it. All right. So, so what it is, is, I guess Michigan State MSU oh. got into a fight with Michigan, and now seven mm-hmm. of the players. Oh, you don't know the beginning of this. I thought you knew the whole thing. All right. So mm. back at the game a while back, I think it was halftime or post game. It doesn't matter which, but one of the players went down the wrong fucking tunnel and ends up surrounded by the other fucking team. What do they do? They do they appoint him back to his own locker room? No. They beat him senseless with helmets. They take they've got their there's video of it of, the, of this guy getting beaten with a helmet in the head. Like 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 surrounded by the Is other Is he team. wearing a helmet? I don't uh, remember I that don't part. I didn't mm. get super into this story, but they they assaulted him and now they're filing charges against those cocksuckers. That's so good. It's ru- I hope that they it ruins their careers. That's great. You, you, they, they were beating him with a with a with a deadly weapon in a dark corridor with all their friends. I can't think of anything more cowardly or shitty uh, or or more. And they were probably like like being sore losers. That's why they were doing the beating, right? Well, they had just like lost. Guessing. Yeah, the guy who got beat up was on the team that won, right? There you go. Perfect. Yeah, sore sore losers are going to jail now. Good. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Just dude, boy, I I did it's pretty he, fucked up to go down the wrong tunnel too. What, was he going to mock him? He's going to go he in had there and a little talk head shit? injury. No, <laughs> they've all got head injuries. Yeah, you can't use that as an excuse in football. Yeah, head injuries are not an excuse for anti-Semitism. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I that that is good because I saw that clip and using the helmets to lay the beating on him is like, like that's a you could fuck somebody up with a helmet. Like, here, here, and here's badly. the best part. Look. If you're going to assault someone with a deadly weapon with all your boys, maybe find a corridor that isn't quite so well filmed and recorded in Mm -hmm. HD crystal clear quality. There's a YouTube video of the assault. Mm -hmm. (laughs) There's like there's like a there's like journalists standing there asking questions about the defense like an ass, <laughs> of the assault. So I notice you're putting your hands over your head. Is that because you fear CTE? <laughs> no, it's because they're hitting me with helmets. Get me out of here. <laughs> yes, I notice they, they're hitting you with their helmets. What do you think about the new helmets? They're supposed to be much harder. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're so much harder <laughs> than I'd ever imagined. My skull stands no chance against <laughs> these high quality polymers. <laughs> yeah, that. I didn't think that those guys would actually get in legal trouble, but damn, they, they did. They I'm should. not sure he went down the wrong hallway, like Kyle said, because um, it looks like both teams go down the same hallway. One goes left, one goes right, and he just didn't have his team around him. I think in, in watching this video, I, I'm not sure. You got to stay. Well, yeah, I'm watching the video as well. If he wasn't confused about his directions before <laughs> beating like if you get to 207 for example 211 you'll see the whole Michigan team is there now they're just going in to the right uh okay so yeah it doesn't even look like i don't know why they beat him up just cuz they found someone they just maybe they were like oh we just lost and we're embarrassed and he's he's making fun of us let's beat the shit out of him that's exactly what happened oh i mean that's what i would imagine happened maybe he said something Oh, I'm sure he did, but like Who trash cares? talking someone doesn't give you the right to assault them with a weapon. Like maybe she's absurd. wearing a short skirt. It depends on the trash talk. <laughs> depends I on mean, the skirt. But bragging about winning a football game, even in like a shitty way, like this, there's no world in which this guy deserves to like have your get brain damage. According True. to the district attorney there in Michigan, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I I looked up this. Like a couple of months ago, like tra- you're allowed to beat someone up for the for trash talk. The the Supreme Court did a ruling. It's called fighting words. And like if, for example, if I just lay in and talk about, I don't know, your family, your kids or, or like just the right stuff. I forget what the examples were. Then um, they don't consider you the instigator of the fight, even though you took it to violence. I'm going to need you to source this. Okay. Because, and I'm not saying that fighting words don't exist in, in, at, a, at a core central station of our legal system, but, um, but Jesus Christ, how can that be? How can that be? <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus Christ, how can that be? No, Kyle, if, if you're super mean, you can cave their skull in. <laughs> I just haven't seen it re- that, that, that like brought up a lot. 
when people would in fact talk shit and thereby get hit. It's a bit of a fuck around and find out type scenario. Like like traditionally you find out and it's all good. You're telling me here that there may be legal information. Yeah, I'm looking at it. There's it's hard to read because there's at least four Supreme Court <sighs> cases where they like talk about the scope of fighting words. Um Certain words present produce a clear and present danger. They're not protected. Uh, they invite a dispute and cause unrest. In, 1950, okay. in 1951, uh, they held that certain fighting words that incite a riot create a career, and they're not protected by the First Amendment. I'm looking for more stuff here. Um, I think this is about making clear and present threats to one's safety and life and other things that constitutes defending yourself and things like yelling fire and yelling, you know, crazy shit in public, right? Rather uh, than a sort of Andrew Jackson style <laughs> dual, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> dueling society sort of interpretation. I'm trying to quickly come up to speed on this fighting word stuff. In Texas versus Johnson, 1989, the Supreme Court redefined the scope of fighting words doctrine to mean that words that are a direct and personal insult mm -hmm. are an invitation to exchange and fisticuffs. There the court held that the burning of a United States flag oh, which was considered symbolic speech did not constitute fighting words. Are you so reading that or making it flag up? I read it. Yeah, I read it. words. Oh, okay. I was like, that sounds right. <laughs> that would have been a bizarre <laughs> thing to make up. <laughs> like, <this> is, <laughs> yeah. Just a bizarre top of the dome riff. But uh, yeah, I, I think I know what you mean, Kyle. Yeah. Um, I, I would like that, though. I would like to live in a dueling society where two men could agree to duel one another. Um, I think you'd see it a lot in the on the internet. Instead of people boxing, they'd be dueling. And I think you a, can, right? Can't you agree to duel? No. You can agree to uh, mutual combat in the Northwest. I think maybe it's Washington uh, or Oregon, one of the others. Um, and, and the cops will stand back. Like, you, you, you boys want to have a go at it? Hey, they're probably Canadian. And uh, they'll just, you know, stand back and watch you. And that's all legal and good. But dueling it involves, well, I, I think I think in, in the old cartoons, the, the guy who's challenging the other man who is cha the challenged gets to pick the weapon. You know, I challenge you to a duel. You Here, that's a that's weapon. a good fair. Let me Ooh, let like me throw that. this out here. I got it. Mm -hmm. The court held that provocative words may be justification for an assault, provided the person uttering the words understood or should have understood that physical retaliation would be attempted. The words may be fighting words. And then it goes on to talk about it. But yeah, so fighting words justify an assault, according to the Supreme Court. They just need to be good enough. You know, you yeah. can't call some guy a stinky poo poo head, but but you go hard. A lot of it mentions racial a couple of times like that. Those are fighting words. You know what I think should be fighting words? Any threat. If if we're standing there and you say, mm. I'm going to fuck you up. All right. You've done it. You Boom. might as well have just punched me in the face. You have instigated a fight. If you mm -hmm. just said, I'm going to kill you. Now I should be within my rights to well, kill you. Well, that's pretty cut and dry. <laughs> well, learn. Well, learn fast. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. you I, I feel like you tell somebody I, you're gonna kill them. Look, in the old west, I bet if you told a guy in the street you're gonna kill him, he thought you meant it and he responded in kind. Not probably out. by like whipping a pistol out, but by waiting in no, the alley probably. that night and beating you with a with a with a stick or something. Beating to death. You with a prostitute. Yeah. With a prostitute to death. A prostitute's yep. wooden leg. No Beat her with a prostitute to death, then kill the prostitute. Perfect plan. Yeah, they both died. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. And you're in the Wild West. And uh, I imagine the Wild West being like, you know, Sheriff, there's two freshly dead people where I just was. And he's like, did you see anyone? It's like, nope. It's like, two oh, Mexicans think. and an engine. Oh, yeah, it was a together. couple of Mexicans, probably. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to head out of town. You'll never see or hear from me again. <laughs> <laughs> in this anyway, scenario, why are I'm we about to somebody... uh, pony on <laughs> out of here. <laughs> if you want to write my description down, I'm the white guy with the beard on the horse. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> write it down, brown hat. <laughs> <laughs> the horse's uh, name's teeth. Charlie. <laughs> Missing teeth. Little yeah, racist. Just, <laughs> just right away. There's no fingerprints. There's no There's DNA. No the worst thing that could happen is is, you, is someone got a good enough look at you to scrawl out some crude drawing of you that someone and guess may what? recognize. Guess what happens if that person's not armed? 
<laughs> ah. <laughs> you just waste, waste people. It's it's Red Dead Redemption. It, it, they call me was. Kyle the Blinder because I blind everyone I did wrong. They'd never be able to. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to make up new voices in towns you go to again. <laughs> Hello, I've never been here probably, before. <laughs> probably just easier to 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 kill anyone who's who's good enough at drawing to <laughs> to do a wanted poster. There's only one in town, right? There's it's the only Wild one West. wanted guy, and you pay him off with six cents. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crime point. was a lot easier back in the olden days. I guess it's going to get progressively harder. Uh, Tom Cruise makes so many cool movies that you forget about him sometimes. But um, Minority uh, the, Report. Minority Report is so fucking good. Uh, it's the one where they have the ability to <clears throat> know that someone is gonna commit a crime. So they fucking slide in SEAL Team Six style in a heli into your garage if they think you're about to kill your wife, lock mm-hmm. you up for the rest of your life, and you're like, "Well, I was." Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I wasn't gonna. And they're like, "Yeah, you were. We know you were. We can see the future." Because and uh, and all of a sudden, Tom Cruise, who's this like future crime enforcement officer, his name comes through the machine. They're like, "He's about to gonna commit murder on the you know next Friday." So the team's after him, and he's like, "Bullshit! I'm being set up, or is he? Or is everyone Minority getting Report. set up?" I can't Minority remember Report. hardly Very any of that movie. I haven't seen it since probably a year after it came I remember out. it beat for beat. It's got some John Walsh um, 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 stuff in it, some some child uh, stuff, uh, child, you know, because his... Anyway, I, I remember it very well. It's a very good movie. Um, I highly movie recommend last it. Night. I saw Avatar. I guess I'm getting a little jazzed for a $2 billion movie. I've never seen a $2 billion movie before, and I'm kind of curious about it. And Taylor was talking about the ridiculousness of the final fight scene. Yeah. And I was like, I don't... I don't remember well enough to say that he's wrong, but I, I don't know. It, it just seems like he should be wrong. <laughs> and and uh, anyway, I saw Avatar again. It is a, a pretty dumb movie. <laughs> <laughs> and the and ba- the fight scene? <laughs> uh, you were wrong about that. <laughs> oh. there was, yeah, no, they didn't just make a terrible strategic decision to fight within spear distance. Like a couple of things. One... The reason they couldn't use long-range weapons was because if you get closer to the soul tree, all the radars stopped working. That's why they decided to have the fight in that area. Two, the humans absolutely butt-fucked the Navi. They were winning that thing huge. They were hardly taking any casualties. And they were like, the horse Navi, the flight Navi, and the, I don't know, foot Navi, they were all just getting raped by the white guys. And then... Jake Sully the night before prayed to the soul tree that God would help him. And you thought God ignored him because, you know, God shit. God. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the next day, as things were at their end, the big dinosaurs and all the little birds and shit joined their cause and beat the humans. So, yeah, and the, the, thank God the birds jumped The in tall and... blue humanoids didn't do it. The blue rhinoceroses did or whatever. <laughs> Guys, so we, have, we have to stay away from the soul tree because it'll fuck with our stuff. Sir, we have long-range missiles. We can shoot them from space. My, yeah, my problem with this is they've traveled to this other planet. But the tree's so quick and devious. <laughs> no, I, it, had, <laughs> it, it like is a jammer. Is, is the... like, d- let me ask you this question. Do you think our current United States military would struggle with the blue people? No. I don't think so. Pick, pick <laughs> a modern think. military in the world, and I'll answer it again. Right, Here's what ahead. bothered me, uh, especially like Russia would. Okay, struggle. so you know Russia they're on win. the you know they're on the planet looking for a MacGuffin, right? That's it. it yeah. It, probably everyone. A MacGuffin is a movie term for like the Declaration of Independence, the things that we're all searching for, the Lost Ark and Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a MacGuffin. It's the map you're looking for, etc. Um, the pirate's booty. Mm-hmm. So the MacGuffin in Avatar. Do you remember what it was called? I do not. Goober Unobtainium. Cheap. It was called Unobtainium. It, it was like the most obvious MacGuffin made up the element name ever. True, true, huh? Yeah. And I, I don't know. Something about Unobtainium. It, it's a joke I've heard for like everything that's expensive ever. Mm-hmm. I wish they, they should have just said gold. They should have said f- it's fucking gold. It could have been gold. It could have been. There's a- gold in them dire hills. Like, like, like a crystal like, that. Powers so Iron that, Man or something. I don't know. Make it make it super kind of futuristic, jewel. but we've reverted back to like gold rush style, like society, like mm. like like, and 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 everybody's sort of a a a a, a, a rustler now in space. I'd like that. Space, I heard a Matt Damon. I, Did you know Matt Damon was offered the lead role in Avatar? Yes, and they offered him a chunk of money. Ten percent. Wow. 
Yeah, so That's he turned, fuck up. he's like, you'll never meet another actor who's turned down more money than me. Not, he, not uh, that Sean Connery's <clears throat> dead. What did he turn down? He turned down 20% of Lord of the Rings franchise. To be oh my god. Dude, he would have been a billionaire. Like mm -hmm. a real one. Like, like, like not that one. Oh, yeah. 20 percent of Lord of the Rings. That's oh right, my but God. Gandalf character. I can't wrap my head around. Yeah, didn't didn't he like do an interview? Hmm. He's like, I didn't understand what was being said. I was supposed to be some kind of gay wizard. <laughs> 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 but I said, you want Ian McKellen? <laughs> I said, you want Ian McKellen? So I slapped Liv Tyler and left. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God, Ian McKellen got that role. Yeah, because I, Ian you McKellen. Say that? He, I, I, nothing wrong with Sean Connery, but. Mm -hmm. Ian McKellen is a much, 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 much better actor. All right, well, let's drop a couple of matches. Come, but... get real, get God real damn. here, man. Come on, Ian McKellen's like incredible. He's okay, good in everything. Right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Right. But uh... like <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery's of... funny. He's it, Sean Connery kills it in that video where he talks about beating women. I love that <laughs> video. I watch that video. I share that video with everyone I meet. Um, I love that Bar Barbara Walters is a real cunt and a half. Um, I, <laughs> I, I, I just think back to that interview where I think it's Corey Feldman is like trying to tell her how he was molested by like execs in Hollywood. And she's like, aren't you worried about the damage you could do to a whole industry? And it's like, man, I wish something bad would happen to you, Barbara. Something that's so bad. I can't even say it out loud. Like, Jesus, <laughs> fuck, you're an awful bitch. You're an yeah, awful it's like bitch. you're. Oh, you're. Someone's coming to you, telling you something you clearly know about your industry, having a problem with, and you're trying to like to say that to someone is like a tacit, like, shut like, up, be careful, be careful, yeah. shut up, don't talk yeah. about that. Aren't you worried about all the powerful people that could be upset by that? Like, that's fucked. And you know, like, you watch one video of that guy, and you know he was ab. He's telling the truth. Yeah, because like, he was cute. He definitely got molested. <laughs> all yeah, all those little banger. guys. I felt like it went unappreciated, <laughs> but I liked it. Yeah, no, he, he, he was um like like he was the, the one. Elijah Wood. Cutest. We he, all Elijah know Feldman Wood. was the better one, or Hames. Yeah, his yeah. friend was the better looking one. Uh, I and think he killed think, himself, right? Or drug overdose? It's a shame. When, or maybe, or maybe he was, you know, maybe, drug overdosed because he 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 was going to tell on the wrong uh, straight-ish Hollywood exec slash star who had molested him. That could be. You know, we know these people are doing some some shady things. You know, all well, those, those like people. Kevin Spacey once told me, with great power comes great responsibility. Now hold this kid down. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him back! God damn it, he's the best actor of our generation. Oh, I think well, I, 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 I think Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, but 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 Daniel Day Lewis gets to do whatever he wants. They 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 locked my boy up. They won't let him act. They won't let him in any movies. I think he's actually got one coming out. Did I see a preview for um, a Kevin Spacey movie? Or, 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 <laughs> no way. Like like it would have to be one of those. It would have to be some kind of independent thing because I don't think anybody wants to fuck with him. But I don't know why it's it, it's never stopped him. In any other in any other career, like you get work, you know, like if you were legitimately one of the top five race car drivers in the world and you did some bad shit, you'd be able to go like drive somewhere, right? Like somebody mm -hmm. wants you in their car. Like if, the same thing with football, you know, as long as you don't kneel. It looks like kneel. he's in a movie called The Man Who Drew God from 2022. Oh. I hope it's about Mohammed. it's a self portrait. And he gets him killed. Uh, Faye Dun okay, good. This is our Faye Dunaway's in it. Uh, that's got to be a good sign. Directed by looks like Frank the rise and fall of a Giuseppe blind Spanero. Faye Dunaway's 81 years old. Does she know she's in it? <laughs> <laughs> we will inform her. <laughs> just, like, 81. To <laughs> Jesus, she should like run for politics. It's a it's a Oh, it's the true story of a blind man who, who drew portraits of people by hearing their voices in 1950s Italy. Fun! Man, dude, that's... <laughs> oh, I do not care about that. Forget nope. it. I don't want to see Avatar anymore. I want to see the man who drew God. I want to see it, and I want, like... I hope that it's a movie about, like, a bunch of people placating a bad artist. Like, that's... Whoa! Spit an image, and it's, <laughs> it's just terrible. Like, fucking, he's got one thing. It's 
Just not even like trying to do lines and faces, like just stick scribbles. figures, his big old like <laughs> stick pointy figures. nose. Then we go, oh my god, he's a genius. He's the best drawer in the world. <laughs> yeah, this movie looks looks awful. What are the stakes? Like what? Yeah. <laughs> what is at stake you ever watch movies like that where you get halfway through and you're like okay so like if it goes really bad <laughs> go to summer school yeah. <laughs> it's like i know a lot of people had to go to summer school they ended up fine this is gonna be okay yeah every once in a while a nice low stakes movie is what you need yeah you know, something where it's not about death and murder but i mean you, you kind of need death as a finality in as like a as a stake in things like if you knew that gus wasn't going to kill people breaking bad wouldn't have been very good season three like did if you was, ever uh did you, did either of you watch any of that uh that pepsi documentary about the jet yet not yet no not yet. okay um i I'll won't watch, spoil it no. or anything it's real good anybody listening it's on netflix it's uh it's it's a documentary uh like three or four episodes about the true story of when pepsi advertised they the their points program you, know, you get a jet for this many points or you get a, a jacket for this many points, some sunglasses for this many, and at the end of the commercial, Harrier Jet, 7 million points, and someone called him on it, came up with 7 million points, and wanted their fucking jet, and they were like, ah, what do you really want? And they were like, we want the fucking jet. And they are like, yeah, but how about like a lot of money? I already told you once, my friend. You're here for the jet. <laughs> 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 and, and Pepsi's just like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> He wants a jet, he says. <laughs> like, like, like they don't know how to deal with this guy. Did, he, did they offer him the equivalent in cash? Oh, like no. Like thirty-two no. million dollars or something. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Because I, I might have settled for that. They offered him <laughs> enough money that, as a kid who had just come up with some Pepsi points, probably should have, uh, probably should have. Because most he, people, I think, would have taken it. He spent four and a half million, right, to get no. the jet. No, he spent seven hundred thousand from an inv- He got an investor to put in seven hundred thousand. And the idea would be because that's all it took um, when you bought the points. They had a program where, hey, you mm. need to round up your points a little. You sell points for X amount of points for 10 mm-hmm. cents. And he was like, seven million points is uh, seven hundred thousand dollars. So here's your check. Um, they wrote in Harrier Jet and they mail it to Pepsi and they wait. And Pepsi's like, Did they cash it? <laughs> well, they don't know what to do. They're like, we could just cash this check and send it back a model. <laughs> and that's what we showed in the commercial was we could send him the thing from the commercial that model we record <laughs> and, and cash his fucking check and they're like no <laughs> no it has to be a functional harrier <laughs> uh, so um yeah i watched it, a different documentary where a guy bought a harrier jet mm-hmm. and apparently there's a lot of rules around who's allowed to own them and whether you qualify the faa weighs in on your and, and but he was the guy he was like a um what do they call it? A test pilot. So, so like he was, he was previously a test pilot. Now he's old, he's retired, and he has enough money to buy a Harrier jump jet. Yeah. And he bought he's one. He's the guy. Yeah. yeah. But like, sir, do you know, sure you're going to be able to fly this Harrier jump jet? Uh, I've never had a problem flying a Harrier jump jet. Uh, I tested that one actually before it was uh, <laughs> called a Harrier jump jet. It was the XB 74 back then. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I don't know, sir. I was smart enough to trick Pepsi. Like, <laughs> so, uh, so I think I can handle this. <laughs> they uh, and you also get a little background into like how awful Pepsi is as a company. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll spoil this little. I bit. will this not have your Southern Coca Cola bias way into my Pepsi. They, Diet Pepsi is better than Diet Coke. Pepsi <laughs> put on Pepsi put on a contest in uh, in this poor country. I can't remember where. Maybe Singapore. Doesn't matter where. But in a poor country, they put on this contest where they were going to give you the equivalent of like 40,000 pesos or $40,000. It was $40,000 in pesos. A million pesos at then was like $40,000. Mm-hmm. And basically, you pop the cap on your on your Pepsi, and uh, there's a number under there. If you get three of this, and um, they're going to read out the number on TV one night. It's like a lottery, basically. So everybody's keeping their caps. People are eating. People are giving up meals to buy Pepsi. Mm-hmm. And you're interviewing people. And Manny Pacquiao uh, is from there. Where's Manny from? Because that's where it is. Manila. Philippines. Oh, right. Okay. So Manny's like, I bought his. I went to the the the, the dumps. Me and my friends, we'd go through the trash looking for 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 caps. Everyone, everyone, they give up their meals for caps. Anything they could do. 
Coca Cola fell to nothing here. Only pe Pepsi's like um, sales just many fold over and over because everybody's trying to win <laughs> this money. Finally, they read the number out on the news: three, five, nine, three hundred fifty-nine. Everybody looks at the caps. They've all got one. They've all got three, five, nine. Huge. They're, they're, everybody thinks they've won the lottery. And then they start hearing like, oh, so-and-so says he's got one. Ah, he's a fucking liar. I got one. Show us. <laughs> I'm not bringing that thing out. I'm going to get my money from Pepsi. Finally, it comes out. They're like, Peter error. Wrong number, boys. Uh, we're not paying out. Actually, how about this? Y'all get 20 bucks. They rioted. And, they, and some Pepsi trucks blow up. And Holy shit. When, when the Pepsi trucks blow up and the factory gets attacked and some, and some people die, all of a sudden, the, the, all the attention sways back Pepsi's way. It's like, oh, these people have gone violent. They're blowing up trucks. Turns out after an investigation later on, it was determined that Pepsi blew their own trucks up. Of no. course, the people who came up with who, who discovered that were paid off a generation later. And they say, no, 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 no. We, we think we the current story there locally um, after Pepsi talked to them, is that rival bottlers bombed the trucks? So, Moderate rebels. So <laughs> basically, so Pepsi ripped these people off. There were many deaths because of it, and then they bombed their trucks That's to insane. sway local opinion away uh, and, and make themselves look. They false the flagged their own beverage trucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, Pepsi's That's genius. Uh, allegedly in Minecraft, uh, I, they, mm -hmm. um, according to that documentary that that somebody said. Okay. On Netflix. Well, I mean, the documentary with an agenda. Show me one. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Fahrenheit 9/11. Have you ever uh, seen a documentary where a guy's like, "I'm just interested in this, and I'm going in with an open mind"? <laughs> like it's always, it's always, yeah. like, it's always like, today we're going to talk about food and how everything is poison except for what I'm selling. Would they give a good? Right. I, I can only come to the conclusion that this this doc gives a fair shake because three or four big wigs from Pepsi are in it. Like they're there given their side. Former and big wigs, like big wigs at the time. The people who were doing the stuff that the, the doc is about. Like the people, and not just like, oh yeah, I was working battling. It's like, yeah, I came up, I designed the commercial. It's my commercial. And then they got the other guys like, yeah, I was running Pepsi marketing then. Yeah, I I pay the guy who comes up with the commercials. And it's like, yeah, and I'm Pepsi legal. Like uh, and and like, yeah, I'm the lawyer who works for Pepsi legal. Like mm -hmm. they have all of these people in the dock and, and you get all of their like points of view. And it's good when you've got two people telling the same story about an event that happened in the nineties. Cause then they can be like, you remember then he came in and said this. And he's like, yeah, he did. And so it's, it's, it's a fun little documentary about a wacky marketing uh, campaign that Pepsi came up with. I liked it a lot. That stuff's always so fun when like, someone works a way around like some big corporations contest like the uh like that obviously this one is way more impressive than like the like fucking with mountain dew name suggestions mm. but like all of that stuff is great yeah. i believe the movie punch drunk love with adam sandler has to have been inspired by this uh this this uh harrier jet instance that. well in that one there's a pudding uh lid giveaway you you know under the lid of the peel off pudding snack things there's points and he's like yeah i came up i i did the math and you can you can order them like this and if you do it like that and you you basically get free airline miles for life uh you know i have as many as i want now and he's just this this very like he's on the spectrum and just like like he's wearing that blue suit the whole movie inexplicably uh he it, it's it's uh <laughs> punch drunk glove is like if one of adam sandler's violent goofy characters lived in our universe where that is unacceptable bizarre behavior to beat another man in a in a in a denny's or to scream out loud in public about nonsense they take that character and put him in a real world so he has an outburst at a family event and everybody's like what the fuck is wrong with you like you've ruined dinner yeah. you've ruined dinner because you're you can't control yourself or or like he get he gets in a fight in public and it's like oh my god, it's not comical really when you beat three men with a tire iron. It's terrifying. Yeah. And so uh, Punch Drunk Love, really good movie too. If you want to see Adam Sandler's best, I think. Although mm -hmm. I haven't seen his newest movie where he's uh, running around with the with the gems, uh, uncut uncut whatever gems or whatever. When he's oh I did salesman. see un uncut gems. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody says that's tremendous, and I, I need to, I need to check that out. I thought it was good. It was like. It, it kept my attention the whole time. Like it Adam was high, Sandler, it was high tempo the entire movie. 
I'm pretty sure Adam's a billionaire now, and mm -hmm. he uh, he just act he every like five years he'd be like, just so you know, I'm a really good actor. Watch, and he'll just yeah. really do a good job at acting, and then he'll go back to making those goofy comedies with all of his buddies to make sure that they can live life to the fullest too. He's like, I, trying I to love that about him, him. Yeah, is that he's just like, oh, Kevin oh. James movies aren't hot anymore. They yeah. are in Adam Sandlerville. Come on, Kevin. <laughs> like, Kevin like James, be... David Spade, Rob, Rob Schneider, Schneider. Come over here, suckle on the teat. I'm here for my boys. I'm here for my friends. Like and Chris Rock shows up every time to support him in those Chris Rock's movies. there to help. He, <laughs> I mean, Chris Rock's obviously not struggling. Everybody loves nope. Chris Rock. See, if I if I were a famous actor and I had that kind of reach, like what he has with Netflix, I would do the exact same thing. I would be hooking up all my buddies with with like high paying Netflix roles. Why wouldn't you? That'd be yeah. awesome. Just being yeah. like, oh, you're struggling financially, bro. Guess what? You're playing a goofy retard who rides a, a tricycle. Here's 600 Taylor. grand of Netflix money. I know you're not a superhero guy, but you have Spider-Man's powers, right? That's okay. it. You're, you're the you're the best athlete. You can bench press and a his car. Suit. And, and you get and you have the suit if you need it. But I don't have the body would. for that. <laughs> <laughs> Phew, uh, do. Then you just get his powers, which is super yeah. strength and just unexplainable agility athletic ability dexterity etc okay. what do you do with this power do i have um does spider-man have web power or is that a machine uh it actually varies by spider-man for the purpose of this you have web power okay i keep the web powder power stuff a hundred percent under wraps don't let okay. anybody know about that stuff because like if, if people realize that they're not going to trust anything else and nope. then I would really just pick whatever sport I wanted to dominate in. And for yeah. me, like it, like I love hockey. So I would be the greatest NHL player in history. Ever. I could be the best goalie. Yep. My save percentage. I would have to every so often let goals in to make it seem reasonable. Like, no, no, fuck it. Blow them out of the water. You'd you be, should... the, you'd, you'd be the highest scoring goalie of all time. Cause you'd leave the net a lot. <laughs> you would play offense with your team. Uh, goalie every, every, yeah. every, you would always be playing. The net would always be empty. You'd be over there know. playing. No, you wouldn't use goalie equipment. You you'd be light. You'd be we'd be with the bare minimum. Whatever you have to wear, goalie let you wear. You would have to wear a form of it, but I bet I could wear like super small, lean pads. Mm. And you know the goalie and can't carry sponsored. the puck past There'd the be middle commercials line. Commercials about how your pads are. You know how we always your go slap on shots could score gloves? from half ice. Oh yeah, I, I just <laughs> play with a right-handed stick so I can fire slap shots from from a little beyond center ice. Dude, I would. You're right. Why am I limiting myself to one position? I should be a forward who moonlights as a goalie when necessary. <laughs> you play a man up. You play. We play the whole game the with the goalie pulled. Yeah. You should yeah. play whatever position you feel like that day. Like you're you know, right. like because I'm the coach also. <laughs> Taylor, what is the record for and the shutouts? Because that should be your rookie <laughs> debut. Oh yeah, I just <laughs> you should just lead with like eleven shutouts. And Dude, if I, I if I like started my career with twenty five shutouts in a row, like there'd be like an FBI investigation. <laughs> like there'd be like there's no fucking. So, so, so here's a little fun thought: like the fact that we all come up with the same conclusion about what we would do with any sort of superhuman powers is that we'd use them for our own financial gain. Who's no, to I, say? Who, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Who's to say? that there aren't among us a few superhumans and they went and their dad was like, son, you can bend steel bars. You can jump over the bar. You killed the bull last week with a punch. You know what you've got to do. It's like fight crime. No. <laughs> you're starting safety Finish for the college. Chicago or for the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. You're going to ball, son. <laughs> you're going to ball hard. <laughs> What's your favorite sport? What's your favorite position? Anything. Pick it. Like, just whatever you want. You know, the best home run dinger swinger ever? Soccer or um, basketball? Baseball. Uh, you might be right about basketball because they get the shooting endorsements. Deals and stuff. Yeah, the oh, because baseball sports. players get the contracts. Soccer, I tennis, think. tennis players make so much fucking money. Like those top, like Nadal. Spider Man would be so good at tennis. You can He'd do both. As a tennis, you, you can, can play one. And the, they have. I like the idea of being a wide receiver and having really sticky hands, catching balls that are six inches out of reach, and just bringing them back. You get already, caught. <laughs> you like quickly they'd slow mo and draw a, a yellow highlighter around the. the You're a hundred percent right. I would get caught. I don't know. <laughs> they, it came to me. <laughs> they, already, they already let you basically put glue on your hands. Like like those gloves that they're using are are yeah, like so designed tacky. to stick. They, they wouldn't stick to a table if you stuck them on there, or like they don't stick to you. But but like they're designed to stick to those balls. I watched a whole thing about it the other day about how they used to use that crazy like stick them or something. Mm -hmm. they, they showed those. 
pictures, black and white pictures of football players on the sidelines, and they're covered with like this cartoon like glue. Used to get like, all over the uniforms. Yeah, like I mean, they're covered in it. Uh, the whole reason they outlawed it wasn't, hey, that's not fair. You're making too many catches. It was like, yeah, look, absurd. <laughs> 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 Everything's sticky. <laughs> like you gotta well, stop. Like those baseballs from 120 years ago, where uh, they're just jet black because they have so much tobacco spit rubbed into them, and like, yeah, ugh. yeah, oh. um, they, the, those those disgusting spitballs. Um, yeah, sports have changed a lot, I guess, over Baseball. the years. We were just saying before the, the show that my version of 4v4 basketball should be implemented. It, it would just be a better sport. And, yeah. and, and, and it, Where they had knives. Five is too many. Yeah, then knives, yeah. 4v4, knives. They need to either make basketball 4v4 okay. or make the court bigger to force people to have to actually run. I wondered if making them nets higher would be good, right? Nets higher, court bigger. But yeah, that make dunking really impressive. It. It and would make smaller, dunking make it smaller impressive. too. Make but it three I, harder. There's something to be said for watching them do like ridiculous, making it look easy, doing the ridiculous athletic mm -hmm. stuff that they Not wouldn't when, pull off on a high. Let me ask net. you this. Is there a guy in every game who can make plays like that look easy? I think the answer is yes. There's one on yeah. every team, right? A mm -hmm. couple. So is it really that special? Like, like, wouldn't it be cool if there was like three guys in the fucking world who could dunk? And make it look slick. Be like, oh shit, here it comes. <laughs> like, like it would anybody, look like the '50s game. There's right? not a guy out there who can't dunk. Like, like even the sh I bet the shortest, yeah, least athletic NBA can. player can dunk in a cool way. He's not doing that that silly hmm. double-handed white man dunk. He can do a cool dunk. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm saying it's not impressive anymore. I don't care that you can dunk. I can dunk on the fucking eight foot goal in my backyard, dude. Like, maybe I can't spin, but I'm not getting paid to watch either. <laughs> like, 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 get the fuck out of here. I'm not impressed. Put that thing yeah. up 12 and a half feet tall. Make that court 25% bigger in every dimension. And now let's play. Like, yeah. like, let's see what you can do. And make the make the, make the the uh, the goal, whatever you call it, the, the rim, smaller. Make the ball barely fit. Make it, yeah. make it, make it hard as fuck to sink a Grab three. Grab it from a carnival. Make yeah. goal the ball barely make goal I mean, don't make it impossible, but make it hard. You know what That's I think? Easy. I think goaltending should be legal for your own team. I think that would lead to some fun plays. Like if I could just put it. So right now, if the ball's on the downward trajectory, you can't touch it. Mm -hmm. And if the ball's in the cylinder, I think I have my rules right. If the ball's in the cylinder that the rim creates, like an imaginary yeah. cylinder, you can't touch it in there. It has to like bounce out of it for you to get it, or it has to be in the upward trajectory. I understand. I think it'd be cool if same team could touch it on the downward trajectory then it would be all kinds of like like ollie assists ollie oops like you know wacky sort of teamwork plays that would be fun to see I, I bet it breaks the game with people that athletic i bet again if a bunch of us are out and like that's the new rule it's like oh it's a silly version it's a lot more fun and exciting but i bet when you take those super athletes who do it for a living and get, get paid 50 million a year or whatever to do it they find a way to make that break the fucking game in a Maybe. way that you like can't let's watch say anymore. I shoot a three point shot. Now you're athletic guy under the net. You get to decide whether you want to see if my three falls or turn it into a two by touching it yourself. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, like, you know, we, we start money balling that and seeing how this game develops. Yeah. Well, Interesting. I'm just going to keep my white, stupid ideas to myself and watch MMA because that's that, that that's what I should do. Never I'm say that, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Let those stupid ideas fly. I love it. And you know what? <laughs> What's funny is like people will be like will leave comments mad about like talking about basketball like this. The Taylor doesn't know anything about that sport. That's true. No. That's a fact. I don't know anything about basketball. I'm just trying to give you a way to make your sport interesting enough that I would care to learn. Like your yeah. sport fucking blows. Like it's like, just like, they're, they're, they're the most here, here's how I know thing. your sport blows. What's the percentage uh, uh like like every time you go down the court, how often is it a score versus the defense making a save? I'll call it. Mm -hmm. You know like like how uh, often is the offense successful when they go down the court? More often 42%, than percent. Really? Like they score. They 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 the defense wins more than they lose in that basketball. Sounds right. Well, no, I'm going by shooting percentages, and I'm not counting offensive rebounds and such. Maybe yeah. it's higher than that. Yeah, with offensive rebounds, yeah. it's got. I would guess that it's 75 plus percent of the time. Yeah, like, I would think scoring. it's even higher than that. It seems like every time you go down the court, that 
if the defense makes a stop, it's like, oh, all right, let's go. It's it's like sh- a Dude, not as someone who doesn't watch basketball, like I'll see a highlight know. and t- it looks like there's a rule of like, oh, one person on each team is the designated can't play defense guy legally not allowed to play against the rules. <laughs> that guy can't play defense like that's what it looks like, because you'll see like clearly the lower tier players like kind of jog it up and then you'll see someone who like has nothing but job security like on their phone i played like he's just walking back to the like basketball on this peewee on their phone. <laughs> and i remember um i remember playing peewee basketball and then the, the guy boop, boop, blew the whistle i had the ball I was trying to go score I was like, what is it game stop he's uh, traveling you took uh you take two and a half or three steps or something without bouncing the ball and i was like but i had it like i was doing the and, and I, I didn't mean to. And, and yeah, you can't run with the ball, Kyle. And I was, I didn't know. <laughs> they run with the ball every fucking night in the NBA. I, you turn on fucking TV, they're running around with that thing like it's football at this point. <laughs> like, I, like, I'm not an expert on this, but I saw a, uh, a like a, a YouTube video that really demonstrated how traveling works. And it has changed, like Kyle said. In the 50s, all those players, super unathletic, you know, they're dribbling like, like an elementary school kid, right? Well, that was the rule. You could only touch the top of the ball. You couldn't do this, like hold it from the bottom, carry side to side mm-hmm. stuff. And they, I don't know if they changed the rules or changed the enforcement of the rules, but now the kind of handles that a basketball player is allowed to have and how he holds it from the side. And, and you can just do a lot more with the ball than you could in the 50s. So mm-hmm. obviously they're super athletes, maybe the best athletes in the ball's sports, too small as well. The ball needs but, to be bigger. But, um, so they're better athletes, but also the enforcement's different, and that's part of why basketball's gotten so flashy. Uh, that's the other thing I would do. Instead of making the rim smaller, I would make the ball bigger. That's what needs to be done. The ball's way too small. Make it um, heavier. Like when you when you're a kid trying to play ball and you're trying to like just do some of the things that you can do when you can hold the ball with one hand. Like like if you mm. ever watch somebody like they've like like got it like like put out over here, they're holding the goddamn ball and they're like mm-hmm. analyzing the defense real quick. And like then, it's all a right. tennis ball. Yeah, they're all right. Well, the ball's over here, fucker. You stay over there. I have nothing to think about because the entire all your buddies are over there. All right, I figured this out, and the ball's here, and here we go. Like, like now I've got mm-hmm. a plan. Like, mm. fuck that. Fuck being able to do that, dude. <laughs> yeah, I like, can't do that even. Clearly, slightly. the ball's too fucking small for your gigantic mitts. Like, <laughs> it I, should be such a big ball that it's hazardous. <laughs> and heavy no you're right i'm sorry i went too far there Let's should be knockouts every game <laughs> there should be no- you know what add, add fighting <laughs> see if that pans out i'm just trying to find, find a way not even to fighting just checking make the sport interesting to me but if it's, it just seems awful to me I don't, I don't get it i try to watch i i've watched some nfl recently and i've gotten more into that because that's like cool to watch it's fun i think it's a it, it's a much well, better sport i don't like nfl down players down time i don't mind that oh i do mm. mind that I get that's that's what I hated most. About I played playing for an hour, but you're there for three. In in middle school, like I only played football for two years in middle school, and it was it was up there with baseball as far as like the most boring sport to be playing because it was, you know, I, I'm running out for a pass. I'm not going to get a pass because I'm 13, and so it's like everything felt like a drill. Mm. Like it's like oh, you just get to rehearse this again. Either. And then you get to come back and hit, get in the huddle, and then the QB is going to go. We're going to hand it to the fast kid again. Do run out again? And it's like this. This sucks. This is not fun. I like I don't how even much... feel like I'm part of the team. I don't feel like I'm part like helping half the time. In football, how long do you think they play? Like I know the clock is sixty minutes. Oh, dude, I bet, but I bet they... fifteen minutes. That's not a bad guess. I, I feel like they run a six second play, and then they wait a minute before the next play, and the clock's just running and running. Yeah. And 15 minutes is a good bet. I bet I bet about 15 minutes. Like what what is it? How how many I don't even know how long are the quarters in football? 15 minutes? Four 15 minutes? minute quarters, yeah. Four 15 minutes. Okay. And then yeah, it's got to be around 15 minutes cuz every time I, I see football like at a friend's house, all the time is going away like in between plays seemingly. Have you played soccer as an adult? No, I feel like that'd oh. be embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Like I, I, this isn't even recent. Like I'm I'm 49. So this is probably 20 years ago I played soccer. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like good god, like how much cardio does this fucking game take? And there's nowhere to hide. 
Ball no. goes that way, you got to run that way. Ball goes that way, you got to run that way. You can't coast on your skates you know, <laughs> across the ice. You like just take four good strides and be like, I'll get there when I get there. That doesn't exist in soccer. You have to earn no. every goddamn step. And, and everybody else is in much. great shape. Yes. And so like uh, you have to, it, soccer is like, I would rather watch soccer than probably football or basketball. Like I just, I, the, the flow of the game, I like more, like it's always kind of active. The, the flopping fucking sucks. It's really embarrassing mm. to like, I think like Europeans and like, I guess the rest of the world would be like, that's just part of the game. They do that. And it's like, but I think in America, like it's so drilled into our sports culture, like the flopping, particularly in hockey that like you see that and it's like, but the ref knows you're faking. You know you're faking. The viewer knows we're faking. The announcer knows you're faking. Both coaches know you're faking. What's happening? Like what? What? Are, what are we doing here? What is this performance like? The, the it's, uh, there, there's really no, it, right. Yeah. What is it called? Embellishment. It's called embellishment. Yeah, it's a two minute. So if in hockey, if Woody hits me with a cross check into the boards, and instead of getting a normal amount of hurt, I go like, oh. Ooh, like on the ground a little <laughs> bit. The ref will be like, Woody, you're out for five. And uh, Pussy, you're out for two. Like, like the, <laughs> because the, it's called embellishment. Oh, Taylor fell way harder than he had to and like was looking to the ref for attention. That's two minutes for embellishment. Woody delivered a check that probably shouldn't have knocked anyone over, but Taylor fell. Yeah. You might get the only penalty. Yeah, it's. I think it's, it's rare that they'll call an embellishment on its own. You have to really... Okay really flounder around like a lunatic <laughs> and and like if it's a real bad one they'll fine you for it so they'll, it'll, it'll be like uh so and so fines three thousand dollars for embellishment and it's like just a shaming tactic so that their name is now in there with the history of so now they can go oh you get cross-checked history of embellishment buddy like and so then once you have a history of embellishment someone can you know take the stick to your ankle and everyone's gonna be like yeah but did it really hurt that bad because you act like you get shot all the time <laughs> like uh pk suban he used to do that a good bit and then eventually people realized like the ref stopped giving him calls even when it was like genuinely somebody fucking with them they wouldn't give him the call but um i, I like i've been that. having such a, a blast on the show tonight didn't realize i'm way over on ads so we are gonna hear from fume this episode of PKA is brought to you by Fume. Fume is the natural inhaler designed for a better, safer, and natural way to quit cigarettes. It's a no-smoke, no-vape, and no-nicotine replacement for the hand-to-mouth habit of smoking. Fume handcrafts wooden inhalers and uses cores infused with plant oils studied to curve craving, curb cravings. They have flavors like peppermint and conquer with minty notes to stimulate menthol cigarettes and other flavors like cozy chai and lemon berry bliss for a sweeter experience. And all their flavors are 100% natural, no harmful chemicals, no artificial flavors, and no nicotine. Quitting is tough, but fume really can help. They've got thousands of five-star reviews from smokers who have tried everything else and this worked. Whether you're a smoker or ex-smoker who still struggles with cravings, Fume is the perfect tool for you. Head to breathefume.com slash PKA and use promo code PKA to save 10% off your entire order. That's 10% off your entire order when you head to B-R-E-A-T-H-E-F-U-M dot com slash PKA and use code PKA to save 10% off your entire order. Check them out. 100% natural, good flavors, breathefume.com, code PKA. And Check them out. This episode also brought to you by Lock and Load. There's a Black Friday deal that is in my WhatsApp, in my phone, in the other room. One minute. <laughs> this is the worst ad read what? we've ever done. Have we uh, ever run to get our phone to see the coupon code? Oh, you're going to want that coupon code. It's worth the wait. Uh, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> he's just gone. <laughs> oh, he's got it now. All right. You got it. See, hold on. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't have it. I have it mostly. Um, uh, fuck, where is it? There it is. Right uh, Black Friday, our biggest sale of the year is almost here. Site wide, hmm. 20% off. So, big opportunity there for lock and load if you'd like to check it out. 20% off everything over there mm -hmm. at uh, Derek's site linked below. Uh, you can get. Turkesterone, buy one, get one free. Uh, sale goes live tomorrow, November 25th at 10 a.m. So 
uh, code PKA and code JIZ are both upgraded for the next, uh, from, I guess, Friday on for, you know, a few days to 20% off. So you want 20% off anything, use code PKA, use code JIZ, 20% off the entire site, whether that's cum pills or something else. Uh, I don't know what Sigma is, but get your fucking Sigma 20% off also. Get your Turk 20% off. I know it's less, more, less expensive than it used to be. Oh, and God. All orders less. over 100 or To qualify for 20% discount. Yeah, I should have read this. <laughs> to qualify for 20% <laughs> discount, customers will be required to spend a minimum of $120 subtotal. All orders over 150 you get a bonus Gorilla Mode starter pack, which includes 10 Gorilla Mode sample packets and a shaker bottle. All orders over 180, you get all that previous stuff, the products you purchased, 20% off, and you get a Gorilla Mode tank top along with the bonus starter pack. And that's and it's over Sunday, and that's it. 20% off, code PKA, code Jizz. Derek Sight. Start coming like a man. Start coming like a man, you fucking bitch. Oh, did you see that the Supreme Court ruled against Trump and they're going to release his tax documents to the I did not to the House? Yeah. So the deal is they're not supposed to go public. Uh, giving the t- tax returns to these House of Representative members, it's not releasing it to the public. Mm-hmm. But historically, these things tend to find light of day. That's everything mm-hmm. I read. So it might be that Trump's tax returns become public knowledge. I does it matter is my question. Like it I feel like if MAGA Nation hears that Trump has cheated on his taxes and has loans with Russian banks, are they going to change their opinion on Trump? No, I, I feel like that's baked I, into I, the cake. I think that whatever they say. They, they won't be able to resist themselves. They will make it worse than it even is. Like, even if it's bad, they'll make it a little worse. And, mm-hmm. and, and so the right will say, look what they've, look at this huge lie they've made up. It's not this and that. When it was this, but yeah, it wasn't that. And there was no reason to put that in the story. You just discredited mm-hmm. the whole thing and made it look bad. They do that every time. So I don't care if he's got loans, Russian banks, or if he's not like a, a uber billionaire or, or any of that stuff. I don't think that most of his fans, if you want to, or supporters will even believe anyone who says that it, that those things are true. They won't believe anything that uh, opposes Trump. Uh, anything that someone who opposes Trump says. I, I, you know, the I media, feel like certainly. no opinions will change. Some people <clears throat> might believe it, but not care. It was baked into the cake. I already knew he <clears throat> cheated on his taxes. That, that I hope so. Mean, Right. Like that makes him smart. Right. He got on the debate stage and said, yeah, I don't pay my taxes. That makes me smart. Well, what Um, he said was like, I take all of my deductions and and I don't know why. I wish they just say that. He's like, hey, I fill out all my deductions. Don't you? If you don't, you should fire your accountant. (laughs) I think what he said, she said he doesn't pay his taxes. He said that makes me smart. I don't think he said what you did, but I could be wrong. It's been. Yeah, he didn't say it, but that's what he that's how he should have framed it, because that's what he means. Right. Like, Like what he means is like, yeah, I take advantage of the tax code. He's I follow it to the letter. I don't break the law. But no, if you, I don't pay my taxes the way that you might think a billionaire should have to pay taxes. Like, like, like average Joe out there who 33% of your income is like leaving your pocket every year and going to the government. That's not how it works over here in billionaire land. Although lots of money did get paid out a lot of the times, you know, like, like, like they're paying some taxes, but it some does are. look Trump weird. Some are. Some taxes. Trump pays as little as he has to pay. And, and some of it's probably illegal. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I don't know. I haven't seen his sessions. I think he pays less than he should pay, less than he has to pay, I should say. Um, oh, yeah. Maybe, but, maybe. Uh, uh, we'll see. And I don't think it'll make a difference. I think everyone who likes him is okay with him cheating on his taxes. Everyone who doesn't like him already didn't like him. And if you'll, uh, it's just baked into the cake. I don't know how else to say it, but uh, it will be interesting anyway to me. I follow politics for his tax returns to get leaked. I think that'd be fun. Um, I kind of feel bad for him because it's like, uh, it would, it's, it's kind of like, they're like trying to figure out if Santa Claus's magic is real or something like that. You know, they're, they're, they're like, ah, we don't know about these reindeer. We see them flying around from place to place, but we think he might have an engine in there somewhere. And now they're going to find out. It's like, come on, man. Like it's the idea of the billionaire president. Let it fucking go. Like, like I, as far as him cheating on his taxes, I don't care. I think the big 
who got we got you kind of thing is going to be if he if he's not um, as wealthy as he'd like to be seen as. And he won't. Be. Yeah, that to me isn't isn't it. And That's I don't even know cheating him. taxes it. I want to know who he's paying loans to, like if Russians or Chinese or the Middle East like have have them by the short hairs. That would be interesting to me. See, I don't know what it's like borrowing money when it's that much money on such big projects and there's so many other people involved. You know what I mean? Like, like when I would borrow money, it would be like, Hey, I'm a, I, I want to get this car. So give me 80,000 and we'll mm-hmm. have this. And, but maybe him borrowing money was as simple as like, yeah, I'm on the board of this company or yeah, I'm an investor in that company. And I don't really have a lot of say and, and who th- they go for the lowest interest rate because I'd fire them if they didn't. So sure, mm-hmm. we're in some bank in Europe for that. We're also in a bank in Saudi Arabia for this other thing. We're in a bank in Chicago for this other thing. And I'm I'm not a fan of Chicago. I think Chicago might be my least favorite of all those people, frankly. Real words <laughs> on there. Now he's pivoted. It's funny and nobody cares, right? Like, like <laughs> I don't think it's like that. I, I think like banks are like, we don't work with Trump. He doesn't pay his back. He doesn't pay his back. He's bad loans, bad loans. So he starts going to like shittier banks, shadier deals, finds Russians or Chinese or Middle East people willing to give him cash because no American will anymore. Like, I think that's how it goes down. What? No yeah. Americans will give him money. True. No banks. Don't they want to like he doesn't pay them back. Like ever, why don't they, they don't send like soon. That's them. why he works with like Deutsche Bank, and they stop working with him. That's why he, I think he has loans from Russians. Do- Deutsche Bank's a huge bank. They don't work with the Trump anymore. Yeah. So I think, he. I think, I hopefully, I have my facts right. I don't understand how he managed to do all this with all these banks. If he like just took, so he just took loans from every major bank, didn't pay them back, goes and, bankrupt. Doesn't well, no, I, I think that's more outlandish than the truth is like i don't think he took loans from every major bank and just flat out didn't pay them back but like didn't pay them back on time didn't pay them back in full to where they stopped working with trump oh okay but yeah i don't don't really see the tax thing being being a big boom either way we'll see what do you think trump's credit score is (laughs) i don't know i bet it's bad but it doesn't go by credit score it goes by project viability at that level i know Uh, but it makes sense but but for example, I bet he's got like a fucking four fifty credit score. <laughs> he might, <laughs> he might. Like, like like he's with like you know I bet his like his liabilities and assets are all out of whack, and I bet that he is he's got a he's had so many bankruptcies. I bet he's got a four fifty fucking credit score. If he had to yeah. liquidate right now, it might be a little nasty. I mean, I don't what, know. what does he I claim know. to be worth? And like. What's the assumption? He wants to be the highest. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was, I thought like at the time he was president, it was like three and a half bill. Or that's what the, I mean, he'll, he'll say things like, well, the Trump brand is 7 billion of that 10 billion Mm -hmm. because that's how much I could sell to put my name on people's items, stuff like that. He might be onto something. It's a huge brand. It is. Yeah. Yeah, It's one of the biggest brands on in the planet (laughs) after him being president. But I've never stayed in a Trump hotel. Maybe they're, I mean, they seem gaudy, but I'm not against a gaudy hotel room. I've been in a Trump casino. I bet it's just like any other casino, right? Lots of gold, no clocks. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So far, of course. He he built the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City a long time ago. And uh, he called it the eighth wonder of the world. Like it was typical Trump, like overselling it. But I had to see it. So yeah. I grabbed my fake ID and went to the, to the casino. That's you hilarious. Go back and watch the, those. The real Taj Mahal's already in the the wonders of the world. Just <laughs> throw this one in. <laughs> you go back and watch those old Tyson fights. They're often at a Trump casino. You know, mm-hmm. he's always been a promoter and a salesman and a guy who knew to like knew how to uh, sort of assign himself and like with like money and power and celebrity. Like like, like go back to the Home Alone movie. I yeah. bet he was like, you got to get me in that new Home Alone movie. That last one was huge. Oh, oh yeah, of course you could do it in my hotel. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a discount on the rooms. They did. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they didn't. They they double did. the price. Now they're half off. Yeah. So yeah. And he gets 5% of the m- money from yeah. Dunstan checks in. Yeah. It's, um, you know, like, 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 I think there's a lot of like the youngest people right now who are, who are listening to this have no idea. Like he was just that guy. He was he was, a, he was a nice enough guy. You thought of him the same way you thought of like, I don't know. He was like, oh, that big rich, uh, like flashy guy. 
you know, the big fancy the guy flashy guy. Fires people. Well, even before that, I'm talking about like like long ago. He was he was the flashy like Playboy type guy. Like like he used to be kind of good looking. Like you've seen that advertisement where he's like Donald yeah. Trump is uh, the most eligible bachelor in in the you know in New York. He's worth two billion dollars. He's six feet tall, six foot two. He's got this, that, and the other, and he's looking for a lady. And it's a, it's a decently handsome photo of him because he wasn't a mm -hmm. bad looking guy back in the day. And, well, I'm too uh, young for that. I only remember I earliest I remember him is Apprentice stuff. Like in his my name, see, his, um, he's been a household I, name since I've been alive. I come from a different background regarding him, right? So I live two towns over from Atlantic City, something like that, and probably like a third of my teachers worked for Trump on the side. They were like. Um, dealers and accountants or whatever just working in the casino that was a big employer and teachers had extra time anyway they would tell stories to the class that i now look back on as untrue legends of like what it is to work for trump they'll be like yeah trump will put a paperclip under the ashtray and if housekeeping comes by and that paperclip's still there they get fired on the spot there was a person that uh, trump was driving through the um, parking garage checkout and uh, he's like, how you doing? And the, the person didn't know who Trump was. So the legend goes. And uh, uh, they're like, well, I'm still stuck in this place. Fired on the spot. Like Trump's arbitrary, legendary, like firings of everyone mm -hmm. who, you know, left a paperclip on a desk, under a bed, something like that. Like that just proves you didn't vacuum very well. You're fired. He was known as an asshole, like in my high school. Because mm -hmm. that's the organization the, he ran. The lore. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I don't think Trump was actually leaving paper clips, firing housekeepers. Of course not. That's psychotic. Like, like <laughs> it's, like, how, it's also like he not does have role. a business to run. Like, what's he doing? Like, putting <laughs> white gloves on and swiping the top of a TV, looking for excuses to fire staff. Like, yeah, yeah. That, I'm looking to make problems for myself today. Like, why oh, would you do that? <laughs> not paying his contractors was a thing that was widely known. Like, even 16 year old Woody was like, Yeah, you got to be careful when get paid up front if it's a Trump property because he won't pay you. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, you got to. Yeah, I, I guess contractors not a tight knit group, not not sharing that with each other. Like don't no, do that. They, don't do that Trump thing. They all got sucked in, and and you know and what would happen is you you know get a deal of a hundred thousand dollars for all these cabinets. You deliver the cabinets, and they'd be like, ah, how does sixty grand sound? And it's like <laughs> we had a thing. Ah, yeah. this is walnut. I wanted chestnut. <laughs> uh, he'd From renegotiate that. the deal after you delivered and you know that windows was another thing he didn't pay his window contractor i don't know are the deal he got him right where you want him yeah yeah <laughs> i'm using the armed henchman negotiating technique <laughs> <laughs> yeah so anyway i i would just say my exposure to trump was different yeah. as a kid yeah, yeah it's it's, it's hard to argue against the trump way because it has more often than not proved to be the, the successful way, unfortunately, for well, anyone who wants to argue against him, I guess. <laughs> I mean, he did become president after getting made fun of at a dinner. He did read to rule the planet there for uh, four years. <sighs> yeah. We, 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 we gave him enough nuclear weapons there for uh, for uh, four years to, to kill I, all of us. So that's the that's true. Everything you said is true. I'm hung up on the. Like the elitism, the, uh, he is on a very short list of people that were the president of the United States, that were leaders of the free world. He's in the history book. It's like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, even the lower ones like Woodrow Wilson, Andrew Jackson, mm -hmm. Donald Trump is on Barack that. Obama. Yeah, right. <laughs> and that, that's that the other thing. Like, like, like that to have to to beat Hillary, Obama's like, even if even though like Hillary didn't like her, like Obama was co-signing her to, to mm -hmm. like go out of that correspondence dinner to fucking show up beat obama's girl beat the one he was pushing make everybody look bad talk shit the whole fucking way like like go into that place tear down that other guy's curtains fucking like like he should i'm surprised he didn't make wise cracks about having to sterilize the white house and like get it back up to code or something like that like like he could have easily slipped that little dog whistle in but he didn't although i'll say this when george w um was was coming out they were uh they were tearing the w's off the fucking uh no no no. when he was coming in the fucking clintons tore the goddamn w's off every fucking keyboard 
which is an easy key cap to, to you know we just need a bunch of w key caps right but still shitty right yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm just pretty sure that's rude. accurate <laughs> no that's funny no, that's, <laughs> that's yeah. a funny little joke um yeah trump's a trump's a real enigma i would love we were <laughs> we were talking before the show i guess kanye was is gonna run and we were talking about the trump kanye ticket um mm-hmm. I want to see that in my my alternate universe. I want to see them become leaders of the world together. Yeah. I, Let's roll Kanye, the dice, man. Maybe that fusion, maybe it's, you know, maybe it's good. Maybe I, they I, come up with good ideas. Can you imagine if Kanye became president of the United States? Like, like there's a clear path for him <laughs> to do it. And it's laughable, of course, but like Kanye West could very easily become president of the United States. It requires two weird things to happen. Every fucking basketball game has one. Every fucking like every election has one. We just need two in a row. We need him to pick Kanye and them to win. Those are the two weird things, <laughs> like, right? Like, like, like it's two steps. Like he two can easily steps, pick-, pick Kanye and win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think he's gonna pick Kanye. I don't either. But Kanye's not second fiddle. The question is, will ye pick Trump? Yeah. Will ye? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yay. But 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 we're, they're both made up. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I Kanye am. West. <laughs> oh, you're right, Kyle. Are you right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is yay. Yeah. Because oh, like okay. Kanye. Wait, but it's two spelled E's. Y-E. Yeah, but so he, yay. Instead, it'd be Con two E's. E's. It's not Y E A H. But yeah. it's not Y E E either. Yee! <laughs> like yeehaw. Like, like, like Y E A would be ye, <laughs> right? Like yeehaw. Something like that. Anyway, yeah. it's yay. I fucking promise you. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. Kanye. I so I don't think that will happen. I think he's probably not going to run, but I think he'll sell hats that say Kanye 2024. I'm going to buy, I'm gonna buy <laughs> one. I'm going to buy one. That's good. I mean, if, he, if he runs, Kyle, I'll, I'll, I'll vote in your name. Vote for Kanye. Illegally. Hey, everybody who wants to vote for, uh, for me, I want your vote to go to Ye. Okay. You know, if you, if, uh, a vote for Ye is a vote for Kyle in, in yeah. my book. You just tell me. I'll be your your humble vote merch. Just write it vote. in. Just write it in. It should be a vote for ye is a vote for me. <laughs> a vote for ye is a vote for me. Hey, you heard it, heard it here, That's folks. You, if you vote for ye, you're voting for Woody. And if you vote for me, you're voting, you're voting for me. For May. For May. <laughs> you're voting for May. Uh, just really fucking forcing it. <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, man, I would love a debate with 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 Kanye and then like a normal politician. <laughs> no muting, I, no ar- no arbitrator. Speak coherently. I, yeah. I don't, oh yeah, of course he can. Yeah, he's like a, he's a musician. Like, but you know that podcast he that he got in all the trouble on. You know, okay. the one where he said all the stuff. You know, you know if you know if you it. upload that now to Google Drive. Google Drive says it's against their services. They auto detect detect it and they remove it from their file holding service. They won't allow that file to exist on a Google Drive. That is fucking bizarre. <laughs> I watch a podcast. It's an it's a, like a news podcast, politics mostly. But anyway, they play other clips and avoid copyright. And it's like you can hear the people. Talking faster and then talking slower and then talking faster and then talking slower. And and like the, the image is like mirrored and then unmirrored. And I'm like, they have fucking with this footage, but it <laughs> works. Like you can watch a video as it goes faster and slower and avoid the detection software. For now. For now. Until, yeah. until they smack that down. That is so annoying. I'm How glad that you got to stay a, a step ahead of Big Brother, though. I, I, I'm really. They were talking about the facial recognition software and how that was going to be a really big problem going forward but they've got those masks that completely disable it i think there's sunglasses yeah, or something like literally what any mask no 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 no, no. there's like mm, like an inconspicuous no, if you so. wear a fucking like bak- balaclava or whatever people are going to take note um but but there there is some like really small masks that that like completely disable the uh the, the ai i've seen apple How? updated their phones so the facial unlock works with them uh, like a covid mask interesting so now it's not using lip and nose data. I guess it can overlook that lip make and it nose less data. In the, you'd think, but I think so. I, and I mean, for I don't know, like, or does it use like ninety-seven points around your eyes, and that's secure enough? I'm making this up. I'm not sure. I've never but, used facial recognition on my phone. Actually, I've that 
it's because I've never had a phone nice enough that had that as a feature. <laughs> <laughs> Mine has it. It's nice because because when the notifications pop up, they're all like, you know, you got a Facebook message and you don't know what it says. And then when I look at it, my phone's like, oh, it's you. It's cool. And then it tells me what it says in the preview. That's pretty so, cool. Yeah. I I want to get a new phone. I do too. For years. I'm thinking of the iPhone 14. It has a feature I care about. Like it, I think I'm going to fuck this up. It has some sort of satellite phone capability built into it. It definitely mm. has SOS. So if you're hypothetically in the middle of a desert with a broken leg, you can use your iPhone to call for a medevac. It's good for you. It right? also has that crash detection. So if you're going fast and you that. suddenly you pull some G's all of a sudden, they, they call 911 for you, I think is essentially how it probably works. Um, so that's a good feature for you too. And it has a tremendous camera. I was thinking about getting one too, but the, uh, uh, that um, mostly because of the AirPod situation, because I want to stick them on my dogs so I can track those cocksuckers when they run away. So you can just put an AirPod on the dog's collar? Yeah. I'm fucking up. What is the earphone called? The Air AirPod. Buds. Oh, well, the, what? He said it right. I think it's okay, AirPods yeah. is what I'm thinking of. AirPods. But don't they have like. AirPods just... is, is a good movie. <laughs> I don't not. even know what they're called. Never what the fuck are they? Well, I, I'm talking about the the fucking searching device. I don't have an Apple, so I don't I don't know exactly. Whatever those little pucks that you put everywhere and you track stuff with. Oh, okay. I, <clears throat> I want one of those for my dogs. They they make them for the collar. They make like collars that they pop right into. They're made to hold those. Oh. So I yeah, want air, an tag. air tag. Yeah, I want to be able to. Uh, so I was, I've been thinking about getting an iPhone for that purpose. I looked at the Android equivalent, and maybe. Google's gotten so bad, it's hard to like use it anymore. It doesn't work great. You get so many like advertisements sent to you, or like, like it's like I, I'm trying yeah, to learn, so, and, so and curated. you're trying, and it's trying to market, and and, it, and the two mm-hmm. don't work too well. But it seems like the um, Android equivalent have monthly fees for the, the little device. I don't want to get into a whole thing where where this thing has to have its own line with a monthly fee. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I want to pay one bill and be able to track these little pucks on my goddamn dog in case it runs away. Dogs got so the, fucking big. I like that you made it singular. Like, like you have one dog you love and one dog who doesn't. No, no, no. I would get like a four pack or something. Like I get, I'd get a goddamn tag. I put a tag on the dog and I'd like to have one like to throw in your luggage on a trip. Like that would be good to have. I've seen many cases where you go to the airline and they're like, yeah, we don't know where your bag is. And they're like, well, I do. It's right fucking behind you. <laughs> so go in that little room 12 feet behind you see right here and get the one that flashes and then they, they have to like go get their get your shit um so it's clearly like i wonder a if really you're a good thing to have loud to, to track your, your own luggage. shit yeah, yeah i don't, I don't you? know suck my dick delta like i'm tracking my own bag yeah mm-hmm. you, why, why wouldn't they let you track your own bag i'm stuck on unrelated stuff like, like if you Give your phone to Apple for repair. They make you turn off all the tracking stuff. So you don't get to know where your phone is or like find it. Probably because you can piggyback that stuff with like some other stuff that would be dangerous for them. I'm guessing. I don't know. In any case, like, like I want some air tags for the, for my, for my goddamn dog. Cause every now and then he runs away. Like it's like, it's hilarious. And your like, dog is like 50 pounds now. The all right, so Toby, the little puppy, he is getting really big. He's probably legitimately he, he's 110 days old or so, and he's like 30 or 40 pounds. <laughs> he's already getting he, to be a big dog. He eats three full soup bowls of food a day. I uh, <laughs> like, like he eats way more than uh, like a grown man eats, and he's 50 something pounds. And not 50, there's no way he's 50, he's like 30. He so looks he's, big because he's uh, he has an goofy. afro. Yeah, he's got this big jug head. <laughs> he's gonna keep growing into that giant jug head he's yeah gonna... i love it he's 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 so cuddly and cute like like he gets he's on the a, couch and like he wants dog. to like dr- he like drives his nose like into my armpit he wants to be like that close to me he's like Aww. fucking hold me he's uh he's great love that dog <laughs> but i want to make sure i can track him if some dog nappers try to take him or something it's, it's a good um, idea this is bad but like some nights I, i'm in bed right my ender giant great dane comes up he puts his head right on my chest, like in this spot right here. And it's, it's, he's so warm and so snuggly. And he just put, puts his chin on me right here. And that's the spot Jackie wants to be. And I'm like, eh, 
wish there was something I could do. <laughs> 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 She's like, are you choosing Ender? I'm like, well, I don't like your phrasing, but yeah. It's like, yeah, he's an eight year old Great Dane. Give him this. Like, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> this, is, this might be his last cuddle. Yeah. And he's, yeah. And he's going to steaks only diet. You bet your ass we're giving him a, a oh, great the last other one. The other one's overlived. She's like 10 years old, and Great Danes don't live that long. She's so thin. You can see her bone structure. It's like, Harley, I will buy you extra food if you just eat it. But. <laughs> She's on her last leg. She looks like end. she's gonna die. Are her teeth okay? Yeah. Sometimes they won't eat. Their teeth are bad. I think they are fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She aside from being super skinny, like she doesn't seem to be in any pain. Uh, she's incontinent sometimes, which is awful. But it's a lot of piss. Do you murder a dog for that though? Like we don't. Don't say murder. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna murder I mean, the dog. You would. I was going to use the leather, man. Kill it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it's the saw. <laughs> <laughs> the three inch serrated blade, really? <laughs> <You're> gonna... <laughs> God damn you're it, just... stop moving around. <laughs> you're lucky you're not a chicken. He's in the flathead like it's a prison. Like <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> bah, 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 bah. That's complaining. I could have used the Phillips. <laughs> I put my dog down with 48 shallow stab wounds. <laughs> I got her in the shower. <laughs> she didn't have an idea of what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I will say, like, whenever my one thing that I've gotten my dogs to eat their dry food um, so much better, and they fucking love it, and it was cheap to do. Um, I get unsalted beef broth, it's $2.30 for like a quart. And I just pour enough on their food to make it wet like cereal and let it get like a little bit soggy. And they fucking love it. Now they think it's caviar. They just have Mm. a meltdown over it. Good. That's a smart, kind thing. Improves their quality of life a lot. Yeah, they get a they get kibble soup and a microwave it and throw in that expensive hell um, fresh Christ. fresh pet food and mix it in there. And every now and then I go to the deli and I get like a pound of white meat chicken and I like shred that up in there. They love that shit. I love that shit. I have a good we, time over here. Colin likes <laughs> peanut butter sandwiches and we cut off the crust and they'll be happy with that. We don't want to spoil. <laughs> they get the, crust. the dogs get the crust. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> all right. All right. They, oh, when they now at this point, like if the if they smell and hear the peanut butter sandwich being made. Oh, yeah. They're in the kitchen waiting for the the drop offs. Yeah, I was hoping I put... for the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> just crust. The crust got some peanut butter in there. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I, I'm uh, I'm so glad I got those dogs. Rot, the uh, the Malamute has gained too. so much weight. He was like super skin and bones when I got him. His head. That's why he looks so derpy in that picture. His head is so much bigger than the rest of him. Uh, that's yeah. one of the reasons, maybe. <clears throat> but yeah, he's gained are... a bunch. He got a bunch of weight. I was talking to someone and I was like, Kyle got dogs. And they're like, oh, really? And I'm like, no, you don't know. Kyle's a great dog owner. Kyle, Kyle's like, he's had dogs since he was born. He's been around dogs. He has a lot of love for dogs. He'll do this great. Yeah, we have a good time. I take care of those guys. We we, um, we get in the car yeah. and go for little, little rides. We get And also, you don't get... work full time and leave them. Like that. No, we're here all day. Dogs don't love. Yeah, that, those, those dogs are not in an empty home. Yeah, no, they love those that. dogs are with me all day. There's a dog bed like here like 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 these dogs are right? with me all the time yeah these dogs um, are, they, they got lucky as fuck oh <laughs> like, yeah it's a 24 yeah. 7 owner look, 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 look this is a dog whistle <laughs> wow. man, that looks that looks really cool man uh, <laughs> i can't go hear it oh my god you Wait, muted no, you muted i don't know why but oh no, oh, did, <laughs> they must have muted when you did the dog was. Oh. Don't do that. People are driving in their car. They're gonna hate it. <laughs> <laughs> my dick. It's my dog was. Um, um. Oh, here. Let me adjust it. Hang on. There. It's it's it. You know, I don't like it either. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now it's silent. He's, he yeah. Wow. Did yeah. you fool me? Yeah. Fool it was easy, you. wasn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. Um. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm trying you, to. Be the you best did a stuff. fake blow, like yeah. with the obviousness of a mime, like putting your hands <laughs> on. Yeah. And Woody's like, <laughs> 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 I'm "Holy shit, crazy. Kyle's got some of that magic rope." <laughs> and the mind freak, my freak. <laughs> you would you know, <laughs> pull John Cena on you. Woody's the uh, guy that they're hoping for out there, where they're like, 
pulling their thumb off. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, Taylor. Put it back! Put it back! <laughs> <laughs> I used to always watch that one where he'd be like just asking random people to pick out a card, and then he'd throw the deck of cards at like a delicatessen window, and then there would be a card sticking back, and it's like you, you, you it's very clearly you just had the guy sitting there right next to the window, like put it on. Yeah. Like, and people would be blown away. And I was like, the basic hand movements are way more impressive than like that. Cause that's just a guy on the inside who put up a, but, but a sticker while he wasn't. While he he threw mixed it. the two though. Like, like here's, he, he'd do that thing you're talking about. He'd throw Sometimes it. Sometimes it was magic. You're right. He'd throw it a big plate glass <laughs> and the card would be on the other fucking side of the glass. And clearly somebody put it there or like it was there the whole time and the camera just whipped to it. Right. But then he'd go up. And he'd pull the card through the plate glass somehow. And it'd be like, oh, God damn it. How'd you do that? Yeah. I don't know how you did the second part. Those are the tricks <laughs> I like where you're like, all right, dude, I've seen this one before. It's either up your sleeve or behind, you know, it's behind your hand. It's on this side. And mm -hmm. you're like, grab it. Like, like, all right, I've seen this before. And oh shit, where'd that woman come from? <laughs> like, I like, like it when they give away other magician secrets, mm -hmm. but really they've taken that trick and multiplied it by three. And yeah. and they only gave away like the basic shit that other people do. And yeah, they, yeah. That's a really interesting little little world. I bet the the world of stage magicians. Like like clearly, it's got to be a very small, close knit community of people who are into yeah. this. And you've got to get blackballed so quickly if you if you like copy somebody's shit or steal somebody's shit. I was thinking the other day about Probably. that bass fisherman who was stuffing the fish with lead weights, and mm -hmm. some people were like acting like that was no big deal. I'm like, you don't understand. That guy's life's over. That guy's life's over almost to the level that a pedophile's life is over when he gets found out. This guy now, this guy was a celebrity, professional, I'll say athlete, who had fans, friends, and wealth, and privilege, and success, and mm -hmm. all of that has been taken away, and he has the antithesis of that now. He is hated, maligned, abandoned, and, and, and found out. And now there's criminal charges too. They're taking back all the shit he's, he he won. Are there? They should. Yes. They. they, they I saw. He cheated the other day. They're, they're like at, like cops are at his house. I think they were repoing stuff, or maybe like maybe there's like criminal I feel like charges. You can I don't use know. steroids in the UFC, and all you get is a timeout for like six you months. You get the fucking Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, that too. Um, but you put weights in a fish somehow that seems like a more assured level of cheat like it's worse yeah it, it 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 would it would be the equivalent of like hurting your opponent in the ufc out of the ring or something it's like whoa 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 you're not even you Apparently didn't just you use fancy bait you, it, it's not like you use fancy bait it's not like you use an illegal rig like i'm talking about like a fishing rig like, your mm -hmm. rod wasn't out of spec you didn't use stimulants so you could fish longer than somebody else no you put fucking lead in a fish. You didn't even bring fake fish. You did. You put lead in a goddamn fish. No, I read. I don't know what's true, but I read that he bought those fish and put them in the water for him to collect later. He bought even, some. He bought fish fillets of the same kind from the store and then stuffed fish fillets with the yes. the and lead he, into the he, fish he caught and put them in the lake and then he drove around with his boat and collected the pre-weighted fish and passed them off as just caught just the laziest <laughs> thing to do uh and, and to know, be like that, that to be it's, that it's arrogant creative. With it. it's it's creative it's a genius it's, he's a it's, businessman doing business taylor i wish you'd stop you. maligning him yeah, yeah but if i like, like the <laughs> amount the amount of weight that he added to it was hilarious did you see like the group of fish there was like 37 pounds. Like it wasn't even realistic. It's We're like playing for second place. Pitch. It's like I'm in a deer competition and Kyle, I'm like, and like, Kyle, how much is your deer weigh? And he's like, it's a huge one, 182 pounds. And I'm like, that's wild, man. I shot a deer also. 700. <laughs> <laughs> it's 700 pounds. It's it, no, don't lift it out of the water. It's feet are cast in concrete and they're not. <laughs> I want to show up with a like a deer head and it's like a 192 point buck and it's clearly it's just like tons of, of antlers yeah. taped together. You know, I use the old glued. molten lead trick. <laughs> it's like it's like bones. A, yeah, that Christmas guy's tree of antlers. <laughs> that guy, like, like that guy, doesn't have any friends anymore. You know, because his friends were yeah. his fishing friends. It's it's the community that he was a part, not just a part of, but like a leader in. Probably, mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's one. Of, he's one of the well known guys. 
but uh, I never got into that shit. But I knew guys who who did it and whose dads did it, and they, you know they had the fancy boats and the and all the rods, and they went to the tournaments, and they all aspired to do what this guy did. They're like, like man, I just love fishing. You know, it's 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 that thing that's their. I just can't I seem to catch ninety three pound bass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he does it. <laughs> like, like like everybody want all these everybody who fishes for fun pro, kind of wants to go pro a little bit if they're bass fishers in the south because mm. it's like holy shit you can get paid to fish. It's like crazy talk, right? It's it's mm-hmm. the thing they sneak away from work to do. Um, and here's this guy who like he had it. not only that he was like the champ. And now he's got nothing. That guy's. Like, he just I bet that guy kills a little himself. less. That guy's gonna kill himself. I mean, I you would. think so. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's lights out. What's he gonna I do? Like he's not that famous. He could just restart life as like a. But it won't be a good life. Like like he'll never be. be that he life. had it. It won't he's, be anything. He won't like be able to be in the life. world of fishing. He can't compete in anything anymore. That's that guy true. shows up at a fucking Halo tournament. I'm calling him out. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's crack open this kid's rig. <laughs> let's see what we got in here. Uh, this PC's got fish fillets in it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can't get a fuck. He couldn't go in a bass fishing video game tournament now. Like, like he's fucked, dude. His whole life's over. Yeah, he um, can't like go join the hunting community. They know. They'll be like, ain't you that failure done put lead in those fish? Like, and they yeah. figure it out. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be cheating at that, too. My dad's He's, been hunting this year, I guess. I talked to him yesterday. He, he was he, he was like, yeah, I'm out here with a rifle. Heard there's a big deer around here. Everybody's been looking for him. So they're on, not, the, they're on the lookout for some uh, apparently large buck who's been roaming the area. So ever... It's it's rough when you're a big deer in the south because all the farmers start talking shit. They're like, "Yeah, we seen him yesterday. He was over in that field." <laughs> you're getting called out, like in Call of Duty. Ah, oh, he's in the window, third floor. <laughs> <laughs> he's got an AK. Behind, like behind, behind. This is a turn around to kill it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Farmers are like that. They're they're giving call outs to each other. So he's out in the field waiting with the rifle tonight. We're I hope your dad gets it. I hope tonight. you know he gets the bragging rights of being the the guy who takes it down. I do too. I do too. Yeah, he hasn't killed one in a in a while. He hasn't uh he hasn't really hunted. Well, we haven't hunted since since I was a kid, really, like like hardcore into it. Mm-hmm. Um I think we both kind of got our fill of it in about a three year period of just going really, really hard at it and being real successful at it. If it was like more active, deer hunting would be a great time. Crow the hunting is really sitting fun. and waiting. Yeah, I don't know how to shoot a bow. Like like uh, I don't know how to shoot like a compound hunting bow. Shotgun um yeah, I, that's what i was saying like, like like um you would like crow hunting a lot because that's uh you you go you get there early morning and play a caller and they come and you shoot them and fuck them up and then you just like bounce to a new spot and repeat the thing you're like driving around getting out like like anytime we would we would drive around look for pecan orchards or just crows and we'd pull over to a house and be like hey do you live here yep you own that yep we shoot those crows yeah can we watch yep <laughs> <laughs> and like like we would ride around like all morning like that like like growing up like me and my cousin as soon as i started just 16, killing crows yeah it's a ton of fun it like like it's it's hunting you know it's it's like dove hunting or anything else they're uh they're very smart they're very wily you have to use that caller if they come in and spot you and you miss your shot they'll go back and talk shit and they'll stop coming like they have enough language that mm-hmm. they can warn each other about people and they won't show up if the if the, the first crow that comes is the smart crow anyway he, he comes really? and scouts things out. Yeah, because you're playing a tape of either a crow fighting a hawk or a crow being killed. So they, the, the lead crow is scouting things out for the uh, the murder. And, uh, and and he flies back and he's like, yeah, come on, we need help. That, that hawk's kicking Bill's ass. But, mm-hmm. so, but if you smoke him and he never comes back, all they hear is a fight. They, they, they think that he's in the fight now, so they just keep coming two or three at a time. Just pick them all off. A lot of fun. I mean, that does seem kind of fun, but like a big part of hunting in like what I would, what I want out of it is that I can eat what I shoot. Every and now and then I know you catch you're, one you're alive. to eat crows because that's you wound gross. one. You can wound a crow. You can take him alive and you can make him talk. <laughs> you shake him a little. You shake him a little. And, like, and then they'll hear that and they'll want to come help him out a little more. Do you ever, do you ever fry up some crow, crow breast? Oh, every Sunday evening. Have, our, <laughs> have ourselves a big, 
big crow fry. We it's call the it. crow. It's tearing up my insides. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't eat that crow, Charlie. That crow, Charlie. Oh, I murdered that crow, and now he's eating up my insides. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never ate crow. Uh, literally, I, I've eaten a lot of metaphorical crow, um, but I've never eaten any literal crow. Um, uh, that just seemed like a, a bad idea. The saying alone kept us away from it. It's probably not that bad. I mean, there must be. Do they just have like more parasites? I think they're bony. Than other birds? Some, bir- some birds just have like big juicy breasts that are tasty to eat. And maybe the crow doesn't. Um, I don't know. I feel bad because they're so intelligent at this point because they're like really intelligent like uh, i didn't care as a kid and even as a like younger man i suppose but now i'd kind of feel bad shooting one that's why what i really want to hunt is a scary bear i want to kill a fucking bear because fuck them i don't feel sorry for them at all when i see those grizzly bears on documentaries i don't care if it's cub or the mama kill them all they need to die we shouldn't let those live in our world they shouldn't live in our world with us uh, I, 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 so, so I really want to kill one. I don't care if I use a black powder gun or a, or, or a bow. What I would love, love, love is to use like, like fire a ballista or something like, like one of those giant crossbows yeah. that you have to like mount on something. And I'd like to chase a bear down on like an ATV with a medieval <laughs> ballista <laughs> on the front. Yeah. Like, like we're talking about like a thousand draw pounds, right? We have to winch this thing. We have the electric winch on the ATV to yeah. cock her back and it's going to shoot shoot like ballistas that gonna shoot say, a, something the size of a broomstick pull cue. like yeah imagine <laughs> like a broomstick that's weighted and heavy right with a nice warhead on the front big broad yeah. head and type you're thing. in armor because you are hunting a bear you need to be safe. no i'm naked i'm wearing a loincloth for this at this loose <laughs> you just yeah <laughs> <fire Ta-dum>! <laughs> Arr, and i fucking get another gear and we keep going like we gotta get the cubs too it punches like a railway spike-sized hole straight through the bear. I, that, that's one thing I really have been wanting to do um, is uh, is kill a bear, uh, like one way or another. I don't want to kill a black bear. I want to kill a grizzly bear. Yeah, um, black bears are like they don't really want to mess with you. They're pretty big nice. raccoons. Yeah, big raccoons. You should get like just kill a grizzly bear with a record because like there are ones that they know about where they're like there's a big grizzly that killed some kid at a zoo in this park. Yeah, there's one no. here at the Atlanta Zoo. I've been scoping him out for a while. They call him mm. Big Joe, all right? <laughs> and uh, I see them feeding him and he loving him up, acting like he... No, 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 no. I, 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 can, I look in that bear's eyes. I see hate. Yeah. You I've, been throwing him, death. I've been throwing him small amounts of heavy metals for the last <laughs> few weeks. <laughs> I'm playing the long game. Mercury poisoning. <laughs> Dog food soaked in antifreeze. Yeah, poisoning yeah. bears at the zoo. Yeah, it's been poisoning bears at the zoo. <laughs> what a and, hilarious reason to go to jail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not at the Atlanta Zoo, though. I'll tell you this. It's the safest zoo in America. You know why? Why? Because we allow uh, concealed carry there. Nowhere else. Uh, th- there was a big there was a big to do. It was even a legal case, I think. Uh, and, and the zoo lost. <laughs> and so, <laughs> the zoo <some> lost. <laughs> <laughs> clearly. Because <laughs> now you can pack heat at the Atlanta Zoo. <laughs> It just seems like a good idea to me, frankly. What, if what do you those... think the most likely thing to need shooting at the zoo is? Some kind is of big cat. Definitely. Another human, a big cat, a bear. I, I bet think if a that... big cat got out, I bet it's a real fucking problem. So I think I, I agree with you, but I think the more likely scenario to actually happen would be if somebody fallen into an enclosure, right? And that's the monkeys. So so whether the monkey or gorilla or whatever is is actually going to hurt them. You get a Harambe situation, right? Where they're like, mm-hmm. the kid's too close to that gorilla or that gorilla's too close to that kid and they, they shoot him. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, why you got to dicks out for Harambe become a thing. Like, what, why was that our reaction to a monkey well, like, murder? Like, like, we all felt bad that they, they murdered that, that, that gorilla and we just had to get our dicks out, man. It was the only... <laughs> <laughs> it just felt I, right, you know? I, well, when you're right, you're right. All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, sometimes it works and sometimes it do- it, it doesn't. <laughs> it never works. <laughs> it never it works. works. No I, more I, gorillas have been killed. I remember dicks mm-hmm. out for Princess Touché. Diana. That that was a failure. That was a failure. You know? Dicks out for Princess Diana. Yeah, no traction yeah. on social media. You know what worked? Dicks out for Kevin Spacey. It was, it was dicks. <laughs> yeah, he he felt good about their trip. Yeah. yeah, dicks out for Harvey Weinstein. They, they had some <laughs> some good ones. It's called dying yeah. for dicks. I mean, I think that the big that was cats really what Louis C.K. was doing. Louis C.K. innocently masturbated on the phone after I mean, asking was... people for permission. No, 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 in person. 
He in person to too, but he was he was asking for permission. He was like, "Do you want me? Yeah. Can I beat off in front of you?" And then they were like, "Yeah." And he's Pretty like, close. "Okay." And yeah, I, I look, we've been, we've done this ad nauseum, but 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 mm-hmm. what he did was fine. Yeah, what he did was fine. Was and I bet it was funny. I bet it was funny. I bet he had. Jokes. I've heard that it was funny. Yeah. If yeah. if Louis C.K. asked me, "Can I jack off in front of you?" I'd say, "Yes, Mister." Do you C. have any new material? Yeah, I would say. <laughs> I, I would you say. Do- Yes, as but could you get me some tickets? Yes, and I think I think he'd be nice enough that he would give you tickets without even being asked. Yeah. Oh, I it, it would say, like, for somebody like that, it's gonna be so easy to get you tickets, right? Like like it's just like a oh yeah, well, he's these, the entertainer. Are, yeah. yeah, this guy right here that is jerked off on. Yeah, he gets right here, and his his, his lady wants to be right there. Sorry, man, if you had to see all that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, he'd throw me right in the front row, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Can I get free tickets? And do you have maybe like a clean T-shirt? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's literally gonna. Like, 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 look, look. You think I'm gonna watch this thing from six feet away? <laughs> what I will not have is a Gallagher-like performance <laughs> from, from Louis C.K. Rest in peace, by the way. Gallagher died this week. Didn't have him on the pool. Um, where I have to throw on like some plastic tarping or some goggles. Or uh, I need more than tickets. If that's the route we're going yeah, to be. Yeah, tickets and a t-shirt. Gallic, you're you're going to have to throw me in one of those movies like Adam Sandler style. And not one of yours because mm. they don't do well enough. Like one of your friends. More, <laughs> one of your more successful friends movies. Like that, that's what you're going to have to do. Louis yeah, C.K. Dude. was making these not funny downer things. Yeah. Talk to your buddy Bushimi. Get me, get me, get me in something real. Like, 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 like Bushimi was in that, uh, that, that downer of a show that, that Louis C.K. had. That just felt yeah. like sad old men in a bar having genuine conversations. Yeah, it wasn't very funny at all. I it was. Yeah, he wasn't, wasn't going good. for funny. He hit his mark. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, afterwards, I just felt emotionally poor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, you know, I watched you to laugh. <laughs> like and that's mm-hmm. what I want out of you. Is you're a very funny man, not this. But yeah, he's 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 got connections with everyone. Ricky Gervais, he put him in a better show. Ricky knows how to make great shows. <clears throat> Ricky Gervais has so many good connections with HBO. Like, like that would be a great guy to know. Like, I feel like he can if he, if him and that um, Stephen Merchant guy yeah. want a show. They're like uh, HBO. Um, what's Ricky? another? What's he yeah. been in? I can't. Just, I, well, I think if Ricky Gervais is the guy that hosted award shows. Mm-hmm. I can't think of what he's. Him been and in. Stephen Merchant have like half a dozen HBO shows over there that are smaller shows. Stephen Merchant has his own show, even though like. I think I'm the only one here who knows who Stephen Merchant is. No, I is. know he, he's on the you, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, oh, I, I, I mean, like, like our listeners. I bet none oh, of them yeah. fucking know who, who who that is. And like, like it just seems like he's got so much pull from that like producer gig from The Office with NBC and and their mm-hmm. and and all of their people, and also clearly with HBO because he's had a bunch of HBO hits. I guess. Wait, Louis yeah. C.K. was involved in The Office or uh, no, I'm no, Ricky Gervais? Gervais, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, he I made did, the original. Oh, he was in the original one. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. think that like he did have a bit we to produced, do with the American one. Also, he's like, the producer, right? Like, like, didn't he produce the the, the heaven original knows one? what a producer really does? They get fucking paid off the top. Is what they what they do, and, and yeah, they're in this case. Well, I could do he'd, that. He'd be the ma- he'd be the major creative <laughs> like like voice behind the thing. I thought he produced the original UK Office as well as starred in it. I do you thought remember when I asked that guess what a producer does? I remember yeah. that guest was was like bottom three guests in my opinion. We've I don't mean as far as quality. Like he was fine. I hated that hmm. cocksucker so much. God, I hated that fucking guy. And I don't mean that gay way. <laughs> I don't think he actually sucks dick or anything. I just think he's a piece of shit. And I don't care if he does suck dick. I would much rather had uh, the guy was awful. That was awful. He was so I, scatterbrained all over the place. He, he wouldn't stupid. answer any of the and, questions. And I watched that his piece of shit TV show up until like or movie. I or saw the whole thing. Yeah, Jackie and I watched it together. Bridge too far for me. I got to the point where he's in it as him as, as like the mastermind, and I was like, okay, buddy, I didn't know you're an asshole and a, ret- a retard. Like, I just <laughs> I turned it off after that. Like <laughs> an asshole I could deal with, but a retarded <laughs> asshole. Uh-huh. No, yeah, get no. out of here. That guy was the yeah. worst. Hey, it, so, it's right, hard so you're a producer. To... What do you do? Oh, oh, oh well, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, well, we need we need that would have been a better here. answer than what he gave, right? It is a talk just, show. He can yeah, haul around for something. five minutes, like autistically about nonsense, and then we were still like, so again, as a producer, what would it? What would you say you do? And then he hauled around for a like, day. I feel like minutes. adding that mm-hmm. 
tells people to describe their day and like what they really do. Like, that it, puts people in a corner. The, all those people who have made up like Twitter jobs or whatever, is like, <laughs> they're like, well, I mean, on a given day, I don't know. They start like bullshitting around. Well, you well, we mean like today? They have to mm -hmm. ask about which day we want to break down all of a sudden. Because if you were a fucking chicken farmer, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you'd be rebel. Well, I get up real early. You know, I have to get breakfast in a big one because I'm going to need my energy. Don't have to work hard until noon. I'll start out and you'd know exactly. First, mm -hmm. I check this to make sure everything hasn't like I haven't lost my entire net worth last night. All right, <laughs> we're good. Nothing's on fire. Nothing is flooded. Like, like you'd know what you did as an accountant. I bet you know what your day is. Well, first sure. I drink this coffee. I check this thing on my emails. I, I as a any job we've ever done at anything, yeah, you, you can know describe it. This guy is like, oh, oh, oh well, you know, it's a, which day? Like a Tuesday? Well, I was on a Tuesday. I like to have some fruit. <laughs> I, I tried to ask him why it took Tuesday's sleeping. <laughs> that show took a super long time to make. I, I forget if it was six years or twelve years or whatever. Or a decade it was. or something. Yeah, and I was like, asleep. how can it take that long? How how can it think? I was like, were you actually doing things on it? And I still don't remember my answer. But if I told you I had been mowing my yard for the last seven and a half years, you'd say, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> it's not a seven and a half year job. It can't take that long. Yeah. yeah. It, See, with something like this, I could understand if you told me, well, look, I, I had the outline I in, in college. <laughs> I had the outline in college. Um, I, I, I basically had it finished written after two years after that, a partner of mine, we, we, we finished the writing. But man, getting funding for this thing was a was a was a thing, and that took about six years. But the problem was to get the funding. There were some rewrites that took another couple. We had to hire some more people on, and finding people who would sign on to a project this late in the. I just made up a better answer than he could yeah. fucking come up with after mm. fifteen fucking minutes. Oh my god, it was infuriating. You, and there was that one part where I was like, "Dude, if you if you don't want to talk about your shit, frankly, neither do I." <laughs> just let us know you're like, like, like i'm trying here i'm talking about your show and things that we think you're interested in i complimented you i compared you to graham stokem's dracula i'm gonna fuck that up a little bit um like like you're like uh, we're trying to stay in your wheelhouse here you can't hit it back you asked us if we like playing video games the fuck that guy was <laughs> weird I, I i generally don't tear down our guests but i it, if he came on here trying to be a bad guest, he couldn't have done that more. <laughs> he might have been. But did we get trolled? That could have been. Like, I'm have almost been willing trolled. to accept that. Like, yeah. like that is being trolled is more likely than him being genuinely like that. Yeah, because there were times I just remember how often you would ask, like, so tell me what what's it like the communication between the writers and the people who end up making the visual effects? And he'd be like, There's a lot. <laughs> and, and that that would be you remember that It'd be like, 15 seconds of pregnant pause and then no answer because you you for the first five seconds you're like ah oh, he's kind of pensive he's thinking he's formulating what he wants to say and then over the next five seconds you're like oh no he's no he isn't no he is not he is like staring at me like someone in a video game when i need to hit x to move on to the next <laughs> conversation topic like the, don't npc me man like <laughs> give me something here I hate standing there wiggling a little in the wind. Uh, yeah, we had a lost this fight episode. animation. <laughs> what was the guy's name from Arrested Development that we had? Oh, uh, the, the Asian fellow. Yeah, Brandon. Yeah. Was it Brandon? I don't remember. I, wish I remember, remember him having his... a non-Asian name. Like it, it was what was like his Arrested John... Development name? Ang. Oh, he was like the adopted brother or something. I've yeah, never seen yeah. Arrested Development, so he, you know. Probably right. should. It's got a lot of people I like in it. Justin and Lee, I think, was his name. Justin. And um, oh, yeah, he, he played an An Young. Yeah, he was in the like the the. Something it was like, like they had that. a like a not a remake, but like a revival of that show, right? And he was in that, I think. And he was maybe. I don't know. He seemed he seemed real big on himself, and he was all that was the like, big thing. That was my takeaway from him. I I like I I half jokingly asked if like girls and hangers on just try to use his celebrity and he's like this 
I'm more famous than him. <laughs> you know? And, yeah. and yeah. he was like, yeah. You're like, like, uh. yeah, it was, it, it was, I remember that. Yeah. It was, uh, what's it like? Woody's mocking him to his face. Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> what's it like being a big deal celebrity when, when you can't walk the streets without pussy dripping on your fancy ass fly shoes that you probably wear? And he's just like, man, I got some new shit. Keeps that pussy juice right off my fancy shoes. <laughs> like he just he just acted like that really was his lifestyle. Yeah. Meanwhile, like like not like seriously, Woody's way more famous than that guy. None of you know who we were describing right now out there listening. And and uh, granted, you are our audience, but go pull somebody on the fucking street. Uh, and and they're not gonna know who this guy is or, or what his name yeah, is. Yeah, see, and, see if they and, know. But he was annoying. Behind but it wasn't just that him. like he thought he was fancy. He was just an annoying guy. We've had a few guests that turned out to be like like pieces of shit. But by and large, we have a uh, good guest here. I think. I'm just sad we didn't get mm -hmm. Slush Puppy tonight. I wanted to talk to him. I like um, him. Yeah, he's yeah. a great guy. He's funny. Yeah, that guy's got such a great personality. Um, he's just so uh, I don't know, kind of a free spirit. And he doesn't recoil in horror when we try to sell cum pills. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I think down there they're a little bit, uh, they, they haven't gotten Odd. as PC as we have. Mm. And uh, I, I think they're still uh, a little rough around the edges um, uh, on the, in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. You guys still lifting weights? You, you being regular in the gym or no? Yeah. 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 I've been being regular. I, I, was, I was thinking about buying another piece of equipment, but I'm not sure if Ooh, I want to. What wait are you until... looking at? Mm. Uh, maybe a functional trainer i don't know Ooh. have Stay you ever thought you about like getting rid of the rack and go getting something with a functional trainer built in like i like wondered a, if i'd have gone that way if i started from scratch those look cluttered to me and every time like like when i the idea is great this one-stop shop but when i see it in practice it's like whoa that's a lot of pulleys wheels attachments cables knobs bars and so if i want to change from squats to pull downs. What do I have to do? Oh, it does it for me. I just start the Ducati up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a remote control to her. Oh, I VR? could be wrong. I <laughs> thought every cable end was ready to use. You just attach a pulley on it and you do your flies. You, you go to the back center thing and you start doing your uh, I just saw one pull of the, downs or whatever. I, I was thinking like I saw um, on YouTube some guy's fancy. Um, I don't remember what brand it was, but he had like it was a full um, cage, but it also had like all of the functional training stuff uh, as well. And it just seemed a little cluttered. I think like, like, I don't makes, know. makes one. Maybe it's not That's, what you like. Yeah. I think that was it. He, he had bad experience with them because this was like a. Okay. I mean, this might have been a $12,000 thing he had in front of him. And he was like, look, the paint's chipped and it, it, they didn't even spray this part. Like. They couldn't paint it. <laughs> it's a, it reminds me of um, the Scar magazines, you know, the, the assault rifle of Scar. Like mm -hmm. they paint those guns and their magazines with the magazine inserted. That's not cool. So you pull it out and it's it's missing paint. And and like like I've never looked into that to see if there's a reason for that. But I just remember my buddy was about to buy one back, you know, eight years ago or something. Like he's like, yeah, I'm about to buy that Scar. I'm like which one the, the the you know he's oh I'm getting a heavy boy I'm getting that 308 and this is like a three thousand dollar gun or something like that and then he's gonna put like two or three more thousand worth of shit on it. and then he's like only thing is why couldn't they paint my fucking magazine man you know what these calls go in right uh that's um, it seems like it would yeah um they just put the mag in and paint it that's um that would be on a seventeen because that's five five six um but uh the and it's also not a scar magazine. But um, no. that, that is a magazine that's been painted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I would have made the same mistake. I'll cut up this poor section. It's like, I can't tell if it's his, he types Scar. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? The, I, I like my function. I like my gear. I The chip and stuff like that, I like that stuff. It, there are um, my bars where I put them on the J-hooks are a little worn and the J-hooks are scratched. And I'm very proud of that. <laughs> Every one of those scratches was earned. That, that happens when you use the equipment. Like I don't, I don't mm. like it to look new. I like it, you know. I aspire to look like someone who's picked up some heavy shit, and my equipment should look like it's not brand new. Yeah, so I feel fair. You. I think his shit came like it. Like that's yeah. what I don't want, though. I want to put my own, you know, marks mm. on it. And, and you're right. There's plenty of things that you want to be worn. It, like it shows that you use it. Like, you know. I don't know. My nine. Your trailer hitch receiver. Yeah, you know, you're 
Sure. You can you can look at my kitchen knives and tell they've been sharpened many a time. Um, mm-hmm. I like they, that they've one. Been, they've been honed down a few times. I uh, I I got a, I got out of hand one time with my fancy ass knife and like chopping a turkey and fucked the blades all up. I had to take it to a goddamn professional to get it fixed. It was, oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, because they were like knocked. What were you like, doing like, to the turkey? I thought I I thought this big ass German chef's knife could chop Rooster. through a turkey leg. Yeah, I thought you could chop through a turkey leg with it, and I, like the third whack, and it hasn't gone through it. <laughs> I, I get that I'm supposed to have like a meat cleaver, but I don't own a meat cleaver. I could have made that mistake. Taylor's laughing at you, but I didn't know any better. But no, like, no, I, it's just I was imagining t- on the third smack, like I, I, I like, <laughs> like I don't know. Yeah, I'm like I'm like yeah, I'm not, with Kyle. I like, I, like, like, oh, like I got to huh. hack it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it was a bone. Like I tried to like force through the bone, but it, you know it's a bone. And I remembered every movie. Every, you know how bad was the nick in it? Like bad enough that it's co- it cosmetic, like cosmetic. Uh-huh. Where like, like, like I didn't like the over. way it looked though. It like, like nicked into it because it, it was already a like a razor sharp knife. It was like there's a chunk missing, like a chip, uh, uh, like a like a nick in the yeah. blade. blade now it's in your turkey. Blade. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere, I mean, just a little yeah. piece. His turkey's got some iron in it. <laughs> some, yeah, yeah some no, I can sharpen. I'm, I'm a decent sharpener. I, I had to get good at it for woodworking. I've been sharpening knives lately, and they're a little. Tr- most of the woodworking stuff I sharpened was straight, right? So it was chisels and planes mostly, and they have a really straight blade, and it takes less skill. A knife, on the other hand, is often arced, like there's a curve to it. So there's a different technique in the way you slide it across the stone. And I'm newer to it, but I'm getting it. Do you use like? Like those setups where it's like you oh, start with this stone and then you do a higher grit and then this and then like a so you I have that whole thing. I have wet stones, oil stones. I'm using diamond stones lately and strop and how do you? Yeah. I, I bought the, uh... this Amazon sharpener like years ago because I was like it was just one that you like hold and you like drag the knife through it mm-hmm. and like I threw away the instructions, didn't know yeah, and then I like used it once because I was like cutting something and the knife was shitty. I was like, oh, yeah, that Amazon thing. And like I started going like like trying to do it. And like I guess I did it wrong or something because it destroyed the entire blade. Like it I don't know if it was a crappy sharpener or if I just like went in too hard. But like I think that's I've never had luck with that style of sharpener. After a couple, it was like, oh, all right, well, this is going in the garbage. Like I can't the knife. I, I mean, like I couldn't sharpen the knife anymore. Do you uh do you find the the angle with just your hand or do you have one of those little plastic things that lock onto the side of the blade that it rides? So both. I have the plastic thing that you're thinking of. I think mm-hmm. mine's metal, but I don't use it anymore. Now I, I kind of have a knack for putting the blade on the stone and feeling for when I have the factory angle. And then I use my thumbs to maintain that angle as I push gotcha. it across the stone. Yeah. yeah. And with a chisel, that's like training wheels because you like i wish i could describe it well but you you sort of you know put it on the factory angle and and you're like boom it's locked into that place and anything else is you're tipping on one of the two edges yeah so then you just push it on that and then a knife is like a harder place to start to learn that skill than a chisel yeah or a plane. i I'm, i might not be the best at getting like you said this curved part of the blade out here i, I try to i try to i just mm-hmm. change angles and try to hit it flush but like, um, I definitely am really good at getting this thing done. I've got a similar thing to you guys. Probably the I'm, important part. I think. Yeah, I, I would think so. Like, like you know, when you're actually like sliding. Like that's nice. where you. I would. I'm not a, a chef like you, but I just think towards is it the heel. Uh-huh. That's I've been where told the that happens, right? If I'm cutting celery, I'm not using the front. Feel you. So here's a smarmy thing about what a sh- the difference between a chef and a cook that I that I heard the other day. I don't remember where, but a chef supposedly is he's the guy who runs the kitchen. He's got cooks that work for him. Oh, um, and, a, and a cook prepares food. A chef is like a plant manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, yeah, exactly. He's a kitchen manager. It's more manufacturing, more. basically. They're manufacturing meals, and he's running a small company sort of thing, managing. Yeah. Chefs are cooking. They're 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 back there. They're. they're I mean, fine. you know what? I've watched the Muppets. Yeah, <laughs> that dude definitely cooks. Well, I, I I've know that all those s- Gordon Ramsay shows. He cooks. He's a chef. I'm pretty sure that I know that in Sweden that chefs cook. <laughs> I'm, I'm yes. not sure of that. Yeah, they make meatballs. <laughs> Positive. They only make one thing. 
I only know that reference from adulthood. I did not watch that show as a child. I, I have no no Sesame I, Street. I have no childhood knowledge of that show. Well, I'm old like, enough to have worshipped that show as a child. I'm old enough that. I would ask my mom for confirmation on which ones were Muppets and which ones were humans. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little retarded when I watched that show. <laughs> it's like, no, that's a that's Big Bird. Like, that's, a... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a different show. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I, I which one? Sesame which one are even confusing? None of the them. ones in the balcony. <laughs> They're all very obviously puppets. The ones in the balcony that would just criticize yeah. the, the, the show. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you could see their hands on strings, though, <laughs> at the end of every bit, because they'd be like, this is worse than dinner last night. You would say that with your wife cooking it. <laughs> like, break their hands up and shake them around. Point. I know. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I, I remember... Uh, I wasn't as into the Muppets as Sesame Street. I mm. loved Sesame Street. Just their their whole community loved it. Mister Rogers, I was all about that. I like it was so calming. I liked bits. I was like, oh, oh, this is the count to twelve part. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is my favorite animation of the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, 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 <laughs> oh, I remember like telling my brother to like shut the fuck up every time the count would get on there because <laughs> I really liked it. He only had one bit. And it was yes. he, only, he only had one bit, and every time it's like today we are going to count to two, four, a one, a, 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 two, a. and I remember like liking his vampire laugh and like just like telling my brother to shut up because I wanted to hear his his counting. <laughs> that can't be like that educational. It's oh, it, come on, it is. Uh, I, the only thing I don't understand is Oscar the Grouch. Like, like, why do we have a homeless guy living in a trash can? As well, you need that? to have a little bit of realism in there. Teach kids there is danger. Then you why know? is he green? Because he lives in garbage, like green garbage juice, right? Like, gar- I've never juice. seen green garbage. I don't know what color should he be, man. Can I pick? Brown. No, actually, I'm changing my mind. You don't get to. You don't get to say anything else on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> Can I pick what color the homeless man should be? No, <laughs> no, you don't know. What else is new? I, I was, I just well, literally went by like garbage juices because he's dirty. Kind of brown. You thought he'd be brown because of dirt and slime. Like, yeah. I mean, he uh, would come out of the garbage. I feel like with a dishwater like gray. Garbage. He'd have like a banana peel on his head sometimes. Like it was clear he was a garbage man, a man of garbage. You think he enjoyed the garbage? Yeah, I think that that. Yeah, absolutely. He enjoyed the and, garbage. And and therefore you assume that, that, that him being grouchy is a separate issue entirely. I think he didn't care for the judgment he faced for his lifestyle. And yet he appeared <laughs> weekly on a uh, syndicated television no, show. He I did. mean, you guys are acting like Oscar the Grouch is the criminal on the show, when clearly, I think Big Bird. those cookies didn't belong to the cookie. Oh, movie. I thought you were going to say those two men living in sin together, Bert and Ernie. <laughs> yeah, they are living in sin. <laughs> if you're going to be gay and live together, get married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'd be a good angle to take. Like That'd a be a hilarious angle that's, that's to take. That's my belief. I'm, I'm, you're, I'm fine with being gay, but do it within the bounds of marriage, as the Lord intended. That's what God, <laughs> yeah. would, want that's what yeah. God would want. Gay sex <laughs> out of wedlock is a sin. <laughs> <laughs> gay sex out of wedlock put is a Put a ring on it devil. for you. <laughs> You put a ring on that man before you rim him out. <laughs> <laughs> like a gentleman. Ring it and rim it. <laughs> Just being the worst kind of person. <laughs> I bet there's like eight people in the world who feel that strongly. <laughs> <laughs> They are so passionate about that. Just like some guy whose like boyfriend is coming on to him and he's like, Chaz, not God, until we're, we're married. <laughs> <laughs> just demanding you can like, the, bo- like the good book says <laughs> like the good book says like the lord intended oh man you know it exists i'm sure it does i'm sure it does like hyper religious gay people who don't have sex before marriage it seems yeah. bizarre to me but i guess not it does seem bizarre but also like if they're religious they're like all right god's not a fan of this gay thing i'm going to make up for it i'm going to i'm going to hit all my other bases like okay 
like the, the, the extra America. righteous everywhere else to yeah. make up for the one thing that he's just kind like of targeting and, my and favorite presidential candidate pete Buttigieg, right now <laughs> <laughs> but he absolutely is like hyper religious and gay is he? oh is he i didn't know he was religious what religion oh, he's, Catholic? he's christian and he's like one of the more religious candidates I which, can remember which flavor of Christianity though, because nah, there, there's a few. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you're like, come on, he's uh, he's ice cream. We're like, yeah, I'm what, sorry. What, what yeah, he, he talks about God a lot, and uh, like, he and Mike Pence go back and forth on like who's more, like who's a better Christian. Well, Mike's um, what would be um, a I mean, Protestant probably for sure. Pence. Isn't isn't Biden <laughs> is Biden a Catholic? Uh, I think he says he is. Yeah, right. They're Catholics, so like they don't take it that seriously, or at least the Catholics, Catholics in my family don't take it very seriously at all. <laughs> like it, 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 most, like every Catholic I know, it's just a cultural thing. Like such a big part of the religion is that get out of jail free card and that guy who provides it. It you know like like so so why do you even need to do the rest? It's like hey, there's a guy downtown. You give him fifty bucks and ask him for forgiveness, and you're into heaven. Do I need to know anything else? Not a thing. <laughs> yeah, not, not a thing that's how it worked for a long and, time and uh don't ask any questions when you're talking to that guy about them kids either yeah, don't ask <laughs> what kids? Uh, he's got a couple 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 little uh little kids there well, what's he doing with them what, what do you mean he's got kids there oh uh, you know he's got them in the back they're dressed up and uh, they got little uh little incense they're they're getting the place smelling nice for him you know his, his little bachelor pad there his bachelor pad. He's, uh, yeah he's a single me. guy Single guy. <laughs> single guy. <laughs> not allowed to have uh, any women around they don't do that oh he's got, <laughs> but he's got a couple kids around getting Would the place smelling nice less freakazoids if they could get <laughs> they What's the problem of here course in of course that's been the argu argument forever that if you let them um have women that all yeah. of a sudden there aren't any catholic priests because, because all of the uh the pedophiles and the the gays are, are run i don't no longer have to hide they they, they can they, they have no or the, they i mean it's over yeah, I don't. Most of them. I saw any, a picture the other day, and it was from like it was a painting rather from like I don't know seventeen eighteen hundreds, and it was at the Vatican, and it was a picture of all of the maybe the bishops or the cardinals with their like boy assistant, and there were dozens of them out there with their boy assistants like like handed few. like right next to them all. Every one of them had like a little boy with them with with their fucking books and their fucking rulers and their dildo and shit, their fucking lube and their poppers hanging around with them. I'm, I'm making the other parts. <laughs> what, what he's like, really? There was dicks, <laughs> but but Tell no. Tell me more it's, about it's, the dildos. <laughs> clearly, what's happening there? Like like they have built that 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 whole the upper part of that religion is all about a place, a bachelor pad, a cool place for gay people to hang out and be able to be gay and have lots of power <laughs> and dress fabulous. That is what the Catholic religion is about. It they, they all of those like oh, asking a Catholic will confirm. Well, no, they keep they, they they maintain that 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 privileged position at the top, hiding uh, their gay hiding hole, um, mm -hmm. uh, by by maintaining that lower class of the average Catholic. Who and they're like, yeah, just don't forget, give us ten dollars and ask for forgiveness, and we're straight. And again, don't ask about the boys. That's the Catholic religion. I mean, that that does suck for the priests who like. Are all in on the? God it's the thing South Park episode, like, right? Really you're want... there to get yeah. to the bottom of this, and here comes the Spider Queen. Like it's mm -hmm. it's the same shit. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about the whole system? Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, Catholicism is a is a really odd version uh, of things. That that whole thing where you can just go talk to that guy and pay him off to get you right with God, like. Like, how does anybody believe that that's the way things should work? Even look, look, all the gods are made up, but yours is like a clearly like scammy god. I mean, that the way that like Catholics like like in their doctrine, my understanding, and I'm, I'm, I don't know that much. Like, is that they are like, well, uh, Christ put Peter in charge of the church, and so Peter was the first pope, the first leader of the church. And he, you know, was in charge and like interpreted like the wishes of God to his followers or whatever. And like, I, I don't know like, if I like debated a Catholic on this, like I'm sure they'd win because they'd know more about like all the stuff. But like the, the part of the of, like Christ coming back that was so compelling was him being like, hey, 
these these Pharisees, these Sadducees, these like priest like people that are demanding resources from you in order for you to commune with God. Guess what? I'm fulfilling the old law. You don't have to like it's you. You no longer need these intermediaries. You can speak directly to God. Don't trust these charlatans, these these religious leaders. And that's of course like the why the Pharisees, the Sadducees at the time like wanted Christ dead so much because. They were like, this guy's bad for business. He can't. We can't have this guy going around saying he's the the fil- the fulfillment of this law, because then we lose a lot of influence. People are going to just bypass us and speak to God directly. No, thank you. Like, and so obviously, or to me, it seemed like, oh, like that does seem like the kind of thing Jesus would do. Like, he's all about having a personal relationship with Him, with God. Like, of course, it should be about you communicating directly to Him. Like, not through an intermediary. I won't so. worship a God who can't hear me when I talk to him. Yeah, or would ignore me because I don't if have you, the right If you're not magical me. enough that you can hear me when I talk, then you're not magical enough to be fucking feared, bro. We'll plot against you and take you down. We'll figure it out. Some antimatter or something. Like, What are you made of? We'll figure it out, bitch. <laughs> Big <Yeah>. bitch. <laughs> if you can't hear me and my Dr. thoughts, Manhattan. then I'm not afraid of you. And if you can't hear me, this is a test, oh Lord. <laughs> oh merciful Lord. Oh, merciful <laughs> and just Lord. <laughs> no, but for real, think about that. Like, like if, if he can't hear you when you talk in your fucking bedroom at home, then I'm not fr- I'm gonna worship him. I'm not gonna go to a house that's made to worship him on my fucking knees and, and kiss his mystical ass if he can't fucking hear me when I talk. But he can hear that that pleasant gay fellow who's living down at the church down the street uh if he can hear him but not me I, that's another bullshit religion give me the phone or whatever yeah. he's got you know and it, but but he, but well he's got magical prayers get out of the, here with that shit the whole confession thing has always seemed so fucking bizarre to me and the because like the religious i like, think it's a kink i, I think I they just think like hearing this oh i think they're bored i think back and they the want to be like taylor tell me all the people you're fucking I mean, I think back in the day, I'll forgive you. I just want to know you see like, think about like anything power being maintained requires like a firm control on that community. Right. And so if you effectively have a church employee in the year 1100, who knows all the dirt of everyone in town, like that's a natural person. You're not going to to cross like they have a lot of influence. I think they're just nosy. I, I yeah, but it's knows. for like for influence. Like you don't create a worldwide global system because you're nosy, though. They want a the dirt. Right, Taylor's on to something mm-hmm. there. I agree with that. They want the dirt. But moreover, they sold the the redemption for millenn- for a whole millennia. You know, yeah. like, like they, they, if you're like let's say you're um you're, you're Woody the Great and you have the mercantile business here in Venice and like 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 you know you're you're the man, but you're adulterous and you go to your your priest. He's like oh. But you donate so much to the church. Uh, who cares about the little adultery? Say, uh, if I have a hell of fathers and the six of uh, my mothers, or whatever the fuck. The six of mama me. And also, you know, give me so many like Venetians. Six of mama me is and ten wahoos. You could you would buy your you would buy your uh, penance or whatever, right? You know you would mm-hmm. have the money to, and, and so you could buy your way right into heaven. The, the the clergy sold literal tickets to heaven for hundreds of years. That noblemen would go and they were like, "I'd like my ticket to heaven, please." And they're like, "Aren't you the guy who raped his daughter?" I am. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be pricey, well, pricey, pricey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it was how- they they did that to common people, like they would sure. be like, oh. Your your father died. Well, he is in purgatory, but with these indulgences we're offering right now for a pittance, you know, you could save him hundreds of years of purgatory. Yeah, and it's like, all right, Gov, I can't read. Like, <laughs> so they just. Give I'm him probably money. just projecting like, the achievement. I don't want to hurt anyone with their secrets. I just like knowing them because so, I'm nosy. No, <laughs> it's they, funny you say the pittance is thing. So like. In uh, in Warhammer 40k Dark Tide, the barracks, mm. the achievements that you do, the little nitty gritty things that makes you do in the game to earn the cosmetics and stuff, they are they're called pittances because the whole in, in empire is is a religion at this point. The the, the emperor of mankind ten thousand years ago was very clear: no religions, none of them. Where our god is science. This is about progression. This is about technology. This is about working together. Since he has been gone for uh, a, a few 
ten, for 10,000 years. He is now worshipped as the God King, uh, God Emperor of mankind. The mm -hmm. entire thing is a religion devoted to him and worshipping him. So those achievements are called pittances. You're doing your pittances. You're, you know, oh, I got to kill a, a goobly gawk with a Uzi, what's it? Three times, you know, like stuff, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. the, I love that that lore behind the, all that Warhammer cool. uh, 40k stuff. Like they've got, they've they are we've fallen so far um, that that we we can't create a lot of the technology and we we call electronics or, or things that are borderline AI like like smart programs the machine spirit. Oh, let's wake the machine spirit. Yeah, you mean turning it on. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the like, Ugrin have had a lot of influence in the, <laughs> over time. And it, 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 they, they've fallen a, a long ways. I love the lore from that. It, it might be the most depressing and saddest um, sci-fi um, like reality to live in. I think it's got to be. It's, it, it, it's it, dismal. Like those 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 people that are just like dissected to they're just like one arm and head and then they're like put in a vending machine and their entire world is so, just to like pick apples and give them to you so the reason that, that humanity fell so far from its from its huge pinnacle of technology and achievement and it, it become like the probably the most powerful of the galactic empires was ai their ai was so good that it became sentient and it became so sentient that it gained a soul so it was actually able to be corrupted and infected by demons. Oh. Um, so, it, it, so it was a, and uh, it rebelled against mankind. They had this huge war, and humanity barely won. Like, like, like it was, it was all they could do just to win. And so their galactic empire, which was spread everywhere because of another thing that goes bad later on, is cut off from one another. We can't get to those worlds that are way out there. They're cut off for the next five, six, seven thousand years. On those planets, if they were isolated enough that sub light travel wouldn't allow them to get to any neighbors, the idea that they were from Earth called Terra is a is a dream. The the Emperor, ah, uh, that's a figment of our ancestors' imaginations. Some of them have fallen into medieval worlds. They like, like there's a later there's a crusade when we get things back in hand and and everybody's going out to take the worlds back over. Like, mm -hmm. hey. You're humans. You're from Terra. The Emperor is your boss. Come on, get with us. And some resist, and some say, "Yes, sir. We we never forgot you. Uh, we've been preparing this whole fucking time. We knew you'd come." And some of them are like, "We're medieval knights now, and we bow, <laughs> and we bow to no man." And they're like, "But there's like a billion of you. So if you guys could like get with the program, here's an iPad." We bow to no man. <laughs> and, so there's this, and so there's this great story where like they're going to fight them. They're gonna fight them, the like black powder like planet. It's like come under our heel or we're going to fight you. And the reason we're gonna do that is because without us, you're going to be raped, murdered, and infected by like googly eyed eyeball worms if you're mm -hmm. lucky. Because that's about as good as it gets out here. You need us. And we need you. All of the man meat on this planet that gets thrown into that galactic rider, we need it. So there's a great story where they're just about to just have an actual battle. And one of the space marines goes to his boss and he's like, sir, permission to provide a demonstration before we commence battle. Very well. And he just starts running toward the enemy army by himself. And they're just letting him have it with cannons and artillery and all. And this hundred thousands of men and he's just just jogs on through them <laughs> and he doesn't stop when he gets to their lines he sort of like moves people and machinery out of his way and keeps on moving through the encampment through the lines now he's in the encampment where they spent the night the night before he they're chasing him he's getting toward the general's tent he's still going he's just chugging along and and bullets and artillery and explosions and he gets there and he says general sir a word and it's, Okay, and he walks there and he, he pulls out an iPad. Not an iPad, but their iPad. Yeah. And he's like, these are the threats that we face. And he shows him like video from the worlds that, that, that have fallen of like the demons, the aliens, the, mm -hmm. the tyranids, the green skins. This is what we face and this is what we fight. This is what we, the emperor shields you against on a daily basis. And all we ask is that you bend the knee. Okay, we're good. 
All you had to do was, we didn't know you had iPads. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> lead and with the space worms, man. Like lead, the- <laughs> lead with the space worms. Um, so so um, it's a it's a fascinating like lore thing that that like I've been I've watched dozens and dozens of hours of videos and read a couple books and man I still struggle to like. I want know you to it keep all. Telling me stories about the about the 40k universe. It, they're, 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 there's so many dark, awful stories. I've told you about the one where they come and they rescue the people um, who were being force fed by these machines and cages until they were enormous bloated monstrosities, um, and 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 then they were starved until they were like nothing but skin and bone, and they were carrying their own loose folded skin around so they wouldn't trip over it. Mindless husks of men. And they were being led single file to be skinned so the skins could be utilized for some awful use that that that, that, that they had for like lots of people's skin. Ugh. And they're being rescued at the last minute. Man, and the space marines inefficient. and these space marines, these hardcore Astartes are even saying, like, fuck, <laughs> this is pretty rough shit. I've seen some shit, but god damn. <laughs> <laughs> like there's that little moment it the, wasn't the the humans doing that to him it was aliens that captured him right i think it was that needed chaos. human skin for i think it was chaos infected humans i think it was chaos marines if i remember mm. correctly but again there's it, it i've read so much and listened to so much that the, and there's so many awful things in that universe that one kind of folds into the other mm. um, have you bought that, a book or anything like I'm yeah sure yeah yeah whole books right oh yeah the audio books are tremendous um um i i like those a lot but what you really need to do if you actually want to try to tackle it, because the lore is ten times deeper than Lord of the Rings. Like, like imagine ten mm-hmm. Silmarillions, and and but they're but oh they're. Gosh. Well, it's, it's kind of a living universe that a ton of people pour. The story into, continues. Right? The story yeah. continues. See, I look at it and I'm like, all right, I've read the Bible, but in their Bible, like, God is still it might is god coming back when's when's Jesus coming back? Like like that. That's kind of where the story is. It's like he's been out. He's been down and out for a. For 10 millennia, like, like the emperor. So, so here's a bit of story. The emperor gets wounded in this huge thing called the Horus Heresy, where one of his sons rebels against him. Half the space marines follow him in this big galactic war. Their numbers are decimated. And the end, the emperor either allows himself to be wounded or becomes grievously wounded mm-hmm. in killing his son. And uh, so he has been sitting on this mad, this throne, the golden throne of Terra. He sits there. It, for 10,000 years, he has sat there, barely pieced together, a husk of a man, but still alive somehow on the inside, using all of his mental fortitude, his like psychic powers to keep shut this hole that is torn in our reality that leads to hell. That horror was that hole was accidentally torn trying to like send out a message a few years prior. I won't get into that nonsense because it's but he, he concentrates on keeping that closed because if he ever stops, he ever actually dies or stops concentrating then all of hell floods into earth right there in the capital mm. city uh, on Terra. And it's it. So they, ha- but he doesn't have enough psychic energy because he's wounded. So throughout, there is a whole industry of men and women who scour the million planets that make up the Imperium and look for those who are touched, those who have psychic ability of any kind. They're rounded up, they are thrown on ships. They are taken back to Terra. They are lined up 10,000 a day and taken into a room where they are killed and their essence is used to power the Golden Throne once more to keep that thing charged up for another day. And without it, we all die. Yeesh. Fun. And that is that is one of the lighter stories. <laughs> um, but the thing is, in the books recently-ish and you know, the last few years, like the Emperor's been showing little signs of consciousness for the first time in like, a really long time and and like real world years as far as like writing books and novels and stuff. So like he's starting to like wiggle a little and send out some like psychic stuff and um I uh like beat up some of the uh, uh some of the chaos gods in their realm. So it's a it's a real weird fascinating universe. But you got to watch a YouTube video. Uh, there's a YouTube video that that like, sums it all video, up in it? 20 minutes. There's one called like Warhammer 40k lore in 20 minutes, and this guy like speed runs it. And, I think um, I actually watched that one. You told me about that one, and he kind of gave me a a summary. And I like all the like documentary style, like slow pans of like the big artistic artwork. art they have, like really like detailed art. I should say, not artistic. Yeah, really good but, artwork. Yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. I love that shit. Baldemort and Luton 9 are the two best YouTubers, in my opinion, for lore based stuff. Baldemort puts on a voice for his 
his wonderful listeners, and he writes his own fan Oh, that's fiction. fun. I like that. He mm. writes his own stories to accompany lore, and I didn't realize he was the writer. I was like, wait, you made that shit up? Because I'm online looking for the book. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, I'm trying. He, he like made up this whole um, storyline about a, a an orc character, and it's like hours and hours of content that he's like reading to you, and he wrote it. And I'm looking for the book on, on awesome. Amazon or something. Uh, Baltimore cool. gets excellent. He makes money. And and so is uh Luton. That when when they like the lore is so dense that they'll want to make a video talking about, let's just say, a gun. And they uh, they're talking about the bolter. Uh, this is just this just happened. And he's like, I went to the Wikipedia, but that's not accurate. You can't go to the wiki. That's why it hmm. takes me weeks to make you guys a video. I had to go to these books, and he like shows like he's like the entire Imperium co co Contendium of Weaponry. Co -conk. <laughs> like because this is hmm. because it's this nitty gritty shit while they're trying to figure out what's inside the bullets that come out of a bolter, whether it's depleted de deuterium or depleted uranium. <laughs> you uh, whole. uh I just put it in the chat. So Magic released their 40k set. Mm -hmm. And like you know how good magic art is. Yeah. Like some of them, it's like people being disemboweled. Like I'm sure you know, like how how brutal they can be. And I'm course, looking through K. these, but like apparently it is a super fun set with that. They uh, people 40k fans are very pleased with like the representation Magic gave them apparently, which is neat. Like I haven't yeah. really played with many of these um, yet, but I'm excited to. I think I might buy a box. So I'm one. not. Again, I'm like not one of those crazy lore experts or anything, but like just going through them. Yeah, yeah. There's there's lots of like I see the Necron stuff and the Grey Knight stuff. Um, lots of lots of uh, nitty gritty, uh, cool sh cool shit here. Lots of interesting characters. Ah, uh, oh, you're not dragging me back to magic. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this yeah. can get you. This can get you. It's oh, fun. Geez. And guess what? In a, in like Animal. six months, <laughs> in six months, you can make a deck. That's half Warhammer 40k, half Lord of the Rings. That's what I'm gonna do. Wait, wait, what am I stupid? What am I lame? This is the, no, what is that embarrassing People in your 30s? Saying. Like <laughs> <laughs> to be really amped up over things like this? No, I, I didn't get that amped up over this set because I didn't have the back lore, but the Lord of the Rings one's gonna be super fun. Oh, and if, mm. if you if you want my favorite story from 40k, um, I don't know. How to, it, 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 I think the guy's name's Gilliman, Raboot Gilliman. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he has to like. Uh, there's a, there's a story where like the Horus Heresy, which is the big civil war, is coming to an end. You could also think of it as like Satan rebelling against God in in many ways. Mm. And uh, and so Horus finally gets to Earth. He has fought his way across the galaxy, and he's here. And he basically challenges the Emperor to come up and face him. And for some reason, the Emperor says, "Yeah." And so they like warp up to his ship and the emperor is separated from his sons. Um, and his, so his son and, and the ships in this universe are miles long. So he has to fight through a mile of evil to get to his father. And so like, that's my, my favorite story. Um, him that's fighting cool. through a mile or two of evil with his buddies to get to their, uh, their father who's fighting. I, uh, I just went to forward. Luton's channel Hour and twenty minute video uploaded nine hours ago. The Imperium's worst jobs three. Seen I've seen parts one and two, and I'll tell you what. God damn, those are some of the worst jobs you've ever even heard of. It's like, are you a maggot farmer? <laughs> no, I wish. <laughs> I wish. I'd do anything to be a maggot farmer. <laughs> I've been trying to work up to maggot farmer since I was a boy. How old are you? They don't let us count. Uh, I'm, I'm a poo taste tester. And yeah. <laughs> no, no one has benefited by my work. <laughs> it's like, shut up, or we'll splice you into a million bees. And it's like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, some of the punishments, some of the punishments are horrific. Like, um, like, like, like if you, um, they can seal you into this like sarcophagus that keeps you alive forever. And it's like a it's a war machine. So they're like, oh, you did us wrong on the battlefield. You betrayed us. Now forever you will be a you will be a war machine. And they like 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 fuck their brain up a little bit and like cast them into essentially a casket that's almost impenetrable. And then inside of that, 
they are like controlling a giant robot of war. And so they're just, there's no escape. The debt, there is no, uh, what, what's the quote? There's so many good 40K quotes. It's something like, mm. duty only ends in death or something like that. And like, death does not come to us. And the, the, because a lot of these guys are so hardcore that like, no matter how grievously injured the Astartes are on the battlefield, it's like, man, can we scoop up most of his brains? Yeah, yeah, I've got like all of them here. They're like, all right, put them in this jar. Now put that in the machine. And he's just like waking up like, what is this? And they're like, we got you, Bob. Don't worry. And he's like, good. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like there's so many guys. You're a that, robot like, now. Yeah, yeah. They'll put them in. But but the robots and this and these dreadnoughts and these like giant Titan machines, they look like a city that walks. They have like Gothic cathedral appearance. It's like a walking Gothic cathedral with That's more cool. firepower than like the entire U.S. Navy, right? That walks and talks. It's uh, it's alive. Uh, it's it, it's uh, it's really fun lore. I wish they'd make a a, a good movie um, about about some of it, but it, it just seems like it there's seems so like much. Could. Like it, if there's that many stories and I don't know it, how it would be expensive. It's so big. Difficult. Like like I don't know how you like just pick like a microcosm of it. Like like maybe the explain? emperor, the emperor's rise to power. I. See that, like that see like like without getting like i know we got four hours we always joke but like his rise to power is like like, like a whole like many many movies it's it's all sorts of shit because it, you know the, because 40k spans those forty thousand years of nonsensical mm -hmm. history and for some reason they've got authors that like they're like oh i really like this millennium <laughs> i only write here uh, it's, it's like shit well there's a lot of dense dense shit to remember i don't know a court that's really funny a, some guy who's like really only into the 2100s of the sure there, there's people <laughs> who like to write um you know like the the the, the pre-horus heresy stuff and the post uh, the the crusade stuff there's lots of like big defining like moments in that like period of time where like the whole everything changes there was a time where like i said galactic travel gets nixed now we're stuck and there's a time where they they're really high and then they revert back to really low um i like that the way they travel though from place to place is like event horizon they they just kind of open uh, a portal to hell and they travel through hell to get to where they're going because it's faster so you always are traveling through hell hence the demon problem hence the demon problem yes should have yes. just taken longer trips they're really really long yeah but like demons seem to be a huge problem in this mm. world they are they're, they're they're a pretty huge problem people could just yeah. die of old age if it wasn't for the demon thing they wouldn't have had to come up with all the robots and the the vending machine people the vending like machine people are sad yeah that is but they're mostly like dead like they're, they're supposed kind of... to be they're supposed to be lobotomized but in in dark tide you go up to the healing station right and this guy's in there like just his torso and his head and he's like healing sir and you push the button and he like jabs you, heals you up. And then as you're walking away, he goes, where am I? It's so dark and I'm lonely. And then one guy goes, it hurts. Why does it hurt? And it just closes. And, yeah. like, ah. and we just go on our way, you know, like fighting evil. Yeah. It's like ah. buying a Red Bull in that world. <laughs> <laughs> so you, just, you just go on with your life. Or a keep Pepsi. Moving. Or a Pepsi. Or chocolate of any kind. Or coffee, what other things are? Or an iPhone? <laughs> what other uh, first world like creature comforts are uh, are fueled by slavery and uh, and uh, and like evil? Diamond. Like all those I just mentioned. Yeah, I'm what energy? Not Pepsi. Is, is oil? I don't care about the animals, man. Let's let's get that oil. You know, I I stopped caring a while ago when I realized I didn't really think snow owls were that cute after all. You ever see one oh, wet? No, thank you. I was you. going by that extraction. Like, it, there's no slave labor involved. There's no trouble. There's no. I mean, I don't. I think that's an industry where you need like good machinery. I, well, I think I think those people that are operating like offshore oil rigs, which is where I guess most of it comes from, are I guess. like. I was stuck in the Middle East when I said professionals. Well, I, I think they're you know they got so much money. Why would they use slaves? They hire the best of the best to protect. That's how them. they built the World Cup stuff. That's guitar. yeah, but that's yeah, but that's stupid labor. Like Saudi guitar. Arabia is like probably spending billions on the finest drilling tech from us and <laughs> only the best nine eleven hijackers. 
Only the finest. The sharpest razor blades money what? can buy. Someone needs to explain to me why Saudi Arabia is in a U.S. ally. Like, I get that they have oil, but why did we pick them? Why are, Why do we forgive all the shit they do? They fucked us just recently. They fucked Biden anyway. Wait, one, one of the red team called him out on the floor. He, he, he was like, I don't know why we're paying for their defense. I think maybe we should pull it out, let Iran eat their lunch, and uh, see, how, see if they want to go along with the program after that. I think we need to stop buying their overpriced oil. I think we need to stop giving them our 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 the best of the best weaponry in the world. Let's let them buy some Russian gear. See how that works uh, out for them. I, I'm with I'm you. Like, I'm with him on that. I, I, they I would um, ride a bicycle to work. If that's what <laughs> they raised their <laughs> production right targets here. after the midterms, and they're taking it as a sign that Saudi Arabia likes Republicans, not Democrats, which kind of seems that way, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, I, all I know is I don't like Saudi Arabians. Mm-hmm. Arabians, they, uh, just like the average person. No, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> uh, um, well, no, the the average Saudi Arabian's probably a pretty cool dude. I bet he's got one yeah. of those nice flowy uh, outfits on that keeps him keeps him keeps him chill. Keeps he probably cool. likes to ride a Land Rover on two wheels. I was exact. That literally, I was going to say that with the. I same bet crazy. he's got. <laughs> I, he either has an exotic pet or he knows someone who does. And I'm not mm-hmm. talking about a raccoon. He's got like a jackal or something neat. Oh yeah. Um, and I want a dude, rich and, and, friend. And, and look, I bet he's in the mosque on his knees on whatever day they go. But he's definitely getting some poon as well. Whatever like day they go. you know, mm-hmm. I mean every all day, every day. They don't sound like that. So <laughs> from the great nation of Iran. <laughs> Welcome to Iran. Oh, we are I, Iranian. I saw I saw Whitest Kids You Know sketch I'd never seen the other day. It's like I watched hey, it. Yeah, uh, you know that you know Bill just got back from Vietnam? Yeah, yeah. He's a little different. You talk to him? Bill, come over here. Oh, hello, American friend. <laughs> it's me, your friend Bill. I love you as America, but brave sniper in Vietnam shot me in the head. Now I know remember things so well. And it's like, I think you may have killed Bill and replaced him. Oh, this big American lie. <laughs> you think I only here to kill LBJ? <laughs> that lie <laughs> and it's like and he's a very asian little man <laughs> i think you may have killed him in Switch. <laughs> i can't believe i haven't seen that that's hilarious r.i.p r.i.p to the, the trevor, main no. guy yeah, trevor. yeah 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 that's a shame it is uh, it's a damn shame well oh. happy holidays to all of you out there listening and i don't mean any of the religious ones okay we're celebrating what we did to those red skins this week um, we put them in their place, gave them food, gave them hospitality, treated <laughs> them well. And they, us. This is what Thanksgiving's all about. It's about when the pilgrims and the Indians came came together that year, and we gave them some smallpox, and they gave us some yams, and everything worked out the way God intended. Manifest True. destiny. <laughs> and if you don't remember social studies, you Google that one. That's my all closing right. thought here tonight. PKA 623. Fact.